Look, look, look. So I represent the game in a way that can't be challenged And delegate the comments of hate that can't be managed I was told once from my shoulder like blunts And don't get touched but my skin tough and thicker than this biz butt So guess what? I'ma talk my shit and just win once Throw uppercuts and phone breakers A needle and haystack with haymakers I throw mines, don't hide behind my straight right I show mine and show no the blow by the blow bro I blow mines Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 Up off! <laughs> Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what day it is. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. It's fight night, baby, baby. What's up, my people? This is Sean, the adult. All right, man, look, look, look at who we have here. Let me see. So, oh, uh, let me see. Uh, 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 J Man. What's going on with J? Uh, oh, alright man, look, first, first I'm going to say this, ah! <laughs> Sully, Sully, let me ask you something, my brother, what the hell, what the hell are we waiting So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf, and just enjoy yourself, groove, ha! Um, life ain't so bad at all. Y'all gotta live off the wall tonight. Live off the wall tonight and tomorrow. You got one life to live. Live it off the damn wall. Don't think about your nine to five until you go to work Monday. <laughs> Don't think about it Sunday. Sunday is American football. Watch you some football on Sunday. Don't think about that shit. Don't think about your supervisor. Don't think about your manager. Any of them F boys and girls that you work with. Don't think about them damn fools until you walk in there Monday. At that point, I don't know what to tell you. Taco Tuesday is the day after. But it's Friday night. Leave that 9 to 5 up on the shelf. And just enjoy yourself. Huh? 100. Monday is far ahead. Monday don't even exist right now. Let's go to work. Um, my boy from Chicago out here, Cobb out here. Uh, very, he's very chill. Uh, what way about? Um, I, I want to say this. I want to say this too, and I'm going to say this a few times. Um, a lot of you show business partners thought that I was not hard enough. Pause. <laughs> That I wasn't hard enough on Shakur Stevenson for missing weight. Tell me what I should have said. <laughs> what, what do y'all think I should have said that I didn't say? <laughs> what should I have said that I didn't say? Oh, let me see. Can you please explain the Easter eggs in your intro? Um, what Easter eggs? I can't, I can't recall my intro. You, you, wait, you talking about... Ah! That or are you talking about the music? Oh, uh, let me. Oh, wait. I gotta turn this down. I gotta turn this down, my brother. Before they, before top rank play no games. That's top rank, the zone, and PBC is cool. But top rank, the zone, and UFC. You gonna, you gonna get your ass copywritten. So hey, Biz, I got some hype to tell you. I've been starting a, a clothing brand, all designed by me. Last week, I got a sewing machine. Today, I got silk screens in. I know what that's all about. I know a friend who does that. You're about to have a damn ball. Design stitch printed by me. No nine to five for me. Give me that damn MJ. Give me that MJ. Hold on. We're going to give it to Sully. We're going to give it to Sully. Sully is in school getting a degree. Just to work for us, he learned. See, that's what happened. 
you'll be in school learning enough to say, oh, I'm just going to apply this to my damn self. Forget everybody else. So tonight, gotta leave the nine five up on the shelf. Huh? <laughs> Repeat what you said. Oh, you sound crazy as hell. I can't remember everything I said. Living off the wall, 100%. Uh, I'm going to need one of those shirts. Yeah, we're going to need some of those. You got to – come on now. You're going to have to send it to the community. You want We're going to need some of those shirts, Sully, and we're going to help you out, bro. Don't forget. I mean, send me a shirt or whatever, and I'm going to show people what you do. All right, that's that. That's just for the love of it. Let me see. B-Boy, uh, you know I got 100%. I'll definitely buy some from you. You know what I'm saying, Zoe? That's what I'm saying, Sully. We're going to support anybody who's trying to, who got the balls to try to get there and the capability, right? Not everybody's ready at the same time, but we definitely going to own ourselves by the end of this shit. You hear me? <laughs> uh, let me see. Whole war room going to be rocking 100%. You're going to see me like, ah, wearing your shirt and every damn thing. <laughs> let me see. What up, showbiz? What's going on? Gee. Um, what, did, what didn't I say? Uh, I tried to bet. Oh, well, that's not. We're, we're uh, uh, bet U.S. Brick City, appreciate you, Zoe, 100%. Let me see. Uh, Biz, I need a referral for my damn job. Can I call you? No. <laughs> no, because I, I don't know who you are, and I'll be giving my phone number. <laughs> hey, you can't get. Y'all want me to be real? That's as real as it can get. No, you can't. All right? I wish you could because I got you back in spirit. But people calling me and stuff, I, you know, you know I don't I do not do it in my – <laughs> Y'all be good, my number away. All right, uh, like the whole intro, the falling asleep, the freezing, what's going on with you? Uh, uh, like all that is it? It's just funny randomness. Uh, okay, let me let me think. Um, you guys want to know? You guys want to know each thing of the intro because maybe I don't even know. I is the manifest into this monster, <laughs> but I'll do my best. I do my best. Um, when I come in, hey, I'm saying that I am the king of the monsters, right? I'm saying that I'm Godzilla. I'm saying I'm the king of all of boxing media. So I'm screaming like Godzilla, saying I'm the king of the monsters. All right, just to let you know. Hold on, real quick. Uh, I just need you on my resume as my supervisor. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't lie. To you. I won't lie. Uh, I'm not your supervisor. But um, what's up, my wait, 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 wait. What do I do? Up off it now. Up off it. We all know that word was created because of Biggie. I'm trying to make five mil up off the slingill, and I've been saying it for years since my twenties. Hey, I'm gonna do that up off it. This was going to have up. It just end up being up off. Sometimes we'll just say up off. My son would just be like, I'll be like, hey, you had a good day at school? He'd be like, up off. So up off it is just a word I created. All right. <laughs> all because of Biggie. All right. Uh, up off. That is, I started that when I was by the fire. All right. <laughs> so I, I brought that back for everybody. And I kept freezing it more and more. So that's why. <laughs> now, me going to sleep is when I'm like. <sighs> that's just when you strain too much on your brain. Pop, it puts you away. <laughs> and then I just finished that. That's just crazy. Um, What's up, my people? This is showbiz adult. My kids made fun of me. I was really just saying. What's up, my people? When you, If you look at my first videos, I'm like, this is showbiz, the adult. But they made fun of me saying showbiz. So my kids is the reason why I say the adult. Uh, all right, man, look. Me saying all right, man, look is because everybody talking about my eyes so much. Look. You over it? I'm over it. Okay? So that's what all right, man, look is. <laughs> uh, what did I say? Look. Oh, the Denzel, <laughs> right? That right there is just King Kong ain't got hurt on me. I started doing the Denzel for a while. This right here. That, that's Tyson Fury. 
I was doing that since Tyson Fury hit Dillian White with that uppercut and pushed him. So I, <laughs> I'll put the Tyson Fury in there. And the rest of it is just, you know, just weirdness, realness. That This right here, that's my brother. My oldest brother used to always be like, I don't know why he did that shit. So <laughs> I do that as a shout out to him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why I do that. <laughs> oh, because I used to get excited. I used to get excited if something was hot. So I'm like, first, I want to say this. <laughs> I used to do that because something's hot about to happen. Now I'll do it every show. Now I'll do it every show. And that's the Black Two Sugars. Let me see. Great, Brandon. Thank you so much, my brother. Victory has a feeder. Oh, yes, I wonder. What were you shooting about? Before throwing over the blurb. Hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, remember, won't uh, you? Yeah. Could you believe my neighbor? <laughs> Could you believe? That was... Boy, 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 boy. I'm going to bring that back, dog, because that right there was amazing. <laughs> Won't you, boy? <laughs> uh, Biz, you see the foolishness with uh, Emi uh, Yudoko. Who, who the hell is that? Who is that, dog? I don't know what that is, dog. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's all amazing. Thank you so much. It's all good. Hold on real quick, brother, because I'm starting to. <sighs> Bye, 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 bye. Yo, Unc, that Michael Jackson, uh, Aaliyah mix up. That was you that told me. A, yeah, I've, I've been bumping that for a good couple. Oh, hey, hey, my man, my man, nephew. That is, watch this, watch this. The the sister that is right before A. Marie, this sister right here. So tonight, gotta leave in my five her doing that right there her she's dancing to that mix she's dancing to that mix she made a, a tiktok to that mix and she's beautiful and i put her in the thing that that's her to that mix yep yep uh the best to do it thank you so much my brother uh what else we got when is the main event when main events come on dog you know when main events come on it's seven o'clock central every time it's the same time Right late at night. Y'all know what it is. Uh, those ladies are bad. Yeah, they make you want to go to the club. And hey, let me ask you this. Who who give you the best feel? Who's the prettiest one? So tonight, gotta leave the nine five up on the Think about it. Think about it. I'm going to tell you this, too. That girl at the beginning, the white girl who does that quick dance, she is very attractive. She did... That was her walking down the street in a in a city at night to cause I'm happy. You know that song? Clap along if you feel that happiness. That for real song. She's dancing to that going down the city. Very pretty. Very pretty. But I just put that quick part. You can't really see how she looks. Uh let me see. Uh we welcome all newcomers to the war room. Hit the top. Oh, yeah, 100 percent Second to the last. Uh-huh. That's her. That girl, that's just a rant, a regular woman on TikTok. That sister, second to the, she's just a, a woman on TikTok, bro. I don't even know her name. I just saw her and was like, brother, she's like flat out beautiful. <laughs> Locks. Not everybody thinks, uh huh. A Marie dreads. Uh huh. What'd you say? Some Corona, brother. Some Corona. Show biz the adult. Check. Dreads may be the prettiest one, and she's just a sister at the crib. Everybody else are mega stars. She does a woman at home. So I put her in there amongst some of the more J Lo, Beyonce, and some of the more prettier women in the world. I put just her in there, and she is <laughs> my lady Pauline. I hear, I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead, boy. You go ahead, boy. You go ahead, boy. You got Beyonce. I hear you. I hear you. Paula Abdul. I, need, I should put Paula Abdul in there because she she was nobody brings her up enough. Back in back in her heyday, boy, in her prime. That's why Ms. B is my woman now. I saw her and I said, "Oh, that that's that that has to happen." After a while, 
after a while, I was like, because we were just cool. But she just, every day, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, Sade should take our big forehead ass in there. Uh, I'm a, who is that? Is a Boston Celtic coach. Oh, what happened? He was engaged to Nia Long. Okay. It came put, it came out. I'm pretty sure it's out because that, the auto spell, bro. Uh, he had a consensual relationship with a female staffer. So what? I don't even, I don't even want to say so what? Because you can get canceled for something like that. I, I, I don't, what, what's the, what's the, what, what's, what, what, he got caught? <laughs> he got caught? See, I'm from an era where the president of the United States got some scully. <laughs> so excuse me. I'm from an era where the president <laughs> and Hillary wasn't bad looking <laughs> at the time. Hillary was a look at the time. My president cool to play the saxophone, smoke weed, and got some dome. So you're talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, Monica Lewinsky, dog. I'm for, so there's not going to be too much that's going to shock me. And my mom is from an era where she watched the president get shot in the head. So when, when Bill Clinton did that, my mom was like, what? Okay. What's 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 the news? <laughs> what's the news? Her president. Her president gave everyone deuces and left in a helicopter. Her president was like, and left. In, well, he did this and left in a helicopter. So you one got shot in the head. The other one did this here. <laughs> so my mama was like. So now you're talking to me. <laughs> Let me see. Nothing major. I was just wondering if you heard. Oh, I feel you, my brother. Uh, no, I haven't heard. I haven't heard, my brother. He said nothing major. Nothing major. Dude. Got caught. Got caught messing around, taking shit for granted. You know what I mean? Now he's embarrassed, taking things for granted. Don't be taking shit for granted. Think, think past that horny stage if you can. Masturbate. Get past. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, mama. But what, I, what I'm trying to say, this is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it can save you pain. <laughs> it can save you pain. <laughs> He's probably going through it right now. <laughs> Do something else. <laughs> Do something else, man. <laughs> Let me see. What else we got? Uh, show what? You better watch your mind. Oh, this is funny. Uh, for I will be the first to knock you out in an embarrassing way. And see, you even got it. It's un, it's called undisputed now, brother. Yeah, you gonna play ESBC. I'm playing undisputed. Hey, let me let me give my man Spaceman Films all that work because he doesn't know the latest. He doesn't know the latest. So let me give it. That comment was dumb. ESBC is called Undisputed Now, Playboy. What happened to Relevant, man? Dog, nothing. Let me let me tell you, brother. I am very busy with something big. I'm working on something big, and y'all won't know for a while. But it's big. I'm, I'm mad that I even told y'all that much. Okay? So that's what I do every day. I'm working on this thing that is big. All right? Um... So that's why I haven't been busy. If, when y'all saw me decline on the busy, busyness of relevant, that's why. Oh, I got to place a bet, though, on Bet US. Let's get a 1,000 people in here so I can place this bet. Hurry up. get Everybody hit the like button. Get 1,000 people in here. I need to place this bet on uh, Bet US. That's what I have to do. I got to get to the bag more than, before anything. Hey, yo, uh, Bill was a goal. Man, that, that guy was, was fantastic with the deficit. He was bad putting my bros in jail. Now, yeah, I'll say it. I know I don't talk politics, but I remember my bros was going to jail, bro. Yeah, yeah. We were afraid of three strikes. No, no. I remember. I was raised in the ghetto. I remember. Dang, like, yo, your big brother went in too? Your uncle gone? Like, we were like, oh, shit. He, he put my bros in there. <laughs> the deficit, beautiful. My bros? We were in, we were locked up. They won't let me. I, I remember 
being very, there was a lot of tears. <laughs> Charles Baker, president, uh, has wood fronts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm I'm about to I'm about to bet. I'm about to bet real soon. Everybody hit the like. Let's get let's get a thousand people in. Yeah, we got four thirty people in here now. So that that's what happened when you hit the like. Let's get a thousand people in here. Uh what do you think about Steven Stevenson's decision show? I think that it was unhealthy for him. You're talking about to uh not make the weight. He was peeing orange, right? So he was all right. Let me let, let's let's talk about this real quick. Let's talk about this. <laughs> block a hey, look simply block was empty simply remembers or do you uh, the block was empty simply the bot bars the block was empty simply the block was empty <laughs> everybody was like damn i guess i'll just go to school and okay all right so let's talk about it let's talk about it what's good biz my favorite commentator what's up boy one of my favorite show business partners let's give it up for tim butler have we ever given it up for tim butler ever before it's the only thing Uh, let me see. Uh, I just parlay Carrington KO, Davis KO. It's your court. That was beautiful. That's what you do. That's what you do. That's what it, it, that's what you do. That was beautiful. Uh, let me see. He had uh hair too. It, dog, dog. Francis Underwood for President 2024. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, you got to give it up for Tim Butler, bro. This dude is is fantastic. Um. Um. Oh, so let's talk about Shakur Stevenson real quick, his decision. His pee was orange, all right? He couldn't make the weight. It was going to be unhealthy, okay? Fine, all right? So in that in that case, he knew he couldn't make the weight. He, he, there was nothing else to lose. So he was w- willing to take the penalty. He's embarrassed and all those things. He's embarrassed. He got penalized. He's no longer a champion. He got hit hard. He got hit hard in the media. He got hit hard everywhere. I'm not sure. Unless you want him to jump in front of a car and get hit or get hit by a train or hang himself, There's the best thing he should do, not, do now is focus on beating Constantine. So don't get down in the dumps uh, and then go and get beat up by Constantine. No. Stand up. This is what I did. I got to put that behind me. I got ass to whip because it get even worse if Constantine whips my ass. So he's doing the right thing. I'm not sure how low y'all want him to be. But Two, um, uh, it was unprofessional because he could have made the weight if he took it seriously leading up to it. That's what Tank Davis did. Tank Davis missed weight constantly when he was younger. He missed weight like four times when he was younger. When he was young, he missed weight a bunch of times. But that's when he realized he has to be in shape earlier. That's what Errol Spence does. Errol Spence stays in shape now after the car accident. He don't try to – he doesn't get fat like he used to and then try to get in boxing shape once a fight is made. No, Errol Spence keeps his weight down, manageable, so when it's time to cut the weight, he can do it. So you got 1.6 pounds. That means that all that time before, he wasn't keeping his weight down. He wasn't managing it. So that to try to do it now is a waste of time. He's right. He should have done it, kept his weight manageable before. So he let he messed up. As of right now, the fight's on. Exactly. 100 percent Right now, the fight's on. I'm not sure what y'all wanted me to say. There's nothing. That was my thing. Everybody who criticized me for, yeah, you weren't hard enough for Shakur. Number one. I can't be. I don't, I'm not his dad. I, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I'm not sure. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. 100% simply. That's what, dog, this guy's hurt off the first punch. He's hurt off the first. Oh, damn. He's, he's, hey, hold on, bro. This dude came in dressed like Jason Voorhees. His name's Castro. He, he um, so yeah, facts. That's the facts Friday. 100. I just wanted your take, show. That's all. I understand. I'm not, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about everybody. You, this is your first time asking. You, you didn't watch my live show earlier today. But everybody else who criticized me, I, I don't know what else there were to say. That's what I really want to know. What should I have said? I'm glad he didn't cancel the fight like Jake Paul. Bingo, right? That's why I was telling people with the whole, 
Oh, it's Rockman's fault. Oh. I'm just like, y'all don't watch boxing. People miss weight all the time. But the difference is, I seen Rockman miss weight a month before the fight. How do you? That's no. There's no such thing. If that's the case, all fighters miss weight. Kamsasai would have missed weight if you weighed, weighed him in a month before the fight. Come to find out, Rockman messes around and made weight by the fight because he does this shit. You think it's impossible, but that's what he do. So, uh, let me see. That part, yeah. Biz, did you, did Shakur get stripped? He's not, he's, whatever, I'm I'm not going to fall into that question because people get moist when I say strip. So he he's not the WBC or WBO champion anymore. He got penalized. He got penalized some of his purse. He's not the WBC or WBO champion anymore. Uh, let me see. What else we got? Um, Biz, besides losing his straps, is he being fine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big facts. Uh-huh. That's what happens. That's what happens. You get a penalty, a percentage of your purse, and you know, he does he doesn't. Has <laughs> Shakur been stripping? <laughs> uh, let me see. Who you got tonight? Well, you'll see when I place the best. Everybody hit the like button. That's 500 people in here. So everybody keep hitting the like. Uh, he's moving up to 135, 100%. My my thing is this though. My thing is this. I think it goes 12. My thing is this. With Constance Town, Shakur Stevenson. Um, my only thing is the fight's gonna be fine. The fight itself is gonna be fine. The in ring. So I there are two sides of boxing for me. There's the business side, and then the side that I'm mostly interested in, the fight itself. So many people, people have become because of reality TV, the Kardashians, all the reality TV stuff that goes on now, people are now being um, coded to be more interested in the out of, out of the ring stuff, how they live their lives, what's going on in social media, what girlfriend they got, what clothes they're wearing, who said what to Tom and who girl and who signed what and who's really ducking and who... People are into that that arguing because they can plug themselves into that. They can't plug themselves into the fight, but they can plug themselves into the soap opera, right? So men are into that now. That used to be a thing that women were into, the storyline. The, we were into the fight. They have the beard. Oh, you know, the violence. Now we're into the stories, right? So there's two sides. There's the stories that I, I have to kind of cover with Twitter fingers. I hate covering the stories. And then my favorite part, the violence, the fight. The fight, I already know it's an even fight. Constance is 5'11". He's going to blow up tonight. We know that he's going to be huge. It's going to be an even fight. That's my favorite part. The 1.6 pounds everybody is hanging on, fine. Okay, we could talk about that all day and say who's at fault and hate and do all that. So that's that one side. But then there's me understanding that Constance is huge at 130, and this is going to be an even fight. And I'm as far as as even as it was always going to be, it's not going to be no difference, and it's going to be a good fight. I mean, I should honestly, Constantine may have the advantage because his pee wasn't orange. He did better cutting weight. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The moist generation, uh huh. You don't have to hate the stories. You don't have to hate the stories. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to like, you can only love the stories and hate the boxing. And nobody has to do anything. Um, it's not about having to do anything. It's about what do you like, right? So a hey, showbiz, you don't have to hate Hitler. Well, no, I don't have to hate Hitler. I can love Hitler, but I choose to not be into him, right? <laughs> so I'm not really into the stories. I mean, I'm naturally into what goes on in the ring. But I know a lot of you are into the story, so I cover it. I cover some of it. There's a lot that I don't cover. Um, uh, you could jab the like. Yeah, you could jab the like and subscribe. <laughs> so, so you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, everybody, hit the like button. Let's get a thousand people here. I'm ready to bet. Uh, that, <laughs> uh, I hope Haney versus Shakur happens. That's the reason why. That's the reason why he he hurt us, us boxing fans. 
when he didn't remain champion. He didn't stay WBO champion. I think Sully brought that up earlier today. He didn't stay. Sully! He didn't stay. Uh, uh, I have to brand Sully Dane. Sully! He, he didn't stay. This guy's getting punched upside his damn head with a right hand. Uh, where was I? Where, where the, uh, just that quick. Oh, he didn't stay the WBO champion. If he would have moved up as the WBO champion, he would have been mandatory for the belt. Um, Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson would be great to see them two in the ring. It may be a weak ass fight. I ain't gonna lie to you. It may be a weak ass fight, bro. Um, but it may be fun for us who love just how bizarre that can be. Winky Wright versus Floyd Mayweather. Just like, this is crazy. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think anyone gets hurt. And no one gets hurt. It's going to be who can who can play tag the best. I, I don't think anyone gets hurt that fight. You know, that, that's the problem there. Or if they're too much alike, they may end up both doing the opposite. Who knows? Uh, bigger fights for Shakur at 135 and above. There is a world. There is a world that is possible. There's a world where Lomachenko can beat Devin the Dream Haney after October. Shakur Stevenson moves up, fight a guy, and then fight Lomachenko, and Lomachenko beats Shakur. There's a world where Lomachenko beats Devin Haney and Shakur. I'm not saying it happens. There's a world where it does. And if that world becomes the reality, what do you say about Lomachenko? There's a world where that happens. There's a world where Shakur Stevenson moves up, beat Devin Haney and Lomachenko. But I'm just saying, there's a very possible world where Lomachenko beats them both. What's that on my hair? Uh-huh, caught it. Got it. Oh, I took off my shirt. I took off my sweatshirt. So there go that lint right there. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Uh, Loma ain't beating Tank. Oh, oh, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. So let me help you out. There's a world where Loma, because because Shakur Stevenson and Devin the Dream Haney are both top-ranked fighters, so is Lomachenko. So we are talking about top-ranked fighters. So I'm sorry to not make that clear. So there's a world where Lomachenko, who's going to fight Devin Haney after Devin Haney fights Cambosis, and if Lomachenko gets past Jermaine Ortiz, if that, if that happens, they'll fight each other. And there's a world where Lomachenko beats Devin Haney, and then Shakur Stevenson moves up. I'm not sure where you heard Tank. I'm not sure where you heard Tank. <laughs> That's what happens, though. People brain. I'm not sure where you heard Tank, but yeah. But the lint is on my shirt now. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Because you'll be looking at You had to get that off. Not for me, for you. That shit pissed you off. Once I took the lint off my hair, see, you got OCD. So when I took the lint off the hair and it fell on my shirt, he, he, brother, please see my comment. You ain't super chatted, so you probably, you know, you, see my comment, please. Because <laughs> I'm looking at the lint. I can't hear a word you say. Once you remove the lint, then we can talk. <laughs> I'm sure that's what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh, let me see. Has the main car started? <laughs> you feel me simply? That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, uh, has the main car started? Um, no, the, these are these are the, the the young folks. These young folks. We almost had a thousand though. Everybody keep hitting the like. Fantasy fight. Who wins between Pac Man and Maidana? That's a tough fight. Uh, I think it's an easier fight for. I got Pac Man. It's an easier fight for Pac Man than it was for Floyd. Let me tell you why. Did you guys have you guys ever seen? Um, have you guys ever seen Have you guys ever seen Sugar Ray Leonard versus Floyd Sr? Have you guys ever seen Sugar Ray Leonard versus Floyd Sr? Now I'm going to tell you why Pacquiao beats Maidana and why people are bringing up Maidana. Have you ever seen that? Did you see how Yeah, did you see how Sugar Ray Leonard was throwing his shots around the Philly shell? If you throw punches straight, the Philly shell, the Philly shell destroys the jab, especially when you initiate the right hand, and it avoids certain things, but not everything. Sugar Ray Leonard was fast and throwing hooks. Um, 
Casa, uh, Castillo beating Floyd Mayweather the first time, but they gave Floyd Mayweather the fight. Castillo was doing those. Oh, God! That right hand was, he got, that dude got hit and went, rum, rum, rum. brother, no, call it. Call it, brother. Call it. Brother, he ain't looking good. Brother, he ain't looking. Hey, yeah, stop that shit. What are you doing? Yeah, brother, he's done. Are you serious? What? Oh, that's the worst. Ralph, you're horrible. You should stop. Oh, hey, brother. That got pop. <laughs> Let me see. Pitbull versus Shakur Stevenson at 135. Thoughts? Beautiful fight. Beautiful fight. Uh, I got Shakur, though. He's too good. But that, you know, my middle brother said, hey, man, nobody wants to fight Pitbull. My, my middle brother said that's a hard guy to fight for anybody. He said because he's hard to hurt, he's hard to hit right, and you got to commit. And when you commit, he's winging big shots, and he's committing. He's a horrible guy to fight. That's what my middle brother said. Uh, he may be right. Um, he's usually right. Um, but um, Maidana winging those shots as well against Floyd, getting through, okay? The thing is, Maidana didn't look that way against everybody. Um, Amir Khan waxed that ass. Vitor, uh, Victor Ortiz dropped him a few times. Um, the way Amir Khan was throwing those fast hands at Maidana and was hitting him with some good shots, Pacquiao would do that. Pa Pacquiao would beat Maidana worse than Floyd did. His styles make fights. Oh, that overhand right again. See, the problem, the problem is, oh, God, the problem is, um, Hernandez does not move his head when he's throwing punches. That's Casa Sal's problem. Look at the island. Look at his head stays on the line. Oh, good body shot. Diaz is about to, Diaz can't help but to him in that big ass head because the head stays on the line. He's been able to absorb punches because his head is humongous. He got a heavyweight Evander the Real Deal Holyfield head, but he has the body of Pepino Cuevas. Okay. But my thing is, he missed the right hand. Boom, uppercut left. He His head is right on the line. Let me see. Wasn't Ray 22 years old uh, for in that senior fight? I don't know. I don't recall how old he was. I don't recall. Um, Biz, uh, what fight are you watching? Uh, Diaz versus Hernandez? Hernandez got dropped in the third. This is the middle of the fourth round right now. I guess he did do some good reference. Everybody, make sure you hit the like button. I, I got to place a bet, so we need a 1,000 people in here. So everybody hit the like button. How many likes we got? Probably 200 because you guys don't really hit the like until I, I watch. See how many likes we got. Um, Let me see. How many likes we got? Show biz the adult. All right, man, look. Yeah, only 266. So everybody, hit the like. Get more likes in here. If you get more likes, we can get 1,000 people. I can start placing these bets for you guys. Let me see how many likes we got now. It went up 10. Yeah, everybody, just hit the like. It, it only take a second. Everybody, just do your due diligence and hit the like, and then we'll get 1,000 people in here, and it'll, it'll be time to play some bets. All right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check, check it out in a minute. Oh, let me see. Hit the facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maidana was two different fighters before and after Robert Garcia. Oh, uh, you can see it like that. You can see it like that. Or you could just judge him for what you, what he is, right? No matter what, he can't be a totally different fighter. He wasn't a totally different fighter. Um, um, he was always a, a, a fantastic fighter. Um, Pacquiao, Pacquiao beats him. Pacquiao's too great. He's too great. Floyd beats him, right? Too great. Uh, let me see. Pitbull awkward. I'd rather fight a person that knows how to throw hands over a wild street fighter all day. Hands. Oh, no, how to throw hands over a wild street fighter all day and twice on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Pitbull is awkward. I'd rather fight a person that knows how to throw hands over a wild street fighter all day and twice on Sunday. I know what you mean by that. I know what you mean by that. Let me tell you what you mean. Let me tell you what you mean. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It's the same reason why Floyd Mayweather's fighting Deji and not KSI. It's because of your style is why you're saying that. 
it's because of your style. I'm not sure if you're a boxer, but because how you naturally throw your hands, you ra- see me, I I rather a wild street fighter. Because the way I the way I fight a wild street fighter, I ruin those. Every time I ruin those with two punches. But somebody who knows how to throw his hands, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm talking about pop, 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 nice with it. I've, I've, my hardest fights I've ever had was somebody who's throwing their hands very properly and extremely fast. But a, a fighter, like, I whoop those, bro. I whoop those. So it's your style. It's your style all day long. It's your style. Hey, I, I just hit a sloppy guy with one punch, a jab. A jab because I throw mine straight. A jab. All day long. All day long. But if but there are certain styles that hate that. Like, dude, chill. 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 There's certain people stylistically. So that's why styles make fights. All day long. Your hardest fight was a short pressure fighter. My hardest fight was somebody, I'm going to tell you my hardest fight. It was a guy who was not backing up. So I get what you're saying. It was a guy who wasn't back. I'm like, it's like Tyson Holyfield. It was a guy who wasn't backing up when I was giving him everything. He stood in the pocket and was picking his shots with me. And I, I ended up beating him. I hurt him. I hurt him multiple times. But here's the thing. He hurt me too. I was hurt too. I remember what the the uppercut I hit him with, I couldn't even see. My eyes were full of tears. I got big eyes anyway. And I could, I didn't even, I couldn't even see. (laughs) When I hit him with that uppercut, I was looking and he didn't throw any more punches. I'm looking and he's falling back. Thank goodness. I couldn't even see. I couldn't see. We were throwing hands and he was right with me. Boom, 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 boom. It was violent. I hated that fight. I hated that fight. A new member, baby, baby, baby. How long do you box? Not long. Not long at all. I did Taekwondo and Jiu-Jitsu. Long. That's why I keep telling people that, oh, you don't know nothing about MMA. I, I practiced um, martial arts longer than I actually did boxing. I stopped doing boxing because of after I got knocked out. I stopped pretty early. I stopped pretty early. I, I never boxed an amateur fight in my life. I was training for it. And I was doing some sparring and stuff like that. Um, I got knocked out. And after I got knocked out, I thought, should I really do this? Because I was, you know, in college. Should I really do this? Thank you so much, my brother. Um, what class, yo? Here's the funny thing. Where, where I was going, there was no, like, class. I was, I mean, I was always a stronger kid. I was always... I was in great shape. I, I can show you a picture of me. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Y'all gonna say pause. Y'all gonna definitely say pause. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all this just once. I'm gonna show y'all this just once, dog. Y'all gonna say pause for sure. Uh, I thought your hardest fight was that dude that took your watch. He was my hardest street fight. Yes. Yes. He was, I, I didn't land one punch on him. I had a head bunny. Uh, yo, Biz, ever had drug problems? Just wondering. Uh, no. Um, but when I had a, a knee surgery, uh, I don't know what kind of question that is, but I, when I had a knee surgery, um, I got off of opioids and my mouth was foaming and kind of like had a bad taste. Come to find out I was addicted to opioids for a while. Like it happens that quick. I didn't even know because once I got off of it, I was actually going through something. Um, but no, I didn't have drug problems. No, but opioids are bad. I, I had a knee surgery. It was painkillers. Uh, my hardest fight was a fast jabber. Uh, couldn't move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes all the sense in the world. That makes all the sense in the world. Hold on, let me show you something. If I if I can find it. If I can find it, bro. Let's 
Somebody, somebody, somebody hurt again. I'm having a hard time. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it, bro. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. Hold on. That's not how you do it. How do, how do you do it? You can't go to photos. What's this right here? Here we go, right here. 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 This was me. This was me when I was boxing. It's a selfie, dog, so don't, don't hold it against me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a selfie guy like that anymore. But right here. That's how showbiz the adult used to look. Look at the shred. Look at the, I was, I was fully on attack mode. Showbiz was fully on attack mode. That's why I be telling you, that's why I be telling you guys, I wasn't playing. <laughs> I wasn't playing any games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I wasn't I wasn't playing any games. Uh Biz, I'm just a boxing fan. I have an uncle and one of my brothers went pro. Uh I'm the baby of six boys, so not by choice, but I got a lot of fight in me. There you go. 100%. That's all it takes, bro. That's all it takes. Yeah, ripped up uh st No, no steroids. Yeah, yeah, that's called my mother and father. That's genetics. And people who don't have that, look, my man Photo, he like, is that Photoshop? No, <laughs> that's me. That's me. Flex on him. I mean, I still got a little bit of it. Don't you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I was more shredded. I'm pretty sure you are more shredded, better looking, better fighter with more money. I I'm not even trying to come at you or make you compete. I was just saying for y'all to think about, to put a picture on who was boxing. And doing jujitsu and all that. That was me. <laughs> you got more girls, everything. I concede to it. I'm just saying that's what I was looking like. Biz was a joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nope, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. I think I got a little bit of it. Like, nope, it's gone. Like <laughs> he was being boys. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Swole biz. Let me see. Uh, my hardest fight was against Cesar Diaz, that prospect that passed, that was signed from Golden Boy. He was fast and did well in the pocket. See, that would give me trouble, too. Fast and doing well in the pocket, that gave me trouble, too. That gave me trouble, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. The hate is real, biz. Yeah. Uh, nutrition and youth. Nutrition, youth, and genetics. That dude, though. That dude that I showed you, if I can talk to that brother today, he I, I had I had real violent issues. <laughs> if I could talk, everything about me revved high. So I was laughing. I was super sweet to people, super friendly, and can get crazy angry. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of like that now, except for I stay away from people. Before, I was always around people. So, if I can talk to that kid today, bro, geez Louise, I'm just happy he made it to here, where it's like showbiz, and you, and now I'm just gleeful, and I, like, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, let me see. Uh, that was hard work and dedication. Oh, yeah. All I did was eat. Let me tell you what I ate. I never drank this, right? I, I didn't drink, I, I drank water by the ton and um 
salad and chicken. That's all I did. That's all I did. Water, salad, and chicken. And every so often, I knew when to do it. I timed it. Every so often, I have a big, fat, greasy burger. And for some reason, it would shred me. I think my body needed the fat or something to use it. Um, but that's what I was. I was very dedicated. Yeah, that was pre-40. That was me like at. That was actually me a little bit after. That was probably me like at 30. That was me a little bit after. Oh, uh, let me see. It's weird because even though I've never been in a fight, I kind of want to see how I would do. That's my mom. My mom is a good fighter. She taught me a lot of things. So my mom is schooled, uh, I think, because of my father. But my mom never really been in a real fight and always wanted to whoop somebody's ass. I don't know why my mom. I don't know why she wanted to whoop ass so bad. But uh, never been pressed. But then again, I don't think I make myself pressable. Right. You're smart. Uh, just a chill person. Right. Man, I'm pretty sure if you had to, you, you're probably the type that would knock somebody, break their nose. Because you'll just snap. Uh, let me see. What's good, community? Showbiz. What's good with you? Uh, Got to get you on the uh, Madden. Oh, yeah. Uh, PS5, though. That's all good. We, we'll do cross play. But, yeah, Shakur moving up 135 next. Hopefully, uh, he break Constantile down. I, I don't think he knocks him out, though. Him and Constantile is kind of the same with their record, too. I think Constantile was like 17-1. 17 and 1 with eight knockouts or something. And I think Shakur is like 18 and 0 with nine knockouts. I mean, they're very similar. Uh, if Devin loses rematch or Lopez fight winner, if Devin lose, it's a rematch or Lopez, Lopez fight. Oh, whew. if Devin lose, it's a, re no, no, they, they, he only has a two fight deal. If Devin loses, uh, Cambosis is just undisputed. And, and, uh, Lomachenko fights Cambosis. Um, and Devin's just out. He'll have a third fight. He'll probably fight the winner between Lomachenko and Cambosis or something because he has a third fight in that contract. But it, he, 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 uh, there's no third fight with Cambosis. For kind of look like Roley in that pick. Much love. Ha! <laughs> my man Jab. Thank you so much, my brother. Give Jab his love for sitting that cash out. Uh, here what it is. Where it is. There it is. Okay, so everybody, hit the like one last time, and then we'll start. We'll just place the bets. We got 700 people in here. Everybody, hit the like one last time. How many more likes we got? See, we, damn, we, we only got 370. What are y'all doing? Everybody, please just close out the chat. Hit the like. That's all you have to do to support. Just boom, bam. Close out the chat. Hit the like. That's all you got to do. Or grab your phone. Boom, boom. Okay? Um, let's get some more, uh, more likes. Let me see where we at. There you go, 20 likes. You see how many people just, right? So everybody, just hit the like. Uh, we're about to get busy right now, actually. Um, My hardest fight was my first exhibition match in Muay Thai. Your first one? Probably was. And uh, my opponent was 6'5", 240 damn pounds, and I weighed 190. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. There wasn't no, when they said, what class were you, Biz? I was just. Get in there, get your ass whipped. My coach, love you, boy. He passed away. Um, just hey, you, you get your fight. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Just get throw your hands. That's how it is at the beginning. Throw your hands and see if you even want to do this shit. Right? Uh, let me see. So yeah, let's play the bet. Let's play the bet. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he fought the Undertaker. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, time to place your bets, man. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. I love this. First, the, the first thing, the first thing I have to do is share right now. I just love what uh, BetUS is doing with our community and what BetUS is doing uh, and just um, being professional. Like, look at this, man. Look at this. The... They just let you know where everything is. It's bigger, easier to use, and safe. Look at the promo code. Everything is very easy to get to. 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,500. Uh, That's amazing. Been in the game for about 30 years. Just beautiful work. Um, yeah, they're doing magnificent work. Uh, so let's let's uh, make this a full screen. 
Um, let me see what Kamal have to say. Uh, I fought Doctor Strange for messing with <laughs> messing with time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me stop sharing real quick. Let me log in. I'll be close to pressing the wrong button, bro. Messing everything up. All right, so let's start sharing now. <laughs> yeah, you fought Ray Mysterio. Uh, can you guys see? Can you guys see pretty good? I hope so. Everybody, make sure you hit the like. Let's go back. Wait, football. There you go, right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, bet on boxing. Beautiful, beautiful work. Beautiful work, Bet US. They're doing a fantastic job right now. First bet I'm a bet is um the prop bets for Keyshawn Davis. Uh, I'm I'm definitely going to do that first. So let's do the prop bets for, for Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis to win by KO, uh TKO disqualification. Damn, everybody know he's he knocking dude out. What's my max bet today? Is 335. That's my max bet today to win 100. I'm placing a bet. Give me my give my hundred dollars right there. All right. Easy work. I, I already know what's gonna happen there. That KO, that's easy work. Let's go, let's go to another another fight. <laughs> let's go, let's let's go to the fight, dog. That's 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 easy work. Wait, what happened? Let me go back. Wait, what happened to my uh Here we go. Okay, uh now Jesus, look how much money you got to Is that even worth it? Let's go to uh, Carrington. Where's Carrington at? Give me another knockout from Brownsville. Carrington, where are you? Wait, Connor Ben. Hold on. Wait a second. They don't have Carrington up here? Dang, you can't bet on the Carrington fight. All right, so let's 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 go to Shakur Stevenson. Oh Lord, have mercy. Let's see what the market's talking about. Let's go to the fight props. Man, there is no way Stevenson's gonna win by I, I don't got KO. I do not have a KO. Let's let's what's what's where's the unanimous decision at? Over under. I'm not doing any other over unders. I'm not doing any round betting. So that was the negative. That was the minus eighteen hundred. Wow. I'm about, I'm I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Shakur Stevenson by unanimous decision. What do y'all think? Let's see what y'all think. When the last time Stevenson KO somebody? Yeah, I think you got Shakur by stoppage in the tenth. The last time Shakur stopped somebody was Jamel Herring. So that was that was a couple of fights ago. Y'all want to do it for fun? Because I'm going to win the Keyshawn Davis thing. Y'all want to put a hundred on the knockout for fun, just to go even? Yes, yeah, Sully, he KO. Y'all want to do that just to go even? Like, if I lose the 100 on Shakur, right, I just, you know, because I'm going to win the 100 from Keyshawn. Yeah, yeah, simply. Let's just go even. Facts. Let's just simply say let's do it for fun. Let's do it for fun. Simply, I, I, I agree with simply on this one. Shakur to win by KO, TKO, disqualification. Yeah. Let's do this for fun. Let's put a 100 on to win by God to win fifty dollars, man. What's what's the max bet going with me? Two hundred to win a hundred. 
but then I lose 100. What do y'all think? Just win the 100? I mean, just bet the 100 and win $50, though? I mean, that is gas money. You don't have it on KO. I don't? Ooh. Stevenson to win by KO, TKO. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's still on decision. You're right. You're right. Here it is right here. Oh, God. Thank God. Thank God. My man just saved me. Okay. 100 to win 200. Wow. You just saved me. You just Sully saved me. It's on decision. He saw. He read it on the side. My Sully. Bruh. Sully. So tonight. Gotta leave the nine five up had to make sure. My God, Sully saved me. Okay. Woo, because I'm like plus 200. How does that win 50? My good. Okay, so we're going to win. We're going to win. I, I got good vibes now. Shakur is going to knock him out. I got good vibes now. Let's place the bet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's place that goddamn. My bad. I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to put God's name. Let's go. Salute to Sully. I almost blew it. This is the shiz. Thank you so much. Okay. So we placed our bets. Well, I placed my bet. Everybody, uh, if you guys going to place bets with me, that's that. Look, Jamel Ch uh, Herring is right here. If y'all going to place the bets with me, man, go on and place your bets. You only got so much time to do it. Make sure you guys create an account, place a bet. Put in showbiz has your promo code, though, so you can get your money, right? Your 125% up to $2,500. Win something first. Put the, the promo code of showbiz in there so you can get to the bag. Uh, let me see. Great choice. Yeah, I, I, Sully did it right. Uh, you don't need gas money. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. Alex is my man, bro. I miss you, brother. I, I definitely got to do relevant just to get y'all back together. Uh, let me see. Um, Sully was on it. Sully was not playing, Tim. All right, man. All right, man. So I'm gonna call the next fight after this. We're gonna start calling the fights, and they they starting to get these other under undercar fights out the way. It's about it's we're knocking on seven o'clock. It's it's about to be six thirty over here in Central Central Time. Showbiz, the next level boxing entertainment. Hit the Tyson Bell. I want to know. Oh, oh, I see a lot of you guys left. Yeah, you guys went to Bet US. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys who – there's about 30 of you. Y'all probably placing your bets. Yep, three more left. Y'all probably placing your bets right now. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, let me see. Who win, Charlo Brothers or the Mexican Monster? Um, the Mexican Monster. Uh, he just beat David Lemieux. Um, I think – here, let, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Uh, Biz, quick question. James Brown, Marvin Gaye, or Earth, Wind, and Fire? Oh, Lord. Brother, you just hurt my feelings. Um, because I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. And it's going to piss you off. It's going to make my mom mad too. Nope. Marvin Gaye. I almost said earth, wind, and fire. Last moment, audible. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. I almost said earth, wind. Because Earth Wind, there's too many songs from Earth Wind that I'm I'm playing that is just feel too damn good. Would you mind if I touched, if I kissed, if I held you twice in the morning light? Why? Would you mind? How, what, what's his name? Maurice Green? Mark, love you, boy. I, Maurice White? But I love you, boy. Gone but not forgotten. You got sexual healing for sure. But you got uh um uh, come come get to this. Oh my god. You definitely got let's get it on. But you also got stuff like, hey baby, what you know good. I'm just getting back, but you knew I would. Huh? War is hell. When will it end? 
when will people start getting together again? Hey, are things really getting better? Like the newspaper said. Hey, huh? What else is new, my friend? Besides what I've read. Man, that song there on that What's Going On album. Shh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's just too much. There's too much. Hear my dear, that whole album. The whole Let's Get It On album the, is, is really too much. That damn album, you that album, y'all remember that album? What's the name of that album? Uh, Probably his best one. What's the name of, I, hold on, what's the name of that shit? <laughs> I mean, stuff. Um, what is it called? <laughs> um, uh, I got to send you my old school playlist on Apple Music, man. Uh-huh. LOL. I list uh, you some. What's going on? Uh-huh. I want you. Heard it through the grapevine. I want you. I want you. Ha! The right way. I want you. Ha! And I want you to want me to. Ha! Huh? I want you the right way, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> A new member, baby, baby. <laughs> my God. I want you. Uh-huh. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I want you to want me to. In the city blues. <laughs> Okay, okay. At this point, is Marvin Gaye, period. It's Marvin Gaye, period. My bad. Dog, don't give me no damn Luther. Let's not get started. <laughs> don't get me started, dog. Just let me relax. Let me, because <laughs> I can't sing. So you can, you're going to have me singing and sound like a damn idiot. So let's not. <laughs> oh, you talking about Teddy Tender ass. You talking about Teddy Tender ass. My thing is, uh, seems like another love TKO. The funny thing is, that's the worst part of the song. The verses when he, when he's singing, that's the best part. I hate that hook. That's something that I want to reveal. I hate the hook, but the song, the song, because I'm gonna tell you another song that's like that. Um, um. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. That hook is funny as hell. But we got a thing. The song going on. We know that it's wrong. But it's far too gone to let it go now. The song it's nice, but me, and, that's terrible. Mrs. Mrs. Joe, I hate that part. But we got a thing, she going on. I could play that part all day. <laughs> we know that it ain't right. <laughs> Shit. Oh, let me see. Hit the like. Uh, uh, or or this old uh Jamaica, old ass Jamaica gonna cut you. You ain't lying. Let me give my man his love. So oh, uh, let me see. Stevenson gonna beat him with the spring off the bounce. <laughs> yeah, he is. At work, 43 minutes left, listening to your bitch. Yeah, man, trouble man. Oh, for the community, man. Put on Trouble Man on your way home. Stevie Wonder. There you go. See, this, this dumbass said R. Kelly. I love you like a play cousin. Didn't mean to do that. You just hurt my heart. That's all. Didn't mean to do that. I like R. Kelly too. But you don't, R. Kelly, people say it, but they're damn lying. He's nice. He's very good. But he ain't a monk, Stevie Wonder, uh, uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Marvin Gaye. I don't care what y'all say. I came up in the 80s. I mean, in the 90s. I came up in the 90s. I was 10 years old in 90. Okay, so really I came up through the 90s. And I know better. I know better. Marvin Gaye kicking his ass. 
If Marvin Gaye father ain't shooting, we'll be rocking with Marvin Gaye now. That's the black two sugars. Don't get me started. Kelly, love you like a play cuz. Really, I don't, because what you did was foul as hell. Actually, I don't love you like a play cuz. Now, now that's another damn reason. You foul weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. The OJs uh, used to be my girl is my. You ain't lying. Uh, what else we got? Was just listening to Teddy Tenda and Stephanie Mills. Stephanie Mills. Oh, my God. Made Dinah Ross sound like a damn. A damn. Sloth. Made her sound like a made her sound like a sloth. Sound like a damn wildebeest. I don't know what she made her sound like. When Stephanie Mills sing home, she made Dinah Ross sound like damn. Shoot, y'all about to make me get copywritten. Uh, what up, showbiz? What's going on with you? I'm a, I can't think of my favorite. Uh, let me see. It's no uh a simple show. It's showbiz, 100. I cannot. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Mm -mm. Oh lord. Oh, Lord. Y'all about to have me on some other shit. Um, I, I can't, I, I can't think of my silly of me to think that whatever. Dog, silly. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to. You're just a lover to score and i don't even want to talk about i don't want to talk about it that's what yeah here just to let y'all know the dale damn phonics not the dale phonics the damn the dale damn phonics uh shaka khan anita baker and y'all wonder why showbiz is always high y'all say constantly oh showbiz must be on crack let's run his name through the hell Let's run him his name through bad and 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 ill will and negativity. Say the worst things about showbiz when actually he's high off love. People won't know happiness if it's standing in front of them saying showbiz the adult. Because if all you're listening to, silly of me to think that I whatever. When you're listening to that all the time, when I go from this. To me and Ms. Biz upstairs listening to human nature. I'm in love. And I'm talking about in love with life. And people are so far removed from that, they think it's drugs. That's how sad the world is today. That's how sad the world is today. But y'all, y'all get it off. Y'all get it off. Uh, let me see. Don't forget Aretha. I won't. Shoot. Sure. Till you come back to me, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Who gonna forget about? It? Love you, girl. What about Anita Baker? I know everything's about. It. She's practically every, everybody's mama. Every every black mama was Anita Baker or Sade. <laughs> uh, ain't no way. Uh huh. Uh, ain't no way. Don't have me singing that shit. How, how am I going to be able to sing like a great woman? All right. I'm a horrible singing man. Y'all got me out here bad. But Aretha will shut it down, be it shut the game down. Shut the game down. Uh, Fire and Desire by Rick James. And, dog, Tina Marie is my girl. I'm sorry. Uh, Do y'all know e EWF, uh, a.k.a. Elements, was uh, back and played for the emotions? No, I did not. No, I did not. Hit the Tyson Bell. <clears throat> Let me see. We high on life, biz, 100%. Uh, caught me in a rapture. Stop. In rapture. Love. There's a song by Stephanie Mills, though, that I y'all killing me. I'm just trying to. Oh, my God. 
Michael Jackson. This is what's on right now. Is what I was playing in the car on my way home. Maria, don't you hear me Maria? How the hell can y'all knock me off my high when I'm listening to this? That's what I was bumping in the car. On my way here to call the fight you got the best of my love much love to you donnie 100 percent whitney they too young biz they too young they too young they're <laughs> they too young they wouldn't know a badass fur coat if they saw a lion huh that boy look like serpentor oh uh, let me see what else we got flamingos uh only have eyes for you there's a song though by stephanie mill everybody's bumping right now bro uh guess what i was listening to on my way home biz i shot the sheriff yes you did by bob marley here 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 too far this is a song by stephanie mills though my mom is probably singing it like damn it boy get the song you know what song it is stephanie mills oh my god i feel good all over I feel good. I feel good. Maybe I feel good all over. Y'all know that song? You and I have one another. Oh! Have you ever have you ever held your girl hand while listening to that? You know, I've been in many places. Seen lots of faces. Oh my God. But I have never had it. Oh, my man said blue magic. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We're not going to talk about this. We're going to talk about boxing. We're going to talk about boxing. <laughs> who Zoom and who? I'm going to tell you why you speaking of Zoom. How about the Commodore Zoom? Oh, Jahai Tucker. We, we got to watch this. We got to watch Jahai Tucker. We're going we gonna to start calling the fights in a minute now. The Drifters. Hey, best best, uh, best Christmas song of all time. <laughs> let me see. Showbiz. Watch like a fan. 100%. Let's, let, let, let's get to it. Let's <laughs> let the sideshow begin. Speaking of sideshow, I just bought another statue. Yeah, Zoom. I like to fly away. Say I like to fly away, zoom zoom. Y'all, y'all, I know y'all got chills. Y'all, oh no, no, you're right. You're right. Nat King Cole, Nat King Cole has the best Christmas song of all time. My hey, who don't know how to try a little tenderness? Huh? And then Jay-Z and Kanye brought that shit back. I almost shed a tear. Uh, Biz, I'm telling you, I'm 21, but 50 in mind and spirit. Yeah, you got the soul of an old man. You got the soul of an old man. That's what I'm saying. I've been doing it since I was your age, right? Younger, right? We I played old school music, man. They got the best music. Song by the emotions on both their albums. Best of my damn love. Hey, Donnie's over here. Like, let me tell you something, bro. Sail on the stylistics. Hey, y'all want y'all want to know something funny? Um, my dad who passed away, his favorite song. I'm going to share this with y'all. My dad who passed away before I was born, his favorite song I used to listen to all the time, just to imagine him listening to it because I never knew him, and that was "Trash Man Didn't Get My Trash Today." Doom 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 doom. Oh, why? Because they want more pay. That's his favorite song. Huh? Well, that what makes the world go around the ups and downs of carousel. That's his favorite song. 
Boy, oh boy, that's so cool. Fire. Fire. Look, look, let me look. This is what we're gonna do, brother. Let me, let me, let me, let me ready for the world. Hey, the softest day I ever had. I drove up to a uh <laughs> hey, you know that song. Uh ooh. Ooh, girl, tonight. <laughs> right? I drove up to that, but I happened to drive up to a gas station. I was in the hood, and I was I was in a, a convertible, my mo- my mother's convertible, and my girl was with me. And and the bros was outside looking at me like, bro, what kind of bra are you, dog? <laughs> I, I pulled up. Girl, <laughs> I had shades on. The bros would stand outside, like, brother, what the hell's going on, cuz? <laughs> I had to turn that down. Like, Hold on, <laughs> baby, you had to put in some little weight or something. <laughs> you had to put on some little weight or something. The gap band outstanding, huh? That's every, that's every barbecue. <laughs> Jill Scott Heron is, is one of my favorite. Hey, hey, let me tell you, Curtis Mayfield, too. Gil Scott Heron is one of my favorite. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This can't be real. Dog, that guy, the bottom, uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, da, 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 da. See that black boy over there running scared. His old man got a problem, and it's a bad one. How do you know about that? How do you know about that? That's the question. Forget me. Wait, how do I know about that? I'm looking at Marcus. He he know about it. I don't. I'm 42. But that, Gil Scott's my guy. Uh, I just need to know who is he and what is he to you? Bill Withers is probably the, the a genius of all men. Uh, where that var- okay, let's play the Varnell. Let's get to boxing, dog, because I'm really feeling the Isley brothers. All right, y'all, let's get. We're going too far. I know we're trying to party on Friday on the show, but we got to slip some boxing in. Pause at some point. Now, let's the Varnell Hill. Bring on this with a laugh and do the cabbage patch. She's a pretty lady and then signs them autographs. The Varnell man can boing, boing. <laughs> Brother, you're only 45. The bottle came out. Oh, you probably were. No, nah, I don't know when the bottle came. You probably was just a baby when the bottle came out. I, man. All right, so let, let, let's talk. Home is where the hatred is. God, so y'all, everybody know Gil Scott Heron. So everybody know Gil Scott Heron. I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one hip. I'm sitting here like Gil Scott Heron's my dude. <laughs> Everybody know Gil Scott Heron. Yeah, pull counter. Let's do it. Let's do a pull counter. Somebody asked me a boxing question because this is this is getting too. We're going off the rails. We're having a good ass time, but we're going off the rails. <laughs> we gotta. Yeah, my man said pull counter. He's trying. We gotta. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's back to boxing. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get back to boxing. <laughs> um. We almost lost Detroit. Can you stop? Can you stop? Before y'all have me run the hell out of here. And and I got Gil Scott Heron records upstairs. So stop. I grab my black Pumas, bring that forward. My Michael Jackson, my Prince, bring all that. My Miles Davis, grab my Gil Scott Heron. So leave me alone. I'm trying to just chill now. I'm trying to chill. Oh, uh, my bad, bro. Continue on with the regular schedule. Yeah, we are. Let's chill. All right. Y'all see his face? I'm losing my damn mind. All right. <laughs> Shit. I want my daddy's records. <laughs> Getting real nostalgic. Yeah, y'all messing with me. Leave, right. Leave me alone by Michael Jackson. Y'all killing me now. All right. Body shot, left hook upstairs. All right. So where's Shushu Carrington? Is he fighting? I'm not seeing Shushu Carrington on the card. 
I'm I haven't heard anybody bring him up. Like, what's going on? Is my man, did he get hurt or something? Can you see this fight being a snooze fest? No. Um, oh well, sorry. This is this is a good question. Let me let let me give a better answer. Oh God. Oh, that was a trip. Uh, let me give a better answer. Let me give a better answer. Can I see this this fight being a snooze fest for the general public? Yes. Yes. Can I see the fight being a snooze fest for me? No. Uh, Shakur Stevenson fights in a way he does for me what Floyd Mayweather did. I, I was never bored by Floyd. Though I consider him a bit of a boring fighter for the public, I was never. I was amazed. I loved watching every second of Floyd. I was amazed by Floyd. Amazed. I thoroughly enjoyed. Even though I always say Pacquiao had a better career, that's because I'm not speaking just for me. I'm thinking about the effect of like you're anticipating, you're not knowing what's going to happen. Pacquiao gave you more of those. You know exactly what, what was going to happen with Floyd. You didn't know what was going to happen with Pacquiao. That's what made it more exciting. But for me, I was thoroughly entertained watching Floyd. Thoroughly. His every jab, his faint, his his quick twitch, his reflexes were, were brilliant. His boxing mind, his distance, his pivoting, his footwork. I just was... Take, no, this dude's face looks like a star crunch, bro. And I feel so bad. I feel so bad. That that has to hurt just to punt, just to touch. I feel so bad. Anyway, um, and that that's really that 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 really hurt. It looked like it, it really hurt me. Anyway, but so with Shakur Stevenson, I'm amazed watching him. I'm amazed when I watch Shakur. I'm like, God, that is very good. Like I'm. I'm more him and Lomachenko, though they're they have different styles. I'm amazed watching Lomachenko. I love watching Lomachenko. I'm very entertained. I people love to hate Lomachenko for reasons, societal reasons. But if for me, I don't even think that shit. I just when I look at him fighting, I'm amazed by how good he is. I'm thoroughly entertained by him. And that's how I feel about Shakur. When I look at Shakur fighting, I'm thoroughly entertained. Now, can it be a snooze fest for the people? Yeah. But Kansa Sal, Kansa Sal um, is going to throw a lot of punches, though. That's another thing. Kansa Sal, people got Kansa Sal. I've heard people break down a fight and see Kansa Sal as he's going to use his range and shoot the jab and beat. Kansa Sal never, he, he's like Paul Williams. He's always trying to be in a mix eventually. He always throws a bunch of combinations in a mix eventually, and he keeps his head on the island. That's why I can win a bet. I can mess around and get the knockout because he keeps his head on the line and he just throw a bunch of flurries. Um, Watch, listen, enjoy, showbiz. Hi, Lo. Thank you so much, Hit Tyson Bale. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, Ryan fans, a clown. No, I think you're a clown to be worried about. Now, Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He said, now, now, everybody, look at self-skilled. One, two, three. We got to do this. We got to do this. My kids, man. My kids. Can I have some money, Dad? My kids, dog. Hey, boy. Because every time... I how about I love you, Dad? <laughs> how about how about just simply dad? How how are you? <laughs> All right, I said my kids some money though. You gotta take care of your babies. All right. Um, thanks for that four dollar cash app. That helped. All right, so so everybody, yeah, when I came down. Now, now check, check this, check, check this, check this. Self skill said Ryan fans plural a clown. Now that now first we gotta give him this. First we gotta give him this. First we gotta give him this. That comment was dumb. 
now for worrying about what other people like. What other people like, you're worried about. I'm going to give you this. Make me happy. Dude, you're a genius. <laughs> My own damn bit. Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. He do the wee woo wee woo because he... Oh, that's my baby again. Let's see what, let's see what she says. Thank you. Hearts. Hearts. My daughter. Hearts. 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 Blue hearts because, you know what I mean, her dad, you know, you can't send me red, pink, and shit. <laughs> all right, all right, let me see. Uh, betting on your kids is, is uh, better, easier, and safe. Yeah, I always bet on my kids. I always bet on my kids. You know what I, how I take care of my kids. Uh, at least uh, they fight. Yeah, 100%. Uh, he do the weed. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Biz, in the last 10 years, which year was has had the best list of fights, such as for excitement? Past 10 years, which year? Oh, brother, that's so, that's very hard. Um do I have to think about that? 10 years. So that's from when I was 30 years old. Okay, that, that covers all right. I'm trying to remember what was all the same year. That is very I'm I'm gonna whatever I come up with is gonna be wrong, right? Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna miss some year that you definitely have memor memorized. <laughs> um I don't know, brother. I really don't know. I, I would have to really look at a list of fights and be like, wow. Um, I, I do have a problem, though. I do have a problem with. Um, there was a there were a few years there where you were only seeing Floyd and Pacquiao a lot. They weren't televising the pay-per-views or maybe I just couldn't afford them. I wasn't able to see all of boxing get covered. It was either Pacquiao pay-per-view or Floyd. I hated though. I hated those moments. Um, I had to really learn a lot of boxing, keep up with a lot of things on the undercard. Um, I think there was a time when, when Zab Judah, there were some Kodo days, like when Kodo and Zab Judah fought. And I think Paul Williams, I, I think Paul Williams fought Antonio Margarito that same year. And I think um, Roy Jones came back. I'm a big Roy Jones fan. So he fought a guy, knocked the guy out. His name was like Tiger or something. It was a light-skinned guy. Um, it was, it was, was it before or after Left Hook? Lacey. I think it was before the left hook Lacey fight or something like that. I can't remember, bro. I'm, ha I'm, having, I'm having a damn this time. Uh, let me see. Thoughts on pa Parker Joyce weight, weights, uh, both big and fit. I didn't even see their weight. I I'm not even concerned uh, about their weight. I, I, they're professionals. They're going to handle their business. I just think Joe Joyce is going to break Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker is, is probably better than him, honestly. Uh, let me see. What's next? There's so many fights, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of fights. There's a lot of fights. Uh, Biz is 2016. Uh, Gonzalez got to throw them gloves away after the fight because they were contaminated with the pimple juice. Hey, simply, simply. That's okay. That's okay. I thought you were a sweet woman. I always saw you as sweet, kind, right? I saw you. Look at her face. Look at her face. A face anyone would kill for. And look at what's in her heart. <laughs> Alex, Sully, look at, what's, look at what's in her heart. Look at what's in her heart. She said her, the, his gloves were contaminated. Look at what's in her soul. Best life. 
That's okay, though. Now I see why she's here every day. She got issues. That's all right, though. We're all going, going to hell in gasoline draws. For that one, you just sent us all. That's all right, though. That's all right. It would happen. A beautiful woman would do that. Send us all burning. That's all. It's all good, though. It's all good because I, I, I'm expecting myself to be here for, for a long time. So, yeah, it, it'd take me a while, but flex on. Seep, 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 pow. King Kong ain't got fat on me. Roll out. Let me see. Super sticker. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much, my brother. Look, she's laughing. That's how her laugh. That's how her laugh sounds, dog. She. Oh, let me see, man. This is my first live in two months. My new career. I was fortunately able to start. Has had me busy working the morning shift. Much love from Stockton. Much love to you. Here, 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 here. I love his 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 uh, attitude about it. Fortunately, I've been able to miss your show, right? Because when I didn't have a job, I was here every damn day watching. <laughs> No, simply is aggressive. She's aggressive, bro. She's aggressive. <laughs> She's aggressive. Play them all. Yeah, 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 you're right. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta so tonight. Gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf. Hey, what do you think about the right? Hey, can you turn off the computers upstairs or something that y'all turned on? Y'all not home? Is there are there are the computers on upstairs?
Now you're dealing with her at the Waffle House. <laughs> now we at my house. Um, and Bill's upstairs fighting funny. Um, uh, I, I think my man, I'm about to call this fight. Um, I want to say this too. I went to the mall today because I'm going out tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm going to call the Joe Joyce fight or not. But I went to the mall today and, and, and I had to say, I, I want to tell you guys this. I did not know that the nineties were all the way back. I knew the nineties were coming back and I thought it would be like maybe something. No, it's all the way back. Uh, all the clothes are baggy. Um, sweater vests are back. Uh, bubble coats, jackets that were like rock wear, leather jackets that are like electric blue with the, it's all the way back. It's all the way back. And y'all had leverage. Y'all messed up. All y'all kids who now they're, are now the, the, the young women are wearing big baggy jeans looking like Janet Jackson. Early in the morning, you want this? Late in the evening. Remember how she looked in that video? Y'all messed up. Y'all had it when, when the clothes were tight fitted. Yoga pants and all that stuff. Right? It was hotter. Now women are bagged out. Now women bagged out. But you know what, though? We're about to be bagged out, too. It's about to go back to the Tim's baggy pants. I got me some baggy pants, man. <laughs> I'm winning. I, the skinny jeans are played. It's played already. It's played. Every time you see somebody with, with some skinny jeans with a little colorful shirt on, and they like this here, he's played. It's back to the baggy. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Look, Tucker versus Sanchez. No, Tucker can fight, man. All right, man. Let's, let's call the fight. Sanchez throws a jab to the stomach. Uh, Tuck, Tucker, Tucker is, 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 look, 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 look. Woo. Look at the, the angles, the footwork, the distance control. Thing about Tucker is his lead foot always throws me off. Good jab from Tucker. Double jab. Good defense by Tucker. That lead foot always, it's like super flat-footed or weird. Good right hand to the body from Tucker. Good jab by Tucker. Jab again. Jab again. You see how, how he evaded. Good right hand from Sanchez. Snuck in on Tucker. Got Tucker blinking. Good jab on. Try to bring down the guard. Throw the right hand. Good distance by Tucker. Good head movement. He did that for no reason. End up being right on time. Good right hand. That's why you got to move your head before they punch. Good left hook from Sanchez, though. Tucker head was on the line that time. Good head movement, Tucker. Good left foot, double jab, right hand, all blocked by Sanchez. Oh, God. Changing the level of the jabs, jabbing up, jabbing down. Tucker's working. Look at the distance by Tucker. Little peanut head rascal. Oh, right. He ducked right into the right hand from Sanchez. He'll get it together. He'll get his rhythm together. Good jab by Tucker. Oh, good right hand. Now, he absorbed the jab from Sanchez. Just throw the right hand. Good left hook by Tucker. Good left hook again by Tucker. I see Tucker got some uh, issues, though. He definitely got some issues. Good left hook from Sanchez. Or maybe he's just not in his bag right now. I don't know if Sanchez is finding holes. Good jab by Sanchez. I don't know if he's finding holes in, in Tucker's game that I haven't seen before. Or Tucker is just getting it's get, Oh, good body shot from Tucker. He's getting in his bag a little bit. I'm not sure which one it is. If he's not. Good jab. Hook off the jab. Jab again. This is all muscle memory. Good pull counter left hook by Tucker. Tucker won the round. But uh, Sanchez is, is the perfect opponent for Tucker right now. That jab to the body, left hook to the head combination was very, very nice from Tucker. Yeah, good, good. The footwork, good for reflexes, good head movement. Nice way, nice movement from Tucker. Nice way to get to a uh, get out. Oh, good uppercut, roll off, swim without getting wet. Good work from Tucker. Tucker's on his way to knocking him out. This is an eight round fight. This is 45 seconds in the first round. Good left hook by Tucker, good right hand. Tucker's hurting him. Not, not so much so rocking him. But painfully hurting him. Good. Oh, good left hook from Tucker. His 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 natural hand eye coordination. That's he's blessed. Tucker's blessed with a few things. Good reflexes. Good timing. Hand eye coordination. These are things that's in his DNA. Good left hook by Tucker. Good right hand. Of course, he has to practice and shape those things up. But he's blessed, just like how not just like how, but you know how Floyd Mayweather is blessed with great reflexes. That's probably his number one attribute. Um, Tucker is blessed with great hand-eye coordination. When he throws his punches, they they hit the mark. See, right hand, left hook, right there. They hit the mark. So that's just hand-eye coordination. He's just blessed with that. He always been able to throw his hands and hit the mark. 
Uh, let me see. I bet uh, Ja Tucker, Jahi Tucker, uh, in my I met him in my gym. Jeez, my eyes, brother. I'm, I'm telling you, I think I may need reading glasses. Uh, in my gym, he's a humble dude outside the ring, but he puts on a show and sparring and fighting. I'm sure because you got to get in your bag. You got to get in your bag. That's just culture. You know, when people start dancing, people start talking, look away. They're getting in their bag, right? Reward themselves. They're getting in their zone. It's not just talking or taunting. He, he, he needs that. He needs that. That's why I said with Shakur Stevenson, don't just be down about, yes, I, I made a mistake, unprofessional, down. Like how Oscar Valdez still pulled out that fight with Constantine. Um, Now I'm thinking about it. Constantine will be getting the ass end of stuff. Right, his two biggest fight, Oscar De La, I mean Oscar Valdez, uh, uh, failed a drug test, and then Shakur Stevenson comes in overweight. Um, but uh, he has to stay, stay focused, uh, Shakur, and he has to come in ready to destroy Constance. Good left from Tucker. All right, here we go. Two minutes forty five seconds in the second round. Hold and hit from Sanchez. Good work. Because he can't outbox him. So let's see if we can out tough him. Good combination of oh, good body shots by Tucker. I wish Tucker, I wish he does that more. Good left hook by Tucker, though. Just, I mean, great timing, great hand eye coordination. Oh, good right hand, lead right hand, left hook on the escape, right? He's aggressive backing up, right? That's what Terrence Crawford does well. He can still hit you well, knock you out backing up, you know, uh, a la Sugar Ray Robinson. Tucker did a great job with good combination. He could be aggressive hitting you with power shots backing up. And, and I mean, not forcing it, but with muscle memory and with instincts. Good jab by, by Tucker. Yeah, he caught that punch with his elbow and then weaved out the way of that right hook. You can't tell me that wasn't beauty. That's God gifted. Good right hook from Tucker. Oh, that's, I mean, okay. I don't know what to tell you, but that's, that's enough for me. Good overhand right by Sanchez. So tonight. Good jab. Sanchez, right hand to the body. One minute, 35 seconds. Jab, left hook with, from Tucker. Jab again. Swim without getting wet. Move your head. Pop! You see how you jab while looking away? That Roy Jones? Beautiful work. Good uh, jumping up. Now he's in his bag. See how he's hopping into every punch and he's jumping. He's, now he's having fun out there, which that's what they tell everybody. Even in combat sports, have fun out there. When you have fun, that's when you can get yours off, right? Stay focused, but have fun. Have fun. When you think it too much, you're too stiff. Good jab. Good jab again. Good jab again. From Tucker. Good jab again. Look at look at the. Oh, see how he's able to have to leave the room, but keep one foot in the door and throw that right hook. Good weaving, Tucker. Good left hook from Sanchez. Now, Sanchez now is just punching because I guess that's why. Good right hand by Tucker. See, his punches have, they got less rhyme and reason. They're just trying to rhyme or reason. They're just trying to land a punch on Tucker anywhere. See, he's trying to find Tucker with his punches. That's a terrible place to be. That's like running a race as fast as you can from behind while somebody is running so fast. So he's, okay, good right hand by Sanchez. He's just trying to touch Tucker. While Tucker is in his bag, weaving, countering, pull counter, setting things up, looking away while he's jabbing, you know, in and out, uh, punching on the escape, being aggressive, uh, winning the 50-50s, all those things. Good left hook from Sanchez. Uppercut by Sanchez. Good left hook. The combinations uh, when he need to pot shots, all those things are in Tucker's favor right now. Good jab, right hook to the body. Where can I watch the fight right now? Uh, ESPN. Oh, ESPN Plus. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's that's worse. A uh, biz. A drinking. A drinking Spence was scary. A drinking Spence was bad. Yeah. Spence after the crash was crash was a monster. Exactly. He's he's better before before the drinking habit and after the drinking habit. Spence after the retinal tear was a beast. Because he knows what he loved, which is boxing. He was reminded what he loved, right? And he saw how everything could be taken away from him. So he's focused. Uh, what does a focus and com and complete Spence look like? I know we never seen uh, a mature, experienced, complete Errol Spence. I've said that, yep. The one that's going to fight Terrence Crawford is probably the best Errol Spence ever. Uh, my reason for picking Spence. Good point. Good point. 
Thank you, ESPN Plus. Well, the prop the problem is though, and and uh, rebuttal to that is we know what Terrence Crawford is. That's that's you can bet on him being his very best all the time. So you got to see which one you value the most, right? So that's the rebuttal to that. That's that's the thing that I like about. <gasps> Good left foot from Tucker. So as as Sanchez is turning it up, Tucker turns it up, and Sanchez gets the worst of it. The, now now you see. That's how I like Tucker when Tucker's on his toes. Something about his feet is bizarre. Like he has extreme flat feet or something like that. So he may have no arch, and that's probably why he's not on his toes too much. Nice way to get out, be, be elusive. Tucker, two minutes, 20 seconds. Right hand from Sanchez. Good triple jab by Tucker. Look, look I mean, like his knees straight or something. I Seems weird. That front foot always throws me Oh, right hand off the turnbuckle. Like he's Macho Man Randy Sapp. Good combination by Tucker. See, when they're swinging, right, when they're exchanging, Tucker is winning those exchanges. Good jab by Tucker. Jab again by Tucker. Oh, see how he can be aggressive and, and punish Sanchez while backing up? It's beautiful. Oh, hook to the body, hook to the head. He's almost as effective aggressively backing up as he is going forward. Beautiful. Tucker, Tucker's nice, man. This, this type of stuff you really can't teach. Oh, good hook by Tucker. Good combination. Good right hand. Sanchez is a tough cookie on purpose, by design. They, they picked this guy. Lead left hook, lead right hand by Sanchez. Missed. See, see, the thing is, the thing is, Sanchez is damned if he do, damned if he's if he doesn't. So he has to do, right? So I think I heard a commentator, I'm not sure which one they said, talking about Sanchez going to the body, which may, oh, good left hook from Tucker, which made me think, well, if he does that, Tucker's going to catch him. But if he doesn't do that, what do you want him to do? Be shell shocked? No, he has to punch. So he's in a bad, he's in a bad spot, but he has to do, he has to do. Keep good right hand and left hook from Tucker. Good, great combination. Good right hand and swim without getting wet. You don't know when Tucker's going to back up, when he's going to stop and hold his ground, or when he's going to be aggressive. Good jabs. I like the pushing that Sanchez is doing. Good right hand and swim without getting wet from Tucker. Last 25 seconds in the third round. I like the, the act of like how Sanchez is just aggressive. I really like that. Because maybe that – oh, God, look at that uppercut from Tucker. I thought that hurt Sanchez. Because maybe physically, just physically, uh, he can make Tucker uncomfortable, which Tucker is so comfortable weaving in and out, creating space, uh, uh, standing his ground, throwing combinations, trading. He's very comfortable doing all those things. Keshawn Davis with Bo Matt. My, I like Keshawn. My only problem with him is I wonder if he likes himself too much. Um, is he too young to like yourself too? Like, I, I'm just, I'm just wondering if, but I, I like, I like his, I think about Adrian Broner. I think about those guys, I, but I like his swag. I like his belief in himself. You got to think you're great before you got to know you great before everyone else believe in you. So I like that. I'm a big fan of his. I knew that his style, we've been watching him since the amateurs, right? Since the Olympics, we called his fights. Uh, I bought his shirt, but um, I knew that his style was better for the pros than the Olympics, than amateurs. I knew that. I knew that even when he lost. The question is, can an age Crawford beat an old, beat the old Errol Spence? Can an age Crawford beat the old Errol? Um, here's the question. Can Crawford beat Spence? That's exactly what we're going to get. It's not even, that's what we're going to get. Crawford versus Spence. That's precisely what it is. Uh, yes, he has a huge ego. Yeah, Jack. Jackie, where you been, Jackie? Uh, two minutes, 40 seconds. Fourth round. Good jab, right hook. Good jab, good jab, good jab on the escape. You know, Keyshawn Davis has a brother that's like violent, violent as shit. I like his brother too. Good right hook to the body from Tucker. I want Tucker going to the body more. I really do. Tucker can send... Sanchez on his way quicker by going to the body. When he was throwing those combinations to the body in the first round, I was like, he's about to knock him out. He kind of stopped doing it. He, he, he's because he's so accurate to the head. 
you know, I got so much more to hit. There's so much more. To hit. I just don't know why people does they don't go to the body as, as often as so it's more it's so much. Really, that food from Sanchez. See, that's what I'm saying. Sanchez should just walk him down and go for him. Good left foot to the body by Sanchez. Now my TV buffering. Okay, good combination by Sanchez. Right hand. Good left. I I need to call my uh my cable people. Then I gotta call Key Squad. I gotta make sure this doesn't happen as often as it's been happening. I really do. I really do. I gotta, I gotta make sure, I gotta make sure this doesn't happen like this, especially like for, uh, you know, Deontay the Bronze from a Wilder fight or, uh, um, good combination, Savannah Marshall, right? Like for those fights versus Clarissa Shields, I gotta make sure I gotta get Geek, Geek, uh, Geek Squad to come, um, call the insurance. I mean, the uh, cable company. I gotta get all this together. Because I'm in the woods and I got the highest uh, internet there is, of course I do, because it's my job. But um, this this is unacceptable. Like this past week has been unacceptable. Good good body shots by Tucker. Thirty five seconds left in the fourth fourth round. So you see t- Tucker's jab, right hook. You. See- God, look at how he keep that opposite hand up on his guard while he's throwing his hooks. Good combination by Tucker. Swim without getting wet, Tucker. Swim without getting wet. God, see how he catches the 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 left hook with his elbow and then uppercut with the same hand. Boom, boom. Oh, I would never do anything. I would never do that. I would never do that. I would never do that. Salate, yeah, that, he's slick. I would never do that. I would never do that. Wi-Fi extenders. Yeah, I think so, too. Somebody was telling me about that. I need so, too. Uh, plus, my Ethernet cord is, is plugged in. I got it plugged in. Um, I, I Whatever has to happen, I'm, I'm calling some people in here. with. Here come Constance Sal right now. You know, you can't help but to kind of go for the guy. Other than me having money on it, um, he's the hero because he's 5'11 and may wait. He's 5'11 and made weight, meaning that he was more dedicated than Shakur Stevenson leading up to this fight. I mean, it is what it is, right? Shakur Stevenson wasn't as dedicated as Constance Sal leading up to the fight. It is what it is because it's only 1.6 pounds. So that means he couldn't make it now, but he could have made it more manageable leading up to it. He could have. He could have because you can't tell me Errol the True Spence, you know, the way he's making weight is just he's more dedicated. He's not getting too happy, I mean, too heavy in between fights. Good jab, right hand, good left hook. Good jab. And that's the difference that uh, Javante Tank Davis has made uh, while he while he's making weight now. Good jab. Have you heard that Tank Davis is talking about going to 140? That, I, I, that can't be true, bro. I'm, I'm hearing whispers about that, and that is just annoying. Hold on real quick. Much respect to you, Biz. I've been uh, away grinding and landed a new job finally. Everybody landed a new job. Uh, so I'm locked back in the war room. My man, hit the Tyson bell. I, 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 much love to you, brother. And you know what? We, we're going to have to give you your love. We're going to have to give you your love. So tonight, leave the shelf. Huh? One minute, 55 seconds in the fifth round. It's, it's more of the same. It's more of the same. If if I keep calling everything that Tucker is doing, good right hand by Tucker. It's all it's it's more of the same. It's more of the same. It's an eight round fight and how tough Sanchez is. Good combination by Tucker. Yeah, San, yeah. He said, "Come on, come on." Tucker said, "Come on." Throwing his hand. Bow. Oh, good right by Tucker. Swim without getting wet. That that Tucker body is doing it by itself for sure because he walked off and said, "Oh my God!" Like he impressed himself with that right hand. Hey, Biz, I heard you once. Uh, got bit by a rattlesnake. Three days later, it died. 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah, that happened. 
Yeah, that, yeah, that happened. Oh, let me see. What network is the fight on? ESPN Plus. Good right hand, good left hook by Tucker. We'll talk about Javante Tank Davis in a few. Javante Tank Davis going up to 140. I mean, he said, oh, good left hook to the body. That's what I wanted Tucker to do. Go to the body more. That, that hooker cut to the body by Tucker really hurt Sanchez. Tucker is walking him down now. Good right hand. Yeah, he's hurt. Sanchez is hurt. Tucker got to go to the body, though. He has to know that it was the body shot. He's going back to the head. Go. Good combination. He has to know that he hurt him to the body. Good body shot by Tucker. He hurt him. He, he hurt Sanchez. Sanchez is the last 35 seconds. Bam. Good jab. Good jab upstairs. Tucker doesn't know. His corner has to tell him. Good jab to the body. Jab upstairs. Oh, good right hand upstairs from Tucker. Looking at the body. Beautiful work. Woo. Swim without getting wet. Woo. Swim without getting wet. Tucker is, is very slick. Look, now Sanchez walking him down, feeling better about it. Tucker had him hurt to the body. Forgot. He, he, he has good uppercut to the body from Tucker. Sanchez had him against the ropes and missed everything. Missed everything. Oh, God, good combination. Oh, God. Tucker is very slick. Look, he looked at the camera like, yeah, yeah, Tucker. I'll, I'll see you too, baby. I'll see you. I'll see you. Don't nibble on the bell. Pull the trigger. Let me see. So um, I hear that he's talking to us. I hear that Tank Davis uh, is whispering going up to 140, which is annoying because Ryan Garcia wanted to fight him at 140, and then Tank Davis said, no, not Tank Davis, but Floyd Mayweather said 135. Fine. Then Shakur Stevenson announced that he's going to 135 and Tank Davis on my 140. I, I, I don't know what's I, I don't know what to feel happy about. I really don't know what to feel good about. All right, I don't know what to believe either. Uh Biz, that rattlesnake uh said, when I came down, hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> oh. Floyd out of touch, bro. I think said Biz. You think so? Fight who reaches pro grades? I don't know, man. Fight fight the WBA super champion, man. Oh, oh, God. Good. Oh, good uppercut. Good right hand. Oh, Sanchez hit, hit Tucker. He's going after him, baby. He got Tucker against. Yep. Big shots. If I was Sanchez, I'd do the same thing. Big shots. I wouldn't play with him. I wouldn't try to punch him like my man said. I, I'd rather fight somebody who knows how to throw a punch than a wild street brawler. I will punch him like a wild street brawler. I wouldn't be trying to land a punch. I'll be swinging away, swinging away. See, that's see Sanchez getting hit with uppercuts. See, Sanchez got him against the ropes, and he's just trying to land shots, not not throw throw some big shots, man. You're getting your ass whipped. You might as well. I'm a Shakur fan, and I wish he may wait. Side note: tequila or beer. At a function party. Uh, see, tequila has made me sick very often. Uh, but beer makes me want to throw up. Tequila doesn't. Uh, tequila, I don't have to drink much of to be in a zone. So I'm going to go tequila. I'm going to go tequila. Love your analysis, Biz. 100%. I, I, just, I just don't understand. I just, Hennessy White. Uh, I just don't understand. Oh, good body shot by Tucker. Now, talk, Tucker's walking Sanchez down. You know, I would go for broke more. Oh, good right hand by Tucker. I mean, you know the, what's inevitable. What's inevitable. You, he's smiling, looking at the crowd. You, you, I know it's, it's easier, it's harder when you're in there. I get it. I get it. But I'm saying, though, you have no other alternative. You have no other alternative but to swing away. Good hooks to the to the body and to the head by Tucker. Look how Tucker stepped back. Look what he's doing. Good right hand. He's just beating the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. He's making you look like easy work. This look like a sparring session. Good hook to the head, hook to the body by Tucker. Now Sanchez, now Sanchez should open up. He's trying. See, good, good body shots by Tucker. See, now, now Sanchez don't want to open. Look, look, Tucker said, come on. Come on. See, Tucker can fight on the, he can hurt you on the defense as well as aggressive. That's a hard guy to fight. He can beat you retreating. He can beat you toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He can beat you aggressively. That's a hard guy to deal with, man. Like I said, very Terrence Bud Crawford in that, in that 
since. Good right hook. Good jab by Tucker. Good good jab downstairs hook. Swim without getting wet. Good hook upstairs. Good jab. Look at the work. Look at the work by Tucker. The work. Oh, good left hook by Tucker. Don't forget, bet on bet US, okay? Uh, bet us on bet US. Good nice way to swing, swim without getting wet. Um, bet us on bet US. It's bigger, easier to use, and safe. I've placed uh, a bet on Keyshawn Davis by knockout and on Shakur Stevenson by knockout, though I think I predict that Shakur is going to win by unanimous decision. I bet on Shakur Stevenson by knockout, okay? A lot of times people see my bet and think it's a prediction. And, you know, that's that's not what I'm doing here. Thank you so much, my brother. My man, BK. Much love. Much love. I do see Crawford and Tucker. Yeah, he got a lot of, lot of Crawford about him. Loma got robbed, son. That's funny. I think I think Loma beat uh Constasal in amateurs, right? I'm looking at his box right. Yeah, I think he beat uh Constasal in amateurs. He got robbed with, with by who? Uh two minutes fifty seconds. Good right hand. But look how Tucker turned him around and had his back in. You know, Tucker didn't push the fight. He didn't push the fight. He didn't push the fight. I I would like a knockout, which I think if he pushed it, he can get him. He can wear him down to the body. See, I'm saying those hooks to the body. He could knock him out if he wanted to, if he wanted to, which I think would do him better. See, Keyshawn Davis is going to go to knock this guy out when he fights. Where's Shushu Carrington, though? Good uppercut. Good uppercut, left hook, too, by Tucker. But Sanchez threw an uppercut that I really liked. Good right hand, swung out getting wet, blew out a booger, and then threw a right hand with the same hand. This guy blew out a booger, and then hit him in the head. with I, I, That should be illegal. You ain't going to blow a booger out and then hit me with the same hand. Now, that that's now that's disrespectful. If there was anything that should have turned Sanchez up, is blowing out a booger and then hitting me with that hand. Now, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm swinging away. You ain't going to blow no damn booger out and hit me with the hand. Now, now, now you're playing games. Oh, good right hand. That hurt Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, that hurt Sanchez. He he did a pull counter right hand. It hurt. Left foot to the body, left foot to the head. God. Hey, man, Tucker is is it is just too, too nice with it. One more fight till Carrington. Okay, thank you. You're going to blow out a booger and hit me in the face with the same damn hand. You must have lost your mind. A one minute, 15 seconds on seventh round. Good combination by Tucker. Wow, Tucker is making him miss by a long shot. That's when you're in your bag. He's making he's making Sanchez miss big. That's in the seventh. 50 seconds left in the seventh round. When you go eight rounds this clean, you're ready for a 10-round fight easily. Good left hook. Good uppercut. Look how clean he's going. Oh, good left hook from Tucker. Look at his back pedal. Oh. Hey, man, this guy here, Tucker is just, Tucker swim without getting wet, doesn't he? Tucker will swim without getting wet the whole fight. That brother, like, I'm about to swim without getting wet, man. He is the epitome. Good right hand. Woo, woo. Good. That, he make, just make you miss, bro. 15 seconds left in the seventh. Look how he circled out. Ah, good jab. Did it hook off the jab? Oh, Lord. Hey, no, hey, no. This is, this, this guy here is magnificent with the footwork. Good uppercut. Just Lord. This boy dance around like he Fred Astaire. This boy Fred Astaire out here. This boy Chris Brown. <laughs> Look, Shakur Stevenson here. He has on a sweatshirt, but I must say he does look big. I hope he is taking, look at his face. I hope he is taking to the weight, the, the weight controversy. I hope he is forgetting about that and came to fight. 
I really hope so. His head has to be clear against somebody like Kansas Sal. I hope he's not too immature to let that affect him with social media and everybody's talking. I hope because at the end of the day, win the fight, be better than the, the, the opponent and come in to win in devastating fashion. Give everybody the finger and move on at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Uh, no, nah, Robson robbed Loma. My fault. Oh, Loma lost. He, oh, he's the one that beat Loma? No, he didn't. I don't recall him beating Loma. Oh, good right hook by Tucker. Good jab. Good up. I know he beat Valdez, but if he's the guy that beat Loma, wow. Good left hook. Yeah, yeah, those punches are a little low. Good head movement from Tucker. This is the last round, two minutes, 30 seconds. This, this was one-sided, by the way. Uh, what bets you got, bro? Uh, I'm on bet us now. Um, I put money on Shakur Stevenson by knockout, though I think uh, Shakur Stevenson, Stevenson going to win by unanimous. The reason, reason why is I bet, like, how much I bet? 300 some dollars on Keyshawn Davis to win by knockout. So I think I'm going to win 100 bucks. And because of that, I bet that 100 bucks on Shakur Stevenson to win by knockout. So if Keyshawn wins, right, and Shakur doesn't win by knockout, I break even. Good left hook to the body, then left hook to the head by Tucker. Good body shots, left hook to the head by Tucker. In the eighth round, he's landing some good shots on Sanchez. Good combination. Oh, good left hook again. Sanchez is tough. One minute, 40 seconds on eighth round. Tough guy. It's hard to keep getting punched in the face like this. It's very difficult to do that. I've been punched in the face repeatedly. That, that's There's nothing fun. Well, it is kind of fun. You, you got to be a fighter. To, it is a little fun. <laughs> but the pain of it isn't fun. But it, it is a little fun. You know, get punched in the face, punch somebody back. It's, it's a little fun. Good right hand. Good left hook. Swim without getting wet. Actually, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of addicted, but addicting. But to, you know what I'm saying? To get hurt isn't fun. But but you appreciate it. Like when you get your bell wrong, like boom, like woo, like that. You ain't bad. You look at them like you, you're all right. Yeah, right. that's why a lot of fighters hug at the end. Like even if he won, boom, woo, they be like, you know what? You weren't bad, bro. You weren't bad. No matter what I said about your mama, what you said about mine. We hashed it out. <laughs> we hashed it out. <laughs> now we good. We could go back, dude. No hard feelings. That's why more ass whoopings got to happen. There'll be less hard feelings. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If more ass whoopings happen, there'll be less moist comments in the, in, the, in the war room. Bro, I know the difference between somebody who has gotten their ass whipped, who have challenged themselves, to fight somebody who they have no reason to beat and that person whipped their ass and they appreciate it. Like, I got my ass whipped, come back, whipped again, fine. I, I gave it my all. I know the difference between those people and people who will, will threaten to pull out a gun before they fight because they're too scared to have a to lose. I know the difference. All I need to do is look at how what people say in the war room, Tucker want to fight. That's why I say moist. I can look at what people, how people, how people handle what happens in the boxing world and what their interests are. I can tell what they're about. Yep, facts. 100%. I can tell what they're about. The things they complain about. I can tell how much effort they put into things in their life. Because somebody who put effort in to things in their life have had losses have sacrificed, have had gains and won and came out the dirt and pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, those people don't say the type of shit I read. They don't. I know the difference. There's stuff people say that irritate the hell out of me and they say, oh, you got triggered, right? Oh, triggered him and they're happy about it. Oh, I trolled him on the... That stuff bothers me because the type of per what I'm built of, 
I, I can't even think of the things that people say. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. I can't even think of the things that people say. I read and be like, what kind of brain comes up with that shit? And you know what? Let me tell you what it's all about. Y'all want to know what it's all about? I'm going to tell all 1,000 of you. Undeveloped brain. Yeah, but you want, for real, for real, bro, no cap. Want me to tell you what it's all about? I've known this my whole life. Before social media, I've known this my whole life. Let me tell you what it's all about. No, for real, though. Uh huh. It's all about self worth. They want to feel to themselves that they're worth something more. So, because of that, they try to find what they can win in. And since they are too afraid to put in effort, and setting a goal and something that takes a lot of effort, they're not going to do that because they're not going to feel that they're worth something because they feel that they're going to lose in that. But there is something that they can easily feel like they're worth something, and that's by hiding behind a keyboard and you don't know their lives and them just typing stuff. And if it gets a response from you, it makes them worth something. I won something. I got the attention of Tank Davis. I got the attention of Leonard Ellerby. I got the attention of Tyson Fury. I got the attention of Showbiz. I got the attention of Sully. I got the attention of Ronnie. I made them look at me and get irritated. I'm worth something. And with me knowing that, that's why I'm always trying to tell you, you can be somebody. Just achieve the stuff in the back of your mind that is really worth something. You know what you're not doing. That's why you're so negative inside. You know what you're not accomplishing. So instead of putting that negativity on other people, just accomplish that shit. That's the truth of the matter. You live with your mama, you don't like it, do you? Accomplish getting out of there. You want to make more money? Look up how to make more money legally. Focus on how to do that and put a plan in place and accomplish it. Because you're capable. So instead of going after people who have done that, put the work in and became something, and then you start judging little things and saying, oh, you're nothing. You're not really anything. It was the Illuminati. It was the white man. You're cooning. Or it was this or it was that. To make you feel better about what you're not accomplishing. Just accomplish the shit. Uh, I'm from their cloth. Hit the Varnell. Let's give it up for the Varnell Hills boxing. Where we at? Bring on this with a laugh under the cabbage patch. She's a pretty lady and then sign some autographs. The Varnell man can shaboing boing. Hit the Tyson Bell. Huh? Flex on him. See? Sink, sink, pow. King Kong ain't got shit on me. I run with him. Y'all just live here. Oh, well, oh, where's my little Jay gone? All that jelly, no toe. Facts. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta give my man his love. Hundred dollar super. So tonight, gotta leave the nine five up on the shelf. One hundred percent flex Friday. 
Who do you place bets with? Uh, BK is going to help us out with that one. Is Bet US? Go to Bet US, but don't forget, Teresa, put in Showbiz in the promo code because it works out for you. It works out for you. We give you 125% and up to $2,500. You might as well get the free money just for being a part of this community. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. But it helps you. Put Showbiz in the promo code since you're going there to place bets anyway. All right? Uh, uh, snuck in. Yeah, Michael Jackson snuck in on that one. Uh, hey, BK, where, where's, the, where's the link, BK? Is BK here? I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. I'll hook you up, sister. Hold on real quick. Better with you. With you. For real. Whew, that, that tore my ear up. That's the link right there. I actually have a shortcut link that helps out. <laughs> Commercial break. I, I was about to say. Uh, what's the bet tonight? Uh, I bet you Chris Stevenson by knockout, though I don't think it's going to happen. But I bet Keyshawn Davis by knockout, so I get my money back. So I, 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 my gamble is Shakur Stevenson by knockout. My prediction is Shakur Stevenson by unanimous decision, Keyshawn Davis by KO. Um, no drunk, too. Uh, tribalism tribalism what the thing about tribalism is is natural is natural but um we we what we do with tribalism is we even fight we don't we can't recognize who's on our team what our team consists of we can't recognize what our team consists of that's the problem we can't recognize what our team consists of A lot of times people are have a crab in the barrel mentality and fight against what is this? And they fight, what is that? And they fight against people who, if they were to be good to and righteous to, can will help them out, actually. But they push them away. Uh, let me see. Uh lost uh the interview, could have used that referral. Oh, you! Oh, I'm the reason why you lost the interview. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost the interview. I, I don't. I, it's not. It's not me. Uh, let me see. Um, bruh, it doesn't matter what country you're from in boxing. Um, it doesn't matter what country you're from in boxing. Um. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's just for me, for me, for me, I love when fists are being thrown at another person and the fists are being thrown back. Something about that does it for me. I'm addicted to it. It never mattered to me if their skin was brown, yellow, white, black. I appreciated the heart. Um, my problem is, is when somebody is about country, okay, and then tell me that I should be too. That's my problem. When I'm just appreciate the fighter, I'm about country to a point, right? So when I, we didn't have an American heavyweight champion, I was like, damn, dog. Like, I just remember the days of Mike Tyson and Holyfield and stuff. I was just kind of like, so when Wilder came in, I was like, wow, it was just interesting. It was how I felt about a white heavyweight champion, to be honest. I heard about Jack Dempsey. I heard about Rocky Marciano. But I was like, that's it, bro. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to you. When Tommy the Duke Davison, when, when Tommy the Duke Morrison came out, I remember being like, oh, maybe there's a chance. But then, no, I was just like, brother, as long as there's a black big man, I, I don't know how it was going to happen. I mean, I was a kid. I was just, and then I saw the Klitschko's. So it's how I, that's how I start feeling about American heavyweights. Like, are, can an American heavyweight happen anymore? <laughs> or are they all playing football? I was starting to feel like they're all playing football. And then Deontay Wilder, who tried to play football, by the way. YouTube, YouTube, thank you so much. 
but I, I'm I'm more pro like this right here, Valdez versus Lopez. I'm more pro this right here. Like, look at Lopez snapping the jab. I, I really am interested in seeing one human. Let me tell you what I do. I don't just watch it. Uh, why black though? Why who? Why who's black? Why why does black exist? I don't even know what, what question that is. Why black? I don't know why. I don't know what question that is. I, I don't know what that means. But um, um, good jab right to the body, left hook upstairs, good combination. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, when I watch, y- y'all notice I do this a lot because. I don't really watch it like I'm home watching. For some reason, I, I guess because I've been in the ring before, I can I, – I put myself in a position of both fighters. So I'm like, I'm not even just moving my head for one. Sometimes I'm the other fighter. And then I, sometimes I'm that one. That's why I'm, I'm always like this. I'm, it's almost like I can see first person – and then I'm thinking why they're doing that. I'm like, okay, yeah. You see how he jab the try to manipulate the guard and jump around and to see what he does for later on to collect that data. Like I'm like, man, I wouldn't have done that, right? I was one speed, but it's like dope to see somebody else do that. Lag. Oh, I'm good now. Good, good, good. Um, oh, good right hand, left foot. So, like my man who said his Wi-Fi cheat, right? Why would he say that? I, I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. If you're wondering, your your the best thing you could have done was ask why is that happening, and it's happening because one, I have a four story house, and I'm in a very I'm in a basement. All right, so my house is four stories. I'm in a basement. Um, and the basement has 15 foot ceiling. So I'm like very much down here. Uh, on top of that, I'm in a very wooded area with a lot of trees. So when I first got internet, they were like, this is gonna be tough because all the it's just wooded. So I'm like way away from everybody. <laughs> away from everybody. So that's why. Oh, uh, let me see. Flex on them, BS 100%. You're passionate about boxing. 100%. 100%. Thank you so much. My man said, my man says something like, why black, though? I was very interested in what he meant because I knew, I know he means something about that. This was, this is before showbiz. I bought this house before I was showbiz adult. I bought this house before I started my YouTube. So that so I have two degrees. So my master's degree, I was able to leverage into a very well paying job. But that doesn't mean that's who you are. Your job is what you do. What I was what I was able to do with the help of Ms. Biz, Ms. Biz kind of put the battery in my back. Like what you are, be that. And after um after my brother, you know, me donating my kidney to my brother, that moment made me think about how how life how short life can be right it was very very scary for a minute and that's when i said i'm about to do this full time i took a chance on myself it's been great it's been great since i can never go back it's been great since um i meant why do you only want a black heavyweight why do i only want a black heavyweight when did i say that I meant, why do you only want a black heavyweight? When did I say, wait, hold on. When did I say, when did I say anything that has something to do with that? When did I say that? Oh, Ben, show the newcomers the Thwayman Predator clip. Oh, man, that was hilarious. A wise man once said, do you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, this, this, this fight is killing me. I'm going to keep it real. He never said anything like, yeah, I, brother, that's. Wow. You see what happens? I heard that. When did you hear that? Earlier. 
that I only want a black heavyweight? When did I say that? Be the pilot and fly. Thank you so much, my brother. You didn't say that uh, in any way, shape, or egg way form. I didn't in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Oh, who said that? Biz never said he wants a black. When I didn't even say that. I said American. I was wondering, hey, is there going to be an American champ? <laughs> That's what I said. I, I don't play them game. I dog. I have no idea when that was said. American heavyweight. Yeah, I, we were talking about country, and I was like, um, the only time that ever happened to me is when I was wondering. When would there be an American champion? And then when I saw Deontay Wilder, I was like, there you go. <laughs> Showbiz, nothing but a new box network. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Kev was right. Kev is right. Kev is right. Kev is right. Kev is right. Oh, they heard Wilder and thought racism. So that's a problem he has. That happens a lot though. People have issues. That happens to comedians. So a comedian can be talking about people with no legs and the whole crowd will laugh. And then a comedian will say a gay joke and will never ever be on stage again. So he was literally talking about people with no legs who actually exist. And everybody laughed. But then once it hit somebody and it went through their insecurities and their world and it went through their brain, it just. <laughs> so he heard Wilder, heard black and went. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Unless you're Dave Chappelle. Well, unless you're the greatest comedian of all time. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is I've I've conceded to him being the greatest comedian stand up of all time. I've, con I've, I've conceded. I've conceded. I've conceded. They hear what they want. They do it all the time and then get mad at me. Hey, Kate, I go in the comments and people are angry at me for saying something that they made up. That is the most sickening thing in the world. It's like, I didn't say that. I, go to, I would timestamp. You're talking about this moment? Oh, my bad, biz. I was my bad. <laughs> oh, I was just <laughs> like, brother, before you go, ah! listen again. What did he say? Oh, never mind. You know what I mean? Uh, showbiz. Uh, it was when you said there would never be a white heavyweight as long as a black heavyweight exists uh, until you've seen the Klitschko's. Oh, okay. Yeah. So once again, once again, it was then. Okay. So I didn't say I only wanted a black heavyweight. So my man was wrong there, all right? So that's what he said. He said, why do you only want a black heavyweight? No, I'm talking about when I was a kid and I got into boxing, I'm four years old, and all I was seeing was, okay, there was Muhammad Ali, right? And then there was Larry Holmes. <laughs> and then there's, you know, Trevor Burbick and Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield and blackity, 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 black. I start saying, when was there? I'm a kid. Five years old, six years old, seven, eight, nine. I never said I only wanted a black heavyweight. I'm talking about the reality of, I'm like, oh, well, I guess Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, I, back in the Max Bear, but from like, I, Rocky Marciano on, it was like Floyd Patterson. Y'all get what I'm saying. So I was thinking as a kid, especially, and I told you before, um, I used to be racist until I wasn't. So that's another thing. But I was assuming, oh, I guess there won't be any more white heavyweight. I was a kid. And then the Klitsch goes, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> that's where I was at and then I couldn't I didn't see any American heavyweights and then Deontay Wilder I'm like oh, okay because I'm thinking all people who would have been a heavyweight is playing American football so I guess there won't be a black heavy uh, American heavyweight then I saw Wilder oh okay <laughs> that's what I was saying 
but my man brain went. <laughs> uh oh, my man got dropped. My man. The problem is, is that they don't listen precisely. So he turned it into you only want one. Uh, the weatherman called for 100 percent moisture. You got that right. You got that right. You got that right. You got that right. Let me give it to him. You're being moist. <laughs> Stop being moist. When I came down. You know what's bad is that I had to repeat all that almost exactly how I did before. And the second time, he's probably like, oh. <laughs> almost exactly how I said it before. I have You have to say it twice. <laughs> That's how that's how offended people get and how moist people get. They can't hear it. They can't hear it the first time, no matter how slow you say it. Uh, let me see. How you feel about uh, brother? No, I I don't feel anything. I need to know what he did. I I, I heard what people are saying. I don't know what he did. I, I you know what I mean? He he. It's between him and his wife. I I don't have a. I'm gonna tell you this too. Thanks for clarifying. I'm not racist, but the fact that I had to clarify, I just said the exact same thing. Just rewind the tape. The exact same thing. That's you. No, thank you for putting back whatever insecurities and chips you have on your shoulder that makes you just say, ah, because I said the exact same thing. That's your fault, not mine. Not mine. I didn't clarify. I said the exact same thing. It was as clear as it was before. <laughs> this dude here, brother. Um. You're lagging before. Oh, okay. Um, you said American fighter. Everybody else hears me, but him. Uh, let me see. What was I about to say though? Oh, here's the thing about me. Here's the thing about me. I don't get in people's relationships like that. If you're not dating me, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't. So what do I think about what he does with with chicks, I wasn't there. I, I, I don't. I don't know, brother. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, let me see. Flex on them. <laughs> see, see, see. Pow! King Kong ain't got hit on me. I run it here. Y'all just live here. Oh, let me see. That's how you own your your words, biz. Flex on them. I, I swear, brother. Hey, 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 yeah, let's, let's play to Michael. Let's play to Michael. Let's play to Michael. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Ronnie. Here's the thing, Ronnie. I I responded to Carissa Shields. Carissa Shields said, what's going on with men today? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I had to, I had to respond to her in the bank. Yeah. I had to respond to her. She said on Twitter something like, what's going on with men today? I said, I don't know. I deal I deal with this every day. You got men asking me about another man's relationship who I don't even know him. Hey, man, what do you think about how my man be making love with his lady or dealing with other chicks? I don't, I don't give a damn. <laughs> As a guy, I, dog, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm from a different era. I'm, I'm from a different era. A dude I don't know, like if if my brother broke up with his woman, I would be like, hey, yo, my oh my man got knocked. He's get he got he's getting knocked all over the place. I would be like, oh hey, my brother broke up with his girl. She won't be around. Like oh okay. All right. But to talk about another man I don't know, and guess what happened with so-and-so, and so-and-so -and -so did this. Girl, you, I, I'm not on that. I, <laughs> I don't, dog, this dude get his ass whipped, dog. <laughs> I think he tried to cheat for, oh, good left hook. Oh, Lord. Hey, brother, good body shot. One minute left. Hey, somebody may have to call the Amber Lamb. Hey, look at Festa. Festa is, I, Festa got the best jab in the business, and I'm talking about the referee. That referee got the dog. Okay, you may want to. You may. You, oh, he. My man, eyes look good. Oh, good uppercut. Lord have mercy. If this guy survives this beating, he's getting his ass beat. He's not punching back though, ref. Oh, there go an uppercut. Oh Lord, he got me. Get. He, hey, the ref says start punching, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, 
stop, stop the fight, bro. He about to jump in. That ref, that ref about to put those long ass arms in between both of them. This, 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 oh Lord, dude, this is the last 20. This is an ass. Uh, he, he screamed. Oh, my man threw some punches back. Ah, yeah, he's down. He's down. He, he that's it. That he's put his mouthpiece out. He keep my wife's name. Yes. Uh, let me see. Biz ain't no cheese mozos. <laughs> I'm not a cheese mozo, which it sounds like the most delicious. Look at Berlanga. Sounds like the most delicious sandwich. A cheese mozo. I get a cheese mozo with some onion rings. Can you imagine a cheese mozo with a large? I don't even know what a cheese mozo is, but just hear me out. A large Coke. Loaded fries. Loaded fries. How about that? Forget onion rings. A large. You hear the bubbles coming off the ice and it tickles your nose. Coke. With a, a loaded fry and a cheese mozo. The type of cheese mozo where you eat the meat out of it. That's a cheese mozo. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what it means. I know what it means. My wife is Mexican. I know what it means. Or gossiper. I know what it means. My wife makes. I'm just saying. It sounds like the best. I, I, that sounds delicious. I could give a damn. <laughs> a cheese mozo sounds delicious. <laughs> I, I can give a damn what anyone say. <laughs> yeah, that's a cheese mozo. <laughs> let, let me see. That's called a torta. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah whatever it is, I, I'll tell you this. Uh, it, it should be called a cheese mozo because that is delicious. <laughs> oh, give me a, a cheese mozo. Uh, give me a cheese mozo. Hold the tomatoes. With a loaded fry. You know, you grab your fries with these four fingers here. Or is your thumb a finger? Well, three fingers and a thumb. Do these four digits. And you got that Coke that you grab with two hands? Oh, Lord. I'm starving. Where's my wife? I am starving. Jeez Louise, I need a cheese mozo very badly, bro. Duh, I want a chorizo. No, I want a cheese mozo. A hey, uh, orange juice, orange juice may be the, the the goat of all drinks, bro. Every time orange juice comes in our house, it's gone. Soon as Miss Biz, she's like, "Look, I got three tubs of orange juice. I don't give a damn if you have fifty. It's over with. It's over with." <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me see. Straight to the. Oh yeah, a cheese. No, no, your precious lord. A cheese. Oh, you on the toilet happily. And guess what? Turn on the vent and close the door. And you know what can really help? Put the the toilet seat down. Y'all need to start. Y'all need to flush when y'all not done yet. Flush in the middle. That really helps. And then when you're done, flush again. Wipe your ass. Flush again. And then close the toilet seat. That helps. Don't leave the toilet seat up and shit fumigating. And, no, close the toilet seat and have the vent going. Okay, now you can keep the door closed if you want. Or you can open the door and have people suffer for a shorter time. Because if you keep the close, the door closed and keep the funk. See, I used to. <laughs> in college, I, you know, I'd be drinking all night and drop the worst. In our shared bathroom. Flush the toilet, keep the toilet seat up, close the door. So when somebody goes in there, it's like, <laughs> and I'm always like, that was the kid. <laughs> like an incident or a match. <laughs> Poop etiquette. That's all. <laughs> Baby wipes. Yeah. I heard something about that. Changed my life. It's except for baby wipes feel gross when you wiping your grown ass. It feels gross. It does. It feels gross. 
and everything's wet. It just feels gross, but it's proper. Right? Right? I mean, what is some somebody said on a movie or something one time, you don't wash your face with a dry paper towel. So why would you wipe shit from your ass with a dry paper? You feel what I'm saying? So I get that. Hey, that Avalanche song that they're playing with my man from Camp Low in this commercial is a dope song. Uh, anyway. Still. It feels gross, but it's better. Let me see. Uh, uh, you love Mexican food so much. You into sci-fi tacos. What are sci-fi tacos? Ms. Biz got you. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but see, I'm into all food. I'm a I'm a fat boy. That's another thing about me. I'm a fat boy. I'm a fat boy. Salate on the toilet singing, let it burn. <laughs> boxing talk. Uh, ask me a question. Don't just say boxing talk. A- ask me a question, bro. Uh, let me see what else we got. Water uh, comes back and hits your hole after a, a, a plop. See, that, that's, that's called nothing but net. That's a proper shot. That doesn't happen all the time. So that's once in a. Need a bidet. Yeah, I need a bidet. I need a bidet. I need a bidet. Uh, good dame biz schooling people on doo doo. You know how you know how I do. You know what I'm doing is getting to shoo shoo Carrington. <laughs> I'm getting us to shoo shoo Carrington. That's that's all I'm doing. We got a thousand people in here. Hit the like, everybody. If you have not hit the like, please, if you can, grab that rusted gnawed off finger and hit the hit the like. Hit, the, hit, the, hit those. Get the thumbs up. Hit the. Hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. Does Shakur go for the KO tonight after stripped? No, I think Shakur just fight. I think he's mature enough to know to fight. And if the knockout comes, he takes it. Uh, but he's not a knockout artist anyway. So I think Shakur is smart. I think he he fights. He fights to fight. He fights to fight. I don't know how the hell um, I'm going to watch Devin Haney versus Cambosis. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. If I can somehow watch. Okay, so there's a chance that I can watch Savannah Marshall versus Carissa Shields and then uh Cam Bolsa versus Devin Haney and then Deontay Wilder. If there, if I can do that, I will. I, I just don't, don't know how I'm gonna do it. Here comes Bruce right now. Lord have mercy. Uh does Shakur go for the KO tonight? I'll give uh yeah, that that's how that's a Devin Haney. No, no, Devin Haney's October 15th. I swear she's a TikToker. She's a TikToker, bro. Matter of fact, I can give you her name. I can give you her name right now. We're about to call this this fight, though. Um, I can give you her name. TikTok's so crazy, man. You can mess around and be on TikTok and just just they just they what they what they send you is like brother please hold on here she is right here her name is Brianna her right here That's her. Her name is Brianna Chanel. B H R I A N N A C H A N E L L. Here we go. Here we, my man said, Lord. <laughs> hey, hey, my, my man was, this is when you try to watch boxing, and I'll put that on the screen. My man was probably looking at. Bo- Lord, <laughs> oh God, you almost killed me. I burped inward. Oh God, that almost killed me. Yeah, that's her name. That's her name. That's her name. 
She in shape. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful, she's beautiful. It's just she was dancing to that Michael Jackson song. And I was like, yo, that's a ditty. Like that song, that's a ditty bop. All right, here we go. Come on, Bruce, Bruce. Oh, <laughs> call him Bruce, Bruce. Uh, two minutes, 50 seconds. Oh, God. Our Gail just got caught with a Bruce jab. Bruce, Bruce is so much bigger, bro. Good jab. Jab upstairs. That right hand from our Gail just missed, though. Bruce got to chill. Oh, God, Bruce is fast, man. Look at his footwork. Bruce is focused, too. He said, forget, forget everybody being, uh, you know, big on me right now. Forget the fame. Because, you know, Bruce is poor as shit. Have you seen Bruce where, where he stays? But, dog, uh, Bruce, Bruce ain't getting to the bag yet. This guy on national television, he ain't getting to the bag yet. Bruce like, yo, I got miles to feed. He got, like, a stepson. That dude, like, on his, he on his total recall. I got 12 miles to feed. That was a good jab by Bruce and, and to get away. That's two minutes, eight seconds left in the first round. Good jab. Bruce's jab is nice, but I like how the way the bombs Argel is throwing. Brother, I'm feeling a certain way by Argel's by, by his right hand. He just missed another right. Good jab by Bruce. Bruce is like, look, forget what y'all talking about. This Argel, he's come. Oh, good right hand by Bruce. That was a good one, too. He's like, this, this kid's dipping low and trying to get busy. Good left to the body from, from Bruce. Look at Bruce's face. He's like, look at his face. He, he focuses. He like, brother, I ain't trying to mess up this bag. Okay, good jab by Bruce. Good right. Oh, good right by Argale. Yo, that Argale's right right hand is, is turned all the way up. It's turned all the way up. But that's the one thing. You, oh, good left. Oh, good combination by Carrington. Dude, that right hand, though, by Ar, I, Dude, that right hand is weird. Look at Argale's right hand. It is weird, bruh. He's on demon time with that thing. One minute, five seconds in the first first round. Good jab by Carrington. Good jab to the body. Right hand just missed to the body by Carrington. Ooh, that right hand's on de- good left to the body by Carrington. That right hand by our get is loaded. It's loaded. Good jab by, by Bruce. Bruce, you're going to have to jab. With, you're going to have to swim without getting wet, Shoo Shoo. Oh, good jab. Bam, right hand. Dog, Carrington's nice, man. He, I've done, I'm going to call him Bruce, 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 Shoo Shoo, Carrington. Y'all like, what the? Oh, good left hook by Carrington. See, now, now Ar- see, Argel is loading up that right hand so much that Shoo Shoo can see it, and he's countering it now. There was a minute, bro, where I was like, hey, Shoo Shoo. Don't mess up, bro. 15 seconds in the first round. Hey, look at that back foot of Shushu. Beautiful. Look at that back foot. Look at that back. See how, how, how quick it is to escape and step forward? That back foot is nice. Good jab. Good right to the body from Shushu. I, I think, I think, I think Shushu's, the, what he does with, with his footwork and how much he makes Argale work, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into that, you know, when looking at, uh, Carrington fight in the future. Does he do that with everybody? His pace, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ronnie. That's what I was. Uh, that's what I was just saying. We're thinking like his pace, how he makes Argel. Look at Argel feet and look at shoe shoes. It's just like, and he's. I wonder if he does that every time he fights. Does he make people do that? With his fast hands and his good footwork. Uh, let me see. <laughs> this 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 boy here. This boy here is hilarious. Schmeagle is hilarious, bro. Uh, <laughs> Angel is a uh, pudgy, but fast. Yeah, he, he, he got fast, fast, weird, fast right hand. Good right to the body from Argel. See, that that was a good uppercut from Argel. Good uppercut from Shushu. The uppercut that landed on our on Shushu from Argel, Shushu hated it so much that he tried to have get back. That's when you know somebody lands a good shot. I mean, I'm thinking Argel got to start bleeding from somewhere because Shushu is landing shots right in the middle of the mask. At some point, the blood has to leak. There's no way your face is that tough. Look how look how look how tough Argel is. Look how tough. He I was going to bet on Carrington to win by KO. I didn't see it on BetUS. Good jab. 
Um, but if you look at our Gale, I'm I'm pro- I'm a little bit happy I didn't place that bet right now because our Gale is fair. He Shushu got to make our Gale. He gonna have to knock him out. It's not like like he see good combination by Shushu, uppercuts and everything. And look at his footwork, that back foot, and our Gale is stepping forward. So when somebody is n- determined or doesn't feel that you can knock him out, those guys are harder to knock out. They are. So he has to hit this fool. Like he's not, this guy isn't fighting like he's not trying to get knocked out because I probably can get knocked out. That's different. This guy is fighting like you can't knock me out and I'm about to bust your head. So you got to hit him with something funky. Good jab, Shushu. Good jab, Argyle. Good right hand from Shushu. Shushu's huge too. He's, he's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting rough. Look out. He, he, see, he hit him on a break. Look how rough Argyle is. No, nah, no, nah, Shushu ain't shake his hand. See how rough Argel is? See how he held him and hit him on the break? And then he want to shake his hand? No, 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 no. But see, what does this do to Shushu? Does this make Shushu fight more wild? See, now Shushu coming out upset. Does it make him fight more wild? It may work in Argel's favor. That's why, see, go host by, see, now Shushu fighting more on the inside and letting his hands go. He's more emotional about it. And that's what Argel wants. That's what he actually wants. Good right hand from Shushu. Argel wants a mech. See, good hook by Argel. He wants a fight. Shushu may be too strong for him and too good for him, but that works better for Argel than a patient Shushu boxing. He needs him to be wild. It gives him his only chance. That's why I said Clarissa Shields got to turn the fight with Savannah Marshall, not into a box match, but a fight. That way she can catch her more. Savannah Marshall, too slick, too good for you to box with her. See, now look at Argel. Argel doing dirty moves, pushing his head down, doing the right things. Good combination from Shushu. Now Shushu is frustrated. Hit him with hard shots, but he's frustrated. Good uppercut. Bam. Oh, good body shot from Shushu. Shushu is fighting now. It's very entertaining. Good right hand. Bam. He, he's beating him up. It's beautiful. See, good right hand from Argel. You see what I'm saying? Good right hand again. Good uppercut from Shushu. Now it's the slugfest. This is what Argyle thinks he wants. But what, what else is there? Get stung by a million bees? Forget that. You're going to have to swap me with a grizzly paw. And Ar- Argyle's doing the right things. Facts. Uh-huh. Yeah, Shushu is losing composure. But he's doing it fundament- fundamentally. No, that makes no sense. How about this? He's still throwing his punches properly. So he's not like Wilder. Wilder lose composure. His hands get wild. He's turning up, but he's still punching effectively. So he actually beat up Argel. All right? He beat up Argel. It may not be the smart thing to do, but it may for a better fight for me to watch. I was excited watching that shit. I was excited. When it turned into a fight, I got very excited. And to see Shushu fight um, by throwing his punches proper was great. And by keeping the guard up. But Argyle has a very sneaky right hand. Good jab. Now Shushu went back to boxing because he went back to his corner. His corner said, don't do that shit. Good left hook. Lead left hook. Or... Was that a lead left hook? A check left hook. That was a check hook, wasn't it? Good jab. Jab again. Jab low, jab high. Good head movement from Argel, though. Nice way to parry that left. Oh, oh, good overhand right. Argel. That right hand is... Mwah. Mwah. Good jab, Shoo Shoo. Two minutes, ten seconds. Good uppercut, Shoo. Good left foot. Oh, Lord. Oh, Shoe is hitting him with some hard shots. See? See? Good good work. See, this is what I wanted Tucker to do. Tucker had an opportunity to knock out Sanchez. He did. He could have He could have turned it up, but he decided to go the smarter route, which is okay, too. Oh, good left hook from Argel. But Shoe Shoe is bringing that Brownsville, Texas out. Ooh, good uppercut. But what I don't like is Shoe Shoe. Does Shoe Shoe know how to fight does Shushu know how to turn it into a fight and stay tall? Shushu, I'm not sure. Shushu ducks down with you when he's fighting you. 
which is very interesting. Good right hand, counter right hand from Shushu. Uppercut just missed. Oh, good. Two uppercuts in a row with the left hand from Shushu, and it pushed uh, Argel back right into now. Argel's holding more. Now you want to hold, huh? Now you want to hold. I thought it was time to get busy. There you go. Left foot to the hand, left foot, left foot to the body today, and right hand. Good hooks by Argel. That's what you do. One minute left for the third round. Good jab, Shushu. Ja oh, God. Shushu's walking him down. He turned it into a fight. Argel turned it into a fight, giving himself a better chance. Good body shots from, from Shushu. But Shushu is really a bully right now. He's hitting him with some great shots. Good body shot. Shushu's hitting him with some good shots. Making Shushu somebody you want to see. Bam. Good hook to the body from Shushu. He has an attitude. That's good. Good uppercut from Argel. Bam. Good right hand. Bam. Left foot to the body. Left foot to the head from. Bam. Right hand by Argel. They're, they're, they're digging. Bam. Bam. Good jab from. from boom. Uppercut. They're, they're thugging. They're thugging right now. Both of these boys, 20 seconds left in the third round. Shushu has beaten them up off for the past round and a half, and he's won every round. Good counter right hand from Shushu. But Argel, thanks to Argel, this fight has become a, a very, very entertaining fight. Left hook from Argel. And that's what we that's what I was saying when I when everyone was saying how boring Devin Haney versus Cambosos was. Yes, but it's not all Devin Haney fought. He's not supposed to win and make it a fight, too. So, Cambosis, it was part of his responsibility. Devin Haney is in Mike Tyson. His style doesn't do that. So, it was partially Cambosis' responsibility to make it a fight. Argel was getting whitewashed. So, he made it a fight. And now, we're watching an entertaining fight. How is your course doing? I don't know. He's in the corner. He's back. He's not fighting. I don't know. Shakur had to strip to make 130 for Valdez. Then leading up to this fight, he looked really big. So I had a feeling he was going to miss weight. Yeah. Yep. 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 He missed. And he missed. But, you know, it was unprofessional. Um, but we're here now. So let's let's it's, it's only one point. It's not like we're acting like we never seen a fighter miss weight before, but I think it's because he's unified champion. I think that's the problem. Good jab from Shushu. I think that's what's throwing people off. Ooh, good combination. Yeah, Argel isn't landing much at all, but he's making it a fight. Good head movement, Argel. Good body shot from Shushu. That hurt. That hurt. That was a well placed body shot. Good jab, too. I like Carrington more than I like Tucker. I like Shushu more than I like Tucker. Good good right hand. I'm, Tucker is fundamentally, um, he's slicker. His style is slicker. Um, it looks like Tucker has more tools than Shushu, but I like watching Shushu more. I like watching him a little bit more because something about his his attitude his anger it's like when i watched jamel charlo something about his anger it excites me i i really enjoy it. oh oh he hurt his hand shushu hurt his hand he hurt his hand he hurt his hand shushu hurt his hand he hurt his right hand he hurt his right hand he hurt his right hand i don't know how he hurt it but he hurt it now let's see if you can do a tank davis good jab now you got one hand now let's see good good jab can he beat him with one hand this is interesting. Even this is interesting. Good jab. Good jab again. If I was Argel, I would punch his right hand. I swear I'd be hooking my left hook. And I good left hook from Shushu. See, he can't even throw the right hand. He's only fighting with, with his left. Let's see. This is early in this is early in your career. Can you fight with one hand? Good left hook, Shushu. But some something about good left hook from Shushu. Something about ooh, he swung with the right hand. He missed, though. I think he meant to miss. He just wanted to swing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He missed. And when he missed, there was probably blood rush to it. He was like, boy, good jab, shoot. Good jab. Go get him, Argel. Go get him. Punch punch at that right hand, Argel. I would. I, I keep, I'll just be throwing that left hook. He ain't throwing the left hook. 
I'll be throwing the left foot nasty. Good, there you go. Good left foot. Get busy, Argel. He got one hand. Good jab. Good jab again by shoot. Jab to the body. Jab to the head. 25 seconds left. Good jab again. Argel. Argel. What are you? What are you doing? There you go. Throw the good right hand. Throw the left hook. Oh, you, you, you. Go ahead, shoot, shoot. Kick his ass. 10 seconds left in the fourth. Kick his ass, dog. Good jab. Shoot, shoot. Go ahead, dog. Beat him. Beat his ass with one hand. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. He dropped a couple belts. He dropped all his belts. He dropped. Yeah. yeah he's not getting a finish now. Yeah, he hurt. He hurt. He heard it. He heard it. He heard it. Oh, he hurt his wrist. His thumb. It's not. It's the wrist. They got to show the replay. I think they're looking for it. It's the wrist. It's right here. That hurts on me, though. Yeah, it hurts, it hurts on me on my right hand. Like, I can feel this pain. Oh, it was after he landed an uppercut. He didn't keep his wrist straight. He didn't keep his wrist straight. Either he didn't keep his wrist straight or that, or, or the glove, the tape, the way his hands were wrapped was incorrect. Sometimes either his hand wraps were incorrect, whoever wrapped his hands, or he didn't keep his wrist straight. It's his wrist. Argel, don't be, don't be a nincompoop. He only land five punches last round. I'm, uh, and who am I going for? I like, I like Carrington. But my thing is, I like boxing more. And Argel, what are you doing? What are you doing? This guy has one hand. Load up the left hook and hit the block and hit the block with the left hand. You only got one hand. It's not about hitting his face. You make you you hurt his hand so he can carry his hand low so you can't hit his face. Good left hook. Arkell had him against the ropes. Two minutes. And then good left hook. Uh Carrington. Good jab, Carrington. Carrington is 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 not that Carrington is fighting brilliantly either. He's just fighting with one hand. He, he, oh, good right hand landed by Carrington. He he threw that out of. Oh, I forgot that my left was hurt. He threw his right again. I mean that my right was hurt. And when he landed the right, he's like, hmm. See, see. Let me tell you something, Margell. Let me tell you something. Everything worth doing is overdoing. You played around. You fooled around long enough. Now Shushu has thrown his right hand twice. Good left hook, left hook. Now Shushu done thrown his right hand twice. See? See? You snored. You snored. Good combination. This, this, he has one hand, Argel. He has one hand. This is, this, this is. Oh, look, look. He wins. He wins. Shushu wins because that punch missed and hit his hand. And he said, and this guy doesn't know. That what do you think this is? Mortal Kombat? That if he holds the block, it doesn't hurt. He's a human being. Good jab. Carrington. 50 seconds left. I'm giving Carrington all the love in the world for pulling this fight out. I'm giving him all the love in the world for fighting with one hand. But I I I tell you something else. Left hook. I tell you, I tell you something else. Um, um, I'm not giving much love to Argale at all. Good left hooks. I I, I tell you, I tell you this too. It brings it brings up Canelo Alvarez. Canelo needed surgery on his hand, and he fought Triple G the third time. Canelo needed surgery. He got surgery. Canelo got surgery. Now, people ain't going to believe it because they hate Canelo, right? So, Canelo, everything's a lie, right? So, nothing can ever be real, right? But in reality, he's he, he getting surgery on his hand. He won't be back until next May. Good right hand from, from Shushu. Shushu's throwing his right hand again in the fifth round. Yeah, that, that's what Argel gets. That's what, he, that's what he gets. So for him to take the fight, for him to take, he fought Bivol with a bad hand. I didn't know that. That's why when, remember, I'm going to show, I'm going to cut the video. When I was calling the Bivol fight, I said, what's wrong with Canelo's elbow? Y'all remember me saying that? I thought something was wrong with his elbow. 
the way when he, he threw a punch and the way he moves his arm, he moved his arm. He did that with Triple G. I'm like, what's up with his elbow? It was his hand. It was his hand. It was his hand. Floyd Mayweather fought with two bad hands for like for years. But it was his hand. Um, and Triple G, you know, now, now he's like, yo, I'm gonna need surgery, bro. And the reason why he couldn't get surgery before Triple G, because contractually he was obligated. Facts. Uh-huh. Contractually, he was obligated. So he had to fight him with one hand. But um, in, in, any of these fighters who's doing that, Javante Tank Davis against Isai Cruz, Shushu Carrington against Argel, fighting with one hand, uh, um, Gary Russell fighting with one arm. Um, oh, good uppercut. All those guys, man. Canelo Alvarez fighting with one hand against Triple G. Oh, he's got Something else is incredible. Good jab. Good jab, Carrington. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Oh, right hand. Throwing the right hand again. Hold on. I got my son is playing today, playing football today. I'm not, I'm not sure if he. If he scored, I'm very interested. Uh, Biz, please don't make excuses for Canelo. I, 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 I can't talk. I can't talk to you, brother. I can't talk to you. Two minutes left in the sixth round. I can't talk to you, brother. You, it, is, that, is that a point where I just can't give a full analysis on, on somebody that people are moist over? So I... I can't give a full analysis on Floyd Mayweather. It has to be one-sided. You got to just talk shit about certain people. Only be negative. And those moist fans, dude, I can't do anything with y'all, bro. Uh, one minute, 40 seconds in the sixth round. Good combination, though, by Shushu. Look, Argel is trying to get some fire back. Good uppercuts from Shushu. Good right hand from Shushu. Good combination. Shushu smiling. His, hand, his hands feeling a little bit better. One minute, 25 seconds in the sixth round. Good left hook, Argel. One minute, 18 seconds. Good right hand to the body from Shushu. It's, it's, it's over with, bro. It's over with. Because Argel can't hurt Shushu. He can't hurt him. You see, Shushu was, was about to beat up Argel until he hurt his hand. But, but this was even more interesting. It was even more interesting on how mentally strong and poised Shushu can be to learn that pretty early. Now, my man who said, please don't uh, make excuses for Canelo. I'm not going to make excuses for Shushu either, but his hand was hurt. His hand was hurt. Good uppercut. Or Gary Russell. Or Lomachenko. Or Teofimo Lopez. Or anybody who had an injury who are human beings. Oh, good overhand right. Or Floyd Mayweather. But still, the point still remains. Shushu, he stayed mentally strong. And the fight carried on. The fight carried on. Last nine seconds. Good jab. Good work. Good work. Good work. Not overly impressed by Carrington. Why not? When when he hurt his he hurt his hand, he, his hand was hurt for three rounds. There was six six round fight, and his hand was hurt for three of them. I feel I feel good. I feel good. Uh, let me see. Bless you. Uh huh. Uh, let me see. Are you going to be going to broadcasting the main? I mean, I, no, I, I do what I always do. Uh, everybody, please hit the like though. Respect for Shushu. Beautiful. Salute, Biz. Thank you so much, Derek Lincoln. Positive, brother. Thank you so much, my brother. Impressive by Carrington, one hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. But remember when we were talking about earlier, you know the difference between those who have fought or those who have set goals for themselves and worked hard to succeed, those who have fell on their face and gotten back up and have done better, and those who are trying to get little wins because they have disappointed themselves, 
look in the war room and look at the comments. You can tell the difference between the people. I'm telling you, it's not just me going in on people. It's not just me going in on people. Derek, look at the comments and the type of stuff people say. And you can know what type of person they are. You can tell. You can tell somebody of integrity, respect, and those things that is built. That is built through your own life experiences. You're able to project that on others. Because real recognize real. Look at them. You right, bro. Yeah, Derek. Now look at the war room. See what they say. You know what they're not made of. You know it. Oh, let me see. Yeah, that, that was that was that was good work from Shushu. That was good work from Shushu. Facts. Yeah, that was good work from Shushu because Shushu got punched illegally and then fought with dude. And it was like, yo, Shushu is taking it to him. Then he hurt his, his hand. And then he adjusted and boxed and worked with one hand for two and a half rounds. Good work. Sixty to fifty. Yeah, that's it's all one sided. All one sided. Bruce, shoe shoe Carrington. Good work. Good work. Who's next? Keyshawn Davis. Again, that was that was nice work. Who's next though? Hey, look, look, look. Hey, I, what you what you got to do now? What you got to do now? Get get. To, man, my hand hurt. What you got to do now is get your hand checked and then see if the hand wraps has something to do with it, the way his hand's being wrapped. Because he's at the beginning of his, his career. So he has to find a good guy who wraps his hands. We got to see if that's the case. He has to see if that's the case. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, Let me see. What's good, B? It's just arrived. How many fights to the main event? I think two. Uh, Y'all got to help me on this one. I think two. I think it's Keyshawn Davis and then Shakur. Very fast, though. This feels early for that. Yeah, Keyshawn is next and then Shakur. Doesn't this feel early? Like an early night? Maybe because it's Friday. It feels early. And it's fine by me because... I, I'm just going to relax and play some video games and drink some beers. <laughs> uh, oh, Keyshawn isn't next. Oh, like four. Okay. Two. Okay. I was about to say because I'm like, that seems early. It airs on ESPN at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock Eastern. That's 9 o'clock. That's LeBron is next, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. The main card starts at 10 or not. Okay. Okay. So there's one more fight. And then Keyshawn Davis. I got you. So at 9, Keyshawn Davis. I, sorry. Hold on. Interested in my son's game. I'm sorry. Just too interested. Oh, yeah. He, he, he's probably getting busy. She's not picking up the phone. His mom, his mom, probably, ah! Ah! Baby! <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her do her thing. Let me see. Everybody, if you can, though, let everybody know that we're in here by hitting the like. Hit the like. Your fingers over here be like. It's helping to hit the like. You know what you like. Ooh. Let's see how many likes we got. 
We don't have a thousand likes yet, but we're almost there. We need a thousand likes. If you haven't hit the like already, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, bro. How many of you guys heard about the new uh, game? That new, uh, that new boxing game called Retro Knockout. Hold on, hold on. I made a video. I would like you guys uh, to watch it. Uh, the new video game, Retro Knockout. I think it's super cool because it's like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It's a parody. It's a parody of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Here, let me let me show you guys. Undisputed, yeah, that's ESBC is now undisputed. Let me show you guys this as we wait for LeBron. Me in the city, build a lobby with a sword off shot. He's screaming, drop it, it's a rock. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz Law. Don't I can look. Well, <laughs> how many of you remember Mike Tyson punch out? <laughs> The music, the fun, the challenge, the laughter, everything that comes with a game just being fun to play. Well, it's back, but an updated version with a twist like you've never seen before. It's called Retro Knockout. Here we go. Brought to you by Vanilla Gaming Company. Look, Retro Knockout is a parody game of Mike Tyson Punch-Out, but with some real boxing. So that is the new uh, boxing game that's coming out. The, the demo is coming out free uh, on Steam uh, next month, uh, October. So uh, I'll be giving you guys updates on that game. It's like a Punch-Out. It's a parody of Punch Out, but it's hilarious. Uh, so I want you guys to check it out. Uh, and if you just go to my uh, channel, subscribe, go to my channel, uh, check out the video just so you can get as much information as possible. Retro Knockout seems like it's going to be very, very fun to play uh, with you and your fans, especially if you're around my age. If you remember Mike Tyson Punch Out, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, let me see. Biz, did you hear Buzz say he accepted 35%? No, I did not. Went on what platform do you say that? But Arrow team don't want the fight. Arrow won it, but his team is scared. I don't. Re I've never heard that. I never. I never heard Bud say that he accepted thirty five percent, but Arrow team is afraid. I. I didn't hear anything like that. I really didn't. What platform did he say that he accepted thirty five percent? Because I haven't. I haven't seen any percentage split that has not i haven't seen that revealed at all who has who has access to the contracts like when was that set on what platform give me some information but when did you hear bud say that Source, trust me, bro. Right. When, when did you? I just need to know when did you so I can get the video. I do receipts. I do receipts all the time. So I need the video of him saying that. People just say what they hear other people say. I need to hear him say it. They trolling a bit. Okay. He spoke to Blue Blood today. According, did he? Did you hear him say that? Did did where? Give me the video of him saying that. Oh, you miss uh, old great perspectives? He just gave one last weekend. All right, we, we're about to we're about to call. We're in New York City. I'm Blue Blood said that Blue Blood said Bud talk TC. What, brother? I I got Blue Blood's phone number. 
I don't need to watch. But what I'm saying is, did you hear him say that? Don't come to me and say, showbiz, did you hear? I don't want, let me, let me tell you this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart. LeBron about to get busy. I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart, my brother. Don't just listen to me say, I heard. When I say that, even I say, take it for, I'm not going to speak it like it's the gospel. When I give you the receipts, I'll speak on the receipts. Be here's the contract. No one speaks about their legal situation. Boy, receipts, uh huh, uh huh. Show biz is no cheese muscle, no. Hey, 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 here we go. LeBron versus Vince's. Look at Vince's going after LeBron now. But um, I'm going to finish what I have to say in a minute. Two minutes, 40 seconds in the first round. Oh, good combination by LeBron. That was a left, a right, left. Oh, God, LeBron is throwing him from the shoulders, bro. They want this fight over now. They say, hey, we ain't got that kind of time. They say Keyshawn Davis is coming out at, at 10 o'clock Eastern. We ain't got that kind of time. Look, LeBron, we got about 15 minutes. This is an eighth-round fight. I need you to let yours go from the show. Two minutes left. Jab, hook off the jab. LeBron got them fast hands, bro. LeBron, LeBron got them fast hands, bro. Looking good. Look how he's set. Look how he's setting up uh, uh, fences. Look how he's setting up fences. Oh, good jab. One minute, 45 seconds in the first round. Pep, good left. And then and then he hug him. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work, Bron Bron. Good work. Vince has been in the game for you. Oh, good left hook. I mean, right hook out to Southpaw from Bron Bron. Oh, Vince has got Bron Bron against the ropes again. But not 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 trying to do anything because LeBron got that left hand cocked. Oh, good right hook from Vince. Good jab, Bron. Oh, good right hook again. Right on the nose. From Vince's. Oh, good body shot. Counter. Left hand. From Bron Bron. You like that, Bron Bron? I got a long time ago. Whatever Pusha T said. <laughs> oh, good left. He was trolling LeBron heavy, man. 50 seconds. Good job to the body. Good left. Yeah, yeah. Vincis is hurt already. Right hand just missed. 20 seconds in the first round. Ten seconds left in the first. Vince has got him pressed against the the octagon. <laughs> Good jab from Vince. Vince has got is is baiting him, is getting him into the corner, but he's not getting busy on him. LeBron is nice. Okay, I want to say this to you guys. Okay, I want to say this to you guys about Terrence Crawford. Le'Veon Bell just had a knockout, a uh, knocking out Adrian Peterson about Terrence Crawford accepting thirty five percent or whatever. I'm not sure what other sources may have heard, but I can only speak for me. I'm going to say this clear. I won't talk about another man's contract or financial situation when it's not closed and the deal isn't set, especially for a fight that we're hoping and pray 
get closed. I'm not going to run my mouth, not me, about something that is not sealed and done in a contract. I got legal contracts myself that's not closed yet. And I don't want any of you guys talking about my stuff that is pending. So I won't talk about nobody else's shit that is pending until it's public information from him that he's speaking through his mouth. That's why I'm asking you guys to give me the video. I take stuff like that extremely seriously. I do. So that's it. That's why I asked you, did you hear? Give me the video of him saying it because then he made it public information himself. But I'm not running around. Y'all notice I didn't talk about the legal situation between Terrence Crawford and Bob Arum because I don't run around talking about legal shit when it's pending. Not even when it's done. I ain't got that kind of time. All right. Life is too. So let's go. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Good left hook from LeBron. My bad to snap off, but nobody's going to hear that from me. Like I said, I'm, the culture I'm from, we don't, we don't talk about brothers. Nobody's legal shit. We don't get down like that. Right? So I, that's it for me. So y'all ain't heard anything from me, bro. Y'all ain't heard anything from me. Showbiz, have you heard? What did, what did Terrence Crawford, give me the video where Terrence Crawford said something. Nothing. I ain't got that kind of time. LeBron versus Vincent. Good. Oh, good left hook from Vincent. Vincent, whatever I ever say his name. Good combination. That's what we're talking about right now. Keyshawn Davis about to fight. One minute, 35 seconds in the second round. Good combination by Brian Brian. Brian Brian. Hey, ref. What the hell? They going do see dope. <laughs> How LeBron James looking? LeBron James looking good, man. One minute, 20 seconds. Go to the body. He's getting hit with some flush shots, though. Brian Brian getting hit with some fr some some flush ones. Go straight right. Good jab to the body. One minute. Good left hook again from LeBron. LeBron done rocked Vince's a good four times already. I just good left hook. Got he's sitting down. It's just that Vince's is so experienced and crafty. He sits in the pocket, bro. So you got to be careful. 50 seconds left in the second round. Good right hand. Good right hand to the body. Good uppercut. Right hook just missed. Look, there's blood everywhere coming from somebody. Coming from somebody. Remember that 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 story about uh, Tom Molino and Tom Cribb? There was a black fighter and a white fighter. The black fighter was an ex-slave uh, fighter who made it to the UK and fought the champion Tom Cribb. And they said that fight, it was in the winter, outside with no shirts. They said the fight was so good left. They said the fight was so bloody, you ain't know who was who. That's a white fighter and black fighter. The fight was so damn bloody, the crowd didn't know who were who. Look at all the blood that's stream, streaming down somebody. I don't know where the blood's coming from between LeBron and Vince's. Five seconds left in the second round. Oh, let me see. Bias, what you bet? I, I, I pre I'm predicting Shakur Stevenson to win by unanimous deci decision over Robson Constantine. But I bet on the knockout because it was more financially lucrative. So I bet on Shakur Stevenson to knock him out. The probability and how much money. Um, I also bet on Keyshawn Davis to win by knockout. Now, I bet $300 on Keyshawn. So he's going to have to do it for me. But let me see. I got Shakur KO. Wow. He doesn't KO guys like that, though. But, yeah. Bet your house. Bet your bet your bet your mat. Uh, let me see. <laughs> you di he didn't get out of the cock a duty car. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, you know what? I'm off my soapbox. You got that right. I was I'm on my soapbox. He didn't get out of the cock a duty car. Uh, should I, yeah, I don't think I don't think David Benavidez has been. I mean, he did for David Lemieux, but he he's not at one sixty eight often. It's always a catch weight, him missing weight. He's really like a cruiserweight, you know. He's not at. He should be at one seventy five for sure. But there's a lot of fights. There's a lot of fight at one seventy five. Go to one seventy five. There's some nice. There's some nice work at one seventy five. Good jab. Good jab again. Good straight left hand. All from Bron Bron. 
I don't know who's bleeding and what's going on. I know for sure that Vincent is bleeding, but I don't know if LeBron's bleeding too on the right side of his face. I have no idea. Seems like it, but I can't call it. I can't call it. Good jab. Swim without getting wet. Hook off the jab, brother. I, oh, he's not bleeding at all. Okay. Oh, good left from Bron Bron. Hey, man, they, they are overworking my guy. That referee, Fester, they're overworking him. That guy has ref the last four fights, bro. They, you want to talk about Bob Arum keeping money. Well, but my man getting to the bag. So, nope, never mind. Fester, do your thing. <laughs> Good jab. Can Steve Willis get a rap? Oh. Good jab, though, Vincent. Good hooks to the body. See, he. this is a good fight for Braun because Vincent is loading up some good shots while Braun back is against ropes. There's one minute, 35 seconds in the third round. Good jab. I, I like Vincent's, man. How long have you been in the game, though? I, I've seen him for a couple years. How long has he been in the game? 20? 20? That guy, he can't be that old. How, how long have you been in there? Oh, God, good uh, uppercut, left uppercut, then right hook combination from Bron Bron. That uppercut was to the right to the bread basket, too. Good jab by Bron Bron. One minute, tense, one minute left in the third round. Good hooks to the body from Vincent's. Dog, I love what Vincent's doing. Believe it or not. Like he's he's stepping forward and making Bron Bron. He's he's putting Bron Bron in the corner with his front foot. Look. Look, see, he turned his front foot in, out. Look, look at the front foot of Vincent's. See, he put on outside. And he how does he get Bron Bron in the corner every time? Now he's in that corner. It's footwork. This is, is moving him around with footwork. Good right hand to the body from Vincent's. 30 seconds left. Good right hand to the body. Look, look, now look at his foot. He gets him in the corner with his foot every time. Every time. Look at that front foot. Good left foot. Oh, good right hand to the body. God, that's incredible. That's incredible. Do am I froze? This stuff is, is this is getting wicked, man. This is getting wicked crazy, bro. Hold on, hold on real quick.
whatever's causing this problem, I'm going to have to get this fixed tomorrow or at least Monday. Something is wrong. Something is, I can't do it now because we'll lose connection and then we won't be able to call the Shakur Stevenson fight. But because I have to probably reroute some stuff and do some things or whatever and call somebody and I can't do it now. But this thing, this thing is going to have to, bueno, okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Where are you? Who's your server? Xfinity. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My my internet. This this is this is definitely this is me talking to the Xfinity people, dog. But you don't remember what they. But they look. But you bought the bottle of beer, definitely, at twelve fifteen. Yeah, it was twelve fifteen. Exactly. If I'm not mistaken, it was. Now you see something. Now you see now, you know fucked up, you know that, don't you? That's going to be me at on, on the internet, people. I'm going to be like, now you said that I would have high-speed internet. <laughs> Garage door. Oh, good right hand from Vincent. I'm not sure what's been going on. This is the fifth round. LeBron trying to swim without getting wet. LeBron was throwing his big, man. LeBron is winning. Punches landed. Oh, good left from LeBron. He he looped the right and threw the left right down the middle. Oh, he did it again. LeBron's nice, man. I, I, I don't know what kind of punches Vincent's can take before he gets dropped or hurt or this is this is insanity. Yeah, he's taking some great shots. Good combination to the body upstairs from LeBron. With two minutes, five seconds left in the fifth round. Good head movement by Vincent Stowe. Look at that front foot. Good left looping hook. Good left hand. And this one without getting what? Yeah, LeBron hit him with some hard shots now. And Vincent is hard-headed. Very determined. Catching big shots. And still, that's straight right to the body. Oh, LeBron is cut right in the middle of the forehead. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, you hate me, don't you? I understand. Good jab. Left hand just missed. Good jab again. Swim without getting wet. Vincent's walking him down with the high guard. Good left hand by LeBron. Good hooks to the body by Vincent's. Vincent's is doing okay. He's doing okay with with his angling, with his front foot pressure, but with his hands, he's not – with his hands, that's all Bron Bron. <laughs> that's all Bron Bron. Good jab. Left foot just missed. Good combination. Good combination by LeBron. Nice angling by, by LeBron and good footwork. Good, good head movement, good footwork, just to get out the way. Swim without getting wet by LeBron. Look how it look at look at the leverage that front arm. Sometimes he jabs, sometimes he pushes you off with it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful footwork. Because he knew how much real estate that he had in the ring, and then he he clinches well, and then he pushes Vincent's back into the center of the ring. LeBron fights great escaping. That's what he wants to do. Good combination. But he's doing a little bit better in not letting Vincent back him all the way up with that front foot. But the combinations from LeBron are nice, especially when he starts from the body and then go upstairs. Crawford, she goes.
I'm hoping Biz froze on y'all screen. He's like, yeah, I, if Biz is freezing all the time, I'm going to double jab, swim without getting wet. LeBron doing the same thing. Two minutes, 50 seconds in the sixth round. Good right hand. Left hooks over and over again. Clinching and hitting. From Vincent's. Vincent's can't do anything really, really that effective. He has a straight right to the body, right? That he's been throwing over and over again, been landing. Straight right to the body has been pretty good. Uh, the front foot action been pretty good. Good right hand from Vincent's. It's just that LeBron footwork, his offense is nice. Good looping left. His his variety of punches. Sometimes he loops the left. Sometimes he throws it straight. He loops the right. He shoots the jab. Good head movement and upper body movement from LeBron. Constantly moving well with the angles and the footwork. Escaping very well. Uh, jabbing on the escape. Looping hooks off the uh from in this during the escape. All those things. And, and then he engages. Good right hand from Vincent's. Then he engages when he feels that he's backing up too far, which I believe was uh, an adjustment made by his corner. Good right. Good left hand, I mean. Straight left. Nice head movement, though. Beautiful head movement from LeBron. Good jab. Good jab. This is going to go full eight. This is going to go to full eight because Vincent's it has proven that he can absorb the punishment from LeBron. And LeBron cannot be careless in his attacks. He can't be careless in his attacks because Vincent's is experienced enough to throw punches in there, right? Throw punches during the combinations and kind of duke it out with LeBron. Good body shots from LeBron. Right, he dukes it out with them pretty well. Good combination. I know, I know for sure. I know for sure. Uh, Hey, if you know, he's going to Okay. Uh, yeah, because this is. Which computer? Yeah, yeah, I know. I did, but I, it was just dark. But I don't know what means that, you know what I mean, it's all. Because you think it's because still be on. Is is okay? Is there one that would, it would have to be completely off or something? Because this is the worst my connection's been, and I'm losing people. Are like, well, I can't. I can't believe it. you know the internet's been really bad lately. Yeah, yeah, turn off anything. I like have it completely off for me. All right. Man, this is, this is. By far, by far the worst internet performance i've had in how long 
So I'm thinking it's the new computers that were added upstairs because I'm talk. I was talking to Ms. Biz just now while I was frozen, <laughs> and uh, good good combination of the body because this this is unacceptable. It has to be fixed. Uh, she said that she's going to make sure that they are all powered off. Yeah, it's better. It's far better. Hang in there, Biz. I'm hanging in there. Best life. I'm a hang in there. You guys hang in there too. I gotta give you guys love for hanging. So We'll get it. We'll get it. Man, yeah, off net. That's what I got. That's what I got, bro. <laughs> anyway, one minute, 30 seconds in the seventh round. Vincent is pushing Braun back. Um, you know, this fight uh is entertaining in the in the sense of Vincent's uh attacks is, is constant pressure and the way lebron is handling it with slick movement and some good power shots it is boring in a sense that it's the same round every round nothing new or different is going on every round so you have the vincent's ability to back to back uh lebron up to a certain point of the ring and when LeBron gets there, he 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 initial he initializes an attack. Watch, you're gonna do it now, or or he's going to clinch, and then push him back in the center of the ring. Yep, he spins, he clinch, push back in the center of the ring, and then they box. And then Vincent is going to use that front foot to try to back up LeBron back into the corner, and LeBron's going to escape. That's the entire fight, every single round. Let me see. Uh, here's a tip for a geek squad. Hey, you ain't lying. You ain't lying, brother. So tonight, gotta leave the nine Thing, cause it's, it's full. Thing, thing, thing. What do I do? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Man. Cause now I can't even talk. Hmm. All right. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> Wait, y'all can still hear me? Hey, Vincent got hurt and he fell all over the place. I don't even know y'all can hear me. Oh, it's clear now. I'm sitting here like, 
It ain't clear, dog. My bad. So LeBron is beating up on Vincent's right now. One minute, 20 seconds in the eighth round. Restart it. Uh-uh. Because that's just going to lose people. Restarting isn't what y'all think it is. Oh, good left hand from LeBron. This is hurt. This is hurt. 50 seconds now. No, this is so fire. This is a good hook to the body. Right hook to the head. Oh, my goodness. 30 seconds left. So, my man said domination is not boring. It's boxing. Levels. Do you guys agree? Do you guys agree? Domination is not boring. It's boxing. Levels. Do you all agree? Disagree. One-sided fight. Domination by LeBron. I disagree. Yes, depends. My man had depends. Let me let me see what uh my man said. Uh you better ask somebody, you ain't lying. Depends if you guys can still hear me. My man said he's agree. I don't understand. Okay, 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 okay. I'm eating like holy field. Okay, mismatch. Okay, okay. Depends. What does it depend on? What does it depend on? Agree. Some of you guys agree. Why are you hollering? I don't know. Who is being dominated? Vincent's got dominated by LeBron. Vincent's got dominated by LeBron. So I'm asking you guys. Depends if you're casual or not. Okay. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. To dominate a skillful fighter is not boring. Okay. Now, how about this? Let me see what you have to say. Depends if the other guy is still giving it his all. All right? Not boring at all. Okay. Let me do it like this. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? LeBron won easily. Yes, yes. Okay. So, he so here's the thing. This is what this is what I think boring is. You good. Okay. This is what I think boring is. I think boring is it's not about domination. My man had it wrong. It's not about domination. It's about seeing the same round every round. That's what I call boring. When you see the same round every round, I can watch a slugfest, but if it's the same thing every round, it can be boring. That's my thing. If it's the same round every round, it can be boring. Devin Haney, 
when he fought Cambosis. Jab, 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 jab. Not Devin Haney, but the fight got boring. Yeah, if it's the same rhythm. Look. If you listen to the album and the every song is the same song, the album gets boring, regardless of how great it is. If every song is the same song, the album gets boring. If it's a 12-round album, we have gig speed biz also are you yeah i have the hardest one and i have the highest one and it's hardwired this is something new that's going on with my computer it hasn't been going on before so something's wrong if not i may need uh xp spot yeah down here yeah i do i do also need uh xp7 modem to get the yeah 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 i gotta get all them us together like rap no uh if it's the same song, now you're just kind of dissing, being an asshole. But I'm talking about if it's the same song, right? Every song. I work for Comcast. All right, there you go, Derek. I knew you had that. I knew you had Funny. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf. Okay, that was boring, but Slugfest keeps you entertained too. I appreciate boxing, but when it gets to it, that you can be, I know who's winning this boxing fight. But in Slugfest, you never know. Right. I'll do it like this. I don't give a damn what style it is. But if it's the same thing every round, I get bored. If I know what's going on every round, the next round, every round, I get bored. And this is getting worse and worse. My internet is literally getting worse and worse. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My food is getting better and better. Adjustments. That's right. We need to get a tank out there to you. Yes, you do. Yes, Lord. Don't get it twisted. There's some slugfest that are born too. That's exactly what I'm saying. If it's the same thing, it's boring. For the last time, it's YouTube. Oh, it's YouTube. Why do you say that? Why do you say it's YouTube? It's not my internet, it's YouTube. Why you say that? Because all the other computers in the house are working fine. Wi-Fi works from Biz Eats. Funny, funny as hell. You put your face out there. I, I see Shakur Stevenson in the back right now. All day, you, all day, YouTube. Wow. YouTube is fine. It's not YouTube. YouTube told them they change in servers. My stream, all good. Your stream is all good? Dang. I'm just going to keep talking, man. What's your favorite football team? New Orleans Saints? Who that? Who that all day long? Who that? Uh, it's what they do. 
I have no lag at all. Sully, you got to be kidding me. Sully, you haven't had lag this whole time. Sully, you haven't had lag this whole time. Biz, uh, have you checked if you have uh, fiber optic in your area? No. No, I haven't. Eat a fist. Oh, you're right. Uh, what's the name? Uh, what's his name? Holyfield. Steam is good. Over stream is dang. I have a lag. Oh Lord, I have no idea what's going on, brother. I have no idea. But Keyshawn Davis about to fight. Hey, look, 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 look at look. Hey, Andre Ward is done. There was a time when we thought Andre Ward could still fight, but I'm looking at his face, dog. Andre Ward is a guy now, dog. I know there was a time we were wondering if he was going to come back. Andre Ward is a is a civilian. I'm looking at him, dog. Andre Ward is just a I'm nope. He's looking older and shit. Like he's done, dog. I'm looking at him. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, look, everybody. I'm going to try this real quick. Let me try something real quick. All right? Ah, let's see if this works. Nope, it didn't. I I, st I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. We got you, bro. Thanks, man. Hit, hit. Yeah, war looking different. War looks like he's eating how I'm eating. It's a wrap, dog. It's a wrap. Let me ask you guys this. What's your favorite Jordans? What's your favorite Jordans, dog? Mine's the bread 11s. But what's your favorite Jordans? Jordan 6s? 1s? See, 1s you can do so much with. 3s? No way. The fours are fire. My man said the threes, dog. The twelves? A lot of people like the twelves. Threes and sixes. The threes? Wow. The fours all day. I love the fours. Man, the bread elevens. Conquer 11s too. Something about the bread 11s make me feel like I'm doing my thing. Uh, let me see. Olympic 6s. Conquer 11s. How about the Bordeaux? The Bordeaux 5s. Uh, let me see. 3s and 11s. 13s or 13s, huh? Conquer 11s. Butter. Yeah, they, they're fire. <laughs> they're fire. What's your favorite beer? I'm asking because Keyshawn Davis, they, they're not in the, in the ring yet. What's your favorite beer? What's your favorite beer? The Sevens. Wow. I mean, the DO1s, nobody got those. <laughs> that was like 20 something thousand dollars, right? But like, my man said, I don't drink. Well, people who drink, what's your favorite beer? Ginger Guinness, ah, the Master Twelves. Somebody says some some O E, some old English. I drink whiskey, Heineken. Uh, let me see. Stella, Mike's Hard Lemonade. That man said root, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Corona, Coors Light. 
Bud Light. Okay, Sam Adams. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Who is your favorite boxer? Now let's let's put it out there. Let's put it out there. Now we need to know who we who we are talking to in the war room. Odello. Who's your favorite boxer? Blue Moon's fire, bro. Not of all time, right now. Not of all time. Right now. Errol Spence. Crawford for real. Spence second. Bud Spence. Okay. Spence, Shakur Stevenson. Bud and Loma. Those, that, that was, those were some good picks. Uh Haney. Boots Ennis from Philly. Um Canelo. Errol Spence. Wow. Chocolate Tito. A lot of Spence fans. It's like Terrence Crawford and Spence fans. Devin Haney. Bud. Bud is skilled and power. Garcia. DSG. Wow. Usyk. There you go. Tank. Bud. David Benavidez. Fury. Uh, Inoue. You got one for Inoue. Virgil Ortiz. Canelo and Javante Davis. I love that. Showbiz. There you go, dog. Pac-Man. My goodness. Wow. Steel Triple G. The quote, Loma, Loma, Ultra Better BF, Manny Pacquiao, Tank and Spence from Atlanta, from the ATL, Canelo, Butterbean, you're right. Wow. Wow. Hey, look, Constance Sal has his gloves on right now as we speak. Constance Sal has his gloves on. How's that? Savannah Marshall? Wow. Are you just saying that because somebody said the quote? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Xander Zayas. Ah! Oh! That, you, you, you got a guy that you like that you're going to be around for some time. Um, Baby Creed, uh, Egner Belanga, you lying. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, Constance Sal got his gloves on right now you got Shakur Stevenson who was bouncing around uh in the back he was bouncing around in the back with his hand wraps uh Council Style says he's gonna do what he needs to do what we all need to do is give all the love in the world for Council Style for taking the fight Council Style could have easily just taken the bag and fought for the belts or at least one of them he is the number two fighter for the WBC. He's ranked number two for the WBO. And so he could have taken a full pay and gotten the fight for the belt without fighting Shakur Stevenson. This man decides to, of course, get the pay and fight Shakur Stevenson anyway. Now, in fighting Shakur Stevenson, though, he will get both belts, correct? Correct? And fighting Shakur Stevenson, he'll get both belts, correct? So he's like, I'm going to do it all right now. I'm going to do it all right now. So much love to Kansa Sal. Right now, Kansa Sal is the hero. Right now, he's the hero. Shakur Stevenson is trying to get a little quick nap in. He's trying to rest. Trying to lay back and get some rest in. There was somebody saying something about fighters who tried to get some sleep before the fight and how good that is. Somebody said if you can lay down and get some rest before the fight is best than when you're revved up. 
I forgot who said that. And they, they said something about it says a lot about um how poised you are as a fighter. So when you look at somebody laying down and just getting relaxed, they said it's an actual plus. It, it's hard to believe that, but it, but that's what they say. If you can get some rest before the fight. Uh, Chris Eubank, I think. Everybody, please, please bet us on BetUS. Thank you so much. You guys know that I put money on Shakur Stevenson knockout, though I think it's going to win. You know, it's going to be Shakur Stevenson by a unanimous decision. I put money on Shakur Stevenson KO. All right, hit the Tyson bell on BetUS. So bet us on BetUS. I uh, also put money on Keyshawn Davis by KO. Uh, let me see. Keep listening to Sean, not listen to me. You're not going to be successful. Did Keyshawn fight? No, he's about to fight now. He's about to fight now. He's about to fight now. Big mistake, showbiz. Um, um, no, I, I think you I think I gave I didn't give you enough information. So I put 330 bucks, I think. That now that's the scary part on Keyshawn Davis to win by KO. If I win, I get a hundred dollars. So I bet a hundred dollars on Shakur Stevenson by knockout. So if Shakur Stevenson, I use, you know, if Keyshawn does what he has to do and get the knockout, I get my hundred. That way, I'll feel comfortable about comfortable about betting the money I won. So I won't lose. I'm I'm like going even. You get what I'm saying? Or I can win three hundred dollars if Keyshawn wins by knockout and Shakur wins by knockout. I can win three hundred dollars. Oh, I got you, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred percent. 100%. So it's actually a good move. Uh, let me see. Katie Taylor. Yeah, she she's. They done turned off all the music and everything. Boy, that food there was, that was right on time. Ms. Biz, that was hitting. I got to give me, I got to give me a Biz her love. That was hitting. That was hitting. Uh, best insurance. Biz used to bet 5K and 10K. Yeah, I don't have a fight. I, I didn't use I didn't do that often. But I bet 10K one time. I bet 5K on Errol Spence knocking out Ugas. And I got that bag. That's one of the better bags I got. I think. I think that was the 5K bet, right? Um I bet another 5K. But I don't bet, I don't have a I'm not going to bet $5,000, $10,000 every fight. I'm going to do that for, like, the big fun ones. Like, like Errol Smith versus Terrence Crawford, that may be a 10K bet. It's just, you know what I'm saying? A big fun fight. That's when I'm going to do it. Oh, let me see. If Shakur uh, wins, does he lose his pound-for-pound pound ranking? Wait. If Shakur wins, does he lose? If Shakur, is Shakur in the pound for pound top ten list? I don't think so. Is he? I don't think so. Um, who's top? Who's pound for? I don't even know what that means, bro. If Shakur wins, does he lose his? If he, I don't. If he's on a pound for pound, whatever pound for pound that is, if you win, you don't lose your spot. Usually, you don't. It's it's somebody else doing something more phenomenal than you. But let me see. <laughs> Remember, showbiz bet 5K on Conor. Oh, I sure did. I sure did. That was hilarious. I sure did. Um, LOL, play the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That comment was dumb. Shakur, Shakur is ninth pound for pound on whose list? Shaker. On whose list? He's eighth on ESPN pound for pound. Okay. So you're talking about ESPN's pound for pound list. Uh, no, if he wins, he he wins. Uh, let me see. Watching Biz during Wilder 3, funny, was funny. D dude, that, that was incredible. That was one of the more incredible joints. Uh, let me see. I think he's saying that because he lost belts on the scale. 
so so what he's saying is is he off the pound for pound list right now it, it wouldn't have any bearings on if he wins or loses right so it if he why well, say if he wins I, I don't understand that so are you saying right now that he lost his belts on the scale see off the pound for pound list i don't know what they bank there i don't know how they're doing it he's not on my pound for pound list right <laughs> right i would never have shakur over devin the dream haney who's undisputed at lightweight i would never do anything like that <clears throat> lomachenko is not on my pound for pound list right so i i don't know what espn I, I'm I'm curious a little, but I don't care that much. But my thing is, I, how can you have any lightweight, any lightweight over Devin the Dream Haney? That is the most, like, I know, I know I have a, a gender for gender, pound for pound list. I know I have that. I have a male, a female, gender for gender, pound for, that's the biggest criticism of me. Showbiz, how can you have a list that's all inclusive of women and men? How can you do it? I can do it. I know how to do it. You know, I have no problem doing it. I don't think you should be able to. That's the biggest argument. Well, I don't think you should be able to do that. That's the biggest argument. For me, though, when it comes to ESPN list, I don't know how you can have a lightweight over undisputed lightweight champion. I have, I have no idea how you can do that. That's the one that's just, that's almost impossible. And y'all know how I feel that I, I really like Lomachenko. I think he's great. I think he's an all-time great fighter. With that said, brother, I don't know how you can do something like that. <laughs> uh, how do you power jab like Triple G? <laughs> Any advice? With that? I don't I don't know. He's an all-time great middleweight. I am nowhere near that. that To give that advice, brother, please. That dude got the best one of the best jabs I've ever seen with these people. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of things with these people. Uh. Devin beats Shakur. I don't know. Uh, don't mix males with females. <laughs> that dude said that you'll you'll be one of those guys where if a black person drink from a water fountain, it'd be like, hey, no race mixing. <laughs> That's this guy here. It's the only thing that to me. <laughs> uh, he turns his knuckles. I mean, but the timing of it too. That guy's amazing. Uh, let me see. No, Shakur beats Haney. I don't even, I don't understand. My man just said Crawford. Just keep throwing. Uh, he's just uh, consistent with his jab. Yeah, that jab is, I mean, I, it plus it's his tendons, right? It's his tendons. Like, when I look at Canelo Alvarez punch a heavy bag, I've tried to get that amount of snap, and I weigh way more than him. I weigh far more than, I weigh like 30 pounds more than Canelo Alvarez. And I can't get the torque that he has. So it's not just muscle memory. It's also the way you're put together. You can't tell anybody to, to hit to hit as hard as Wilder. It's just, hey, uh, Frank Sanchez, you got to start hitting as hard as Wilder. He can't. <laughs> so to have a power jab like Triple G, I don't know how you do that. You, you got to have the tendons. You got to have the muscle you first you got to have the dna and then you got to have the timing and the snap and the technique behind it brother built different yeah uh vinnie pazienza versus teofimo lopez Teofim Lopez better than him. Teofim Lopez is, I don't know if he's better than him. He's more skillful than him. But I don't know if he's better than him. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. Because this is going to make the difference. Uh, let me see. Let me break it down for the slow folk. The belts got Shakur the pound for pound ranking. So if... He wins the fight without the belts. Does he keep his ranking? If he wins the fight without, I, but see, but here's the thing, podcast. Um, no one, the, the, the real rebuttal to that is we're talking about ESPN's list. 
That's why the first thing was like, who's list, right? He's not on my list. So when he said pound for pound ranking, who's list? So what we did as a war room was we evaluated the list to see if he would be on that list. So after evaluating that list, we're like, we don't even know how you do that. <laughs> That's what happened to us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got I got to see. Oh, it's it's still. Why is it paused? Is it paused for you guys? Everything is is wicked over here, bro. Yeah, it is. So for us, we're like, how is Usyk number four? Right? How was Usyk number two beat AJ and dropped? He was, he was, he beat AJ the first time, was number two on their list, beat him again and dropped to number four. That's so, so people are wondering different shit. We're evaluating the list. How is Lomachenko ranked seven or whatever he is? And Devin Haney isn't on it. So now we can't even answer the question. That's what happened, bro. That's what happened. I don't mean the same power. I meant form technique. I have to study that jab. I have to study that jab, man. But what I do know is that he changes his jab. I've seen, I've seen him throw that jab with the elbow out, and I've seen him throw the jab with the elbow tight. I've seen him throw it with the elbow, and I've seen him also throw it wider. He changed that jab. It's a it's a natural thing he got going on. I I need a I need to study it though. Uh flex on him. Seep, 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 pile. King Kong ain't got hurt on me. I run from him. Y'all just live here. Uh, Keyshawn Davis should be coming soon. Pause. A uh, biz adult the show. 100%, brother. 100%. Thank you so much. Easy. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it just paused like, uh, oh, like the break arena. Uh, Triple G's jab versus Jamal Charlo's jab. It's two different jabs. I'm going to steal that line from Tyson, Mike Tyson. It's two different jabs. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, because Jamal, Jamal Charlie got one of the best jabs I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. He does. He does. Triple G jab is, I give a slight edge to Triple G's jab because but I, but Jamal Charlie would knock you out with his, he would knock you down and out with his jab. Triple G jab is so punishing over and over and over again. It finds its mark so much. Man, that's that's a good uh, man. Maybe a, a if I were to jab like somebody, it would probably be Triple G's. If I want it, okay, let me get Triple G's jab because it's so educated. It's so educated. But brother Jamal Charlo jab is on some Sunny Liston type jabs, bro. It just stings you. Like knock you down and shit. like his jab. He's done dropped multiple people with a jab. That that dude's jab is mwah, amazing. Let me see. Uh, Biz had to uh, ponder on the Vinny Pass question. Uh huh. LOL. Vinny Pass has was mentally and physically tough as nails. Yeah, I definitely had to ponder on that. I think I, I never saw Vinny Pacienza as a very skillful guy, but I saw him as a winner. So um, I saw him as a winner because he came back from that neck accident. Remember when Duran said that he was going to break his neck? Like, okay, I'm going to break it. You know, Vinny Pacienza is a tough kid. He was a winner. Oh, let me th let me see. Uh, thoughts on the next UFC pay-per-view. Which one is that? I forgot what, which the next one was. My bad, brother. I've been so focused on boxing. Okay, they're showing Shakur Stevenson. He's putting on his, his, his boxing shoes. Maul's jab 
Maul's jab puts people down, not as active, though. Right. It's not as active. And not to say it's not active. Jamal and Charlo has a very active at jab, but it's not as active. Yeah. Because when, when Triple G's fighting, you're just like, that damn jab. Right? When Triple G's fighting, you're constantly like, damn. Because it's, it's boom, 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 bam, boom, boom, boom. It's like, damn. And you can tell that it's just heavy, just bam, boom, bam. It's like, brother. <laughs> no matter, and people moving their head, bam, boom. Bam, boom, bop. It's like, wow, I move this way. You, no matter what, <laughs> it's like accurate and just wow, bro. You know, in his prime, especially in his prime. Uh, let me see. He got he got a better jab off the bounce, dog. Let me see. Uh, Spence should win against Crawford. You know my problem? I read into every word. I read into every word. He's pro- he probably doesn't even mean what he what he wrote. But because I'm a Virgo, I I lean into every word. He should. Like what does should mean? You know what I mean? That's my problem. That's me. That's me. Over analytical, bro. Over analytical. Uh, let me see what else we got. Uh, not trying to be Chief Muscles, uh, but at the creator event, we're 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 the devs showing favoritism towards fanatical. A oh, were not trying to be a Chief Muscle, but at the creator e- event, were the devs showing favoritism towards fanatical? No, you're talking about you're talking about ESBC. Well, now undisputed. No. No, I was getting the favoritism. If there was any favoritism given, I felt it was given to me because (laughs) I felt it was given to me. And I'm going to tell you why. Because my I have such a big personality. You know, when I got there, it was like the champ is here. You know, so people were... Fanatical is more, he's just kind of like, kind of quiet. You know, he, he speak to, to a situation or whatever. So you had, Ty Grisham was wearing my shirt, show be a shirt, rooting me on to win <laughs> the tournament. <laughs> he was like, he was wearing my shirt and flexing this shit. Like, it was a thing. Uh, no, 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 Fanatical. Had, if there, I think we we're all treated the same, except for if there was any favoritism. I think it was more my side, <laughs> if anything, because I got this type of personality that everybody just started laughing. Triple G versus Laura. I don't want to. I don't want to bring up the 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 uh, the herd fight. Because that wasn't the best Laura, but Triple G. Triple G is amazing. Triple G is amazing. He's really amazing. Laura's amazing too. But what did you think about Wilder's media workout? Oh, I, I, I covered it. I covered it. You got to subscribe to my channel, man. I covered it. I thought it was nest. I thought it, I thought it was proper. His movement and everything. Here come Keyshawn Davis right now, though. I got money on this fight. Laura was a headache. You, you shit. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Triple G is a bigger headache, though. But you ain't lying. Dog, my man is whoever that guy he's fighting is smiling in a weird way. Um, do you agree that Spence is one dimensional? I I I think that Spence has shown one dimension. Um, but not all the time. Lamont Peterson, he showed many dimensions, but people don't see it. I think he's shown one dimension because hey, that is the quickest way. To my destination, a straight line. And nobody has forced him to, but I think he has many dimensions. I've heard about it. 
but there's no sense. I'm breaking your ass. Nobody can beat that one dimension. It's kind of like Hagler. Is Hagler one of the greatest fighters ever? Yes. Is Hagler one of the greatest middleweights of all time? Probably the greatest. Is he one dimensional? I guess, but I've seen Hagler do different things. But what he took to John the Beast Mugabe, that's what he takes. What he took to Hearns, good shit. Because that straight line, here comes Keyshawn right now, though, is so effective. So I'm not sure if I can I can say that he's shown me one to mention. Switch stands. You talking about from Southpaw to Orthodox? Well, does Keyshawn Davis? Not too many people switch stands. Uh, that that's what made Terrence Crawford very, very special. He's he's almost more effective Southpaw. Um, but um. Uh, Terrence Crawford, not too many people do that. Hagler did it a little bit, but he was more effective southpaw. But only fighting, if you're not switching stance, I do, that Ali, how often did he switch stance? Was he one-dimensional? No. Right? How often did Floyd Mayweather switch stance? So switching stance, is, you know, it's not either you're one-dimensional or you switch stance. That's not, that's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Here comes Keyshawn right now. Good jab from Keyshawn. Keyshawn, knock him out so I can get to this bag and not have to worry about it. I don't even know Tienda. I've never seen Tienda ever in my life. Never seen him. If I had, I never seen, yeah, I would have noticed. That stomach of his looks like, I don't know what the hell that looks like. That looks like uh, peanut peanut brittle. All right, here we go. Good head moving from Keyshawn. That dude's stomach looks like peanut brittle. Two minutes, 30 seconds in the first round. Good jab to that peanut brittle. He jabbed that stomach. Keyshawn did. Hey, look, Keyshawn is very, very calm. Very calm. Very calm. Go ahead, uh, Tienda. Tienda shot the jab and came in, and Keyshawn already shaking his head. No, v- dog, my, my, my biggest worry about Keyshawn is if he's going to have if, – if his ego is going to get in, in a way. He has ego in a certain way where I'm wondering – it's in a certain way. But Bo Mack is talking about how special he is and how he has it, like that it factor. So Bo Mack knows. Right hand to the body just missed from Tienda. Look how, look how, oh, good, good jab from Tienda. Yeah, Keyshawn, like, hold on. Yeah, Tienda's coming for war, bro. He's coming for war. Dude, if, if, a a Keyshawn, if you make me lose, good left uppercut to the body. If you make me lose my $300, I'm going to be pissed off, bro. For real, for real. Because this was a for sure bet. Good combination, right hand to the body from Keyshawn. Good jab. One minute, 20 seconds in the first round. Obviously, Keyshawn's trying to get a little round in. You can tell. Keyshawn is fighting often, too. You know, four times in one year and stuff like that. He, he's, he's coming along in a very, very great way. This is, how, this is how you bring your fighters along. Good hook off the jab. Left, uppercut. Just, just missed from Tienda. Left hook from Keyshawn. Good jab, Keyshawn. Good right hand, Keyshawn. Right down the pipe. Keyshawn's very strong. Tienda, yeah, I like what the ref did. The ref let Tienda uh, use his strength, his physical strength, like Orlando Salido, <laughs> pushing Keyshawn Davis against the ropes and let him get a punch off or two. Right hand to the bike. Keyshawn got a very strong block. Oh, good jab right hand from Keyshawn. Keyshawn turned that elbow over so much on that right hand. Good right again. The way he's twisting that hand, I think that's where a lot of his knockout power comes because he turned that all the way almost 360. It was like a drill. It was like, whoop. Little Philly shell from Keyshawn, leaning all the way back in the Philly. Ooh, Keyshawn almost tripped. Good jab. Right hand. Oh, Keyshawn dropped it with a right hand. Oh, he slipped. He slipped. He slipped. He slipped. I, I, I often say, this is why I'm not a ref. I've often said, if you get punched and any part of your body touches the canvas other than your feet, following a punch is a knockdown. I've often said that. I've often held true to that. The reason why refs are professional and do what they do is because they can see that punch, but they can also say, well, it was more of a slip than a knockdown. For me, I don't think the knockdown would have happened 
without the punch. I'm I'm more so like sorry. You, you slipped, but you got hit too. That's me. That's why with Ugas and Porter, I never said that Ugas was robbed of the fight, but he was robbed of that knockdown, which led to probably a robbery of the fight. <laughs> so Porter told me in my face, I wasn't knocked down. But my thing is, if any part of your body hits the canvas, why isn't uh, switching stances, stance common in boxing? Because not everybody is, is um, you can switch stance for a quick second, but not everybody's coordinated from both sides of their body. It's a very, there you go, right hand again. He almost dropped him again. Combination. That was, that first one was a knockdown. I'm sorry. Good right hand from Keyshawn Davis. Uh, I'm sorry. If you get hit, I mean, I'm not a ref, so I don't know better. These, these refs go to all kind of uh, conferences, ref conferences and all this stuff to learn their things and go over things with each other and all that. But if you get hit and a part of your body touches the canvas outside of your feet following a punch, that's always a knockdown for me. Always. Two minutes, 14 seconds in the second round. It's hard for me to know how much percentage of it is a slip and how much is it for, due to the punch. Uh, for me, forget it. There was a punch, you failed, bro. I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Oh, with two minutes left. Oh, look at the hook to the body from Keyshawn. Keyshawn breaking him down systematically. But that that step back counter right hand that he has, amazing. I like Keyshawn's guard too. Keyshawn reminds me, y'all saw Shushu Carrington earlier, how they they're both quick and 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 def great defensively responsible fighters, but they're fighters, good right hand. The, they're punchers. So I, I I love that type of style, not more than any other style, but I'm just saying I just I, I really like that style, right? The reason why I like Jamel Charlo and Errol the True Spence, and I just like that thing. Um, Tank Davis, brother, I have no idea what Keyshawn did. He walked to him and then oh, good left hook from Keyshawn. Hey, 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 you see how Tienda try to lean on Keyshawn's neck, and that's what you do, try to frustrate Keyshawn. Because Keyshawn, you can't let Keyshawn sit back and tee off. Oh, God, that right hand. The way Keyshawn can escape the charge, the bull charge from Tienda, and then to follow that up with a straight right hand on the button is beyond me, man. That's, that's, that's coordination, that's athleticism, that's accuracy and timing all wrapped into one. That's God gifted, man. If, if you believe in that stuff, or boxing God gifted or whatever, that's DNA. Oh, 40 seconds left in the second round. It's hard to teach that. That's the it factor that Bomack was talking about. He did, he did it again. He did it again. That was a good left from Tienda, though. I like what Tienda, that left foot to the body from Keyshawn Davis. I, I, needed, I needed Tucker to do that earlier today. I needed Tucker to go to the body some more. Good jab from Keyshawn. Jab to the body, then he holds. Good rip to oh, oh, Tienda landed the left hook on Keyshawn Davis. That's another thing I would love to see. How good is Keyshawn Davis's chin? I would love to see that. You know, instead of not seeing them ever hurt, because if they ever get hurt all over Twitter, you guys troll. But my thing is, instead of never seeing them hurt, I'm more curious on how they respond when they're hurt. So when Ryan Garcia was dropped by Luke Campbell. I was more I was more interested in how he got up and how he handled that in front of a bunch of people more so than he would never he's I never seen him bust or dropped or hurt. I'm more curious on how they respond to adversity. Right? When Lomachenko got dropped by Linares and came back and knocked him out with a body shot. I was more curious in okay, Lomachenko hit the deck. Now what? Right? Very curious, just like Iron Mike Tyson. I've never seen Iron Mike Tyson dropped and get up to win a fight. That's always that's always the difference when I think of Muhammad Ali getting dropped against Cooper, getting up, winning the fight, right? Um, that's my whole thing. How about what happens when you get knocked down? Because it's not like you'll never get knocked down. Well, unless you're Floyd Mayweather. Well, who was dropped by Zab Judah, but not officially. Oh, good uppercut left hook. A combination right hand 
from Keyshawn. Two minutes, 35 seconds in the third round. So I'm I'm curious in seeing because uh T Tienda is landing good has landed one or two good shots on Keyshawn, but nothing flush enough. I just want to see how good his chin is. No right hand. Oh, that's a good left. Tienda is giving Keyshawn Davis some weird looks. It's just some weird looks because his defense is so solid. So what, Ke what Keyshawn Davis is doing, good combination, good right hand from Keyshawn Davis. What Keyshawn Davis is doing is showing physical strength with him on the inside, which is proper. It's proper. He's kind of wrestling with him. Look how good he, he's tying his arms up, tying up Tienda's arms. I, I like what Keyshawn Davis is doing there. Good right hand from Keyshawn because you got to work him. You got to work his shoulders. You got to move his arms around. You got to clinch him. You got to, you know, work on. See, right there, pushing his neck down. Work, just wear him out so his guard can be less tight because Tienda's guard is very tight. Like, like, like they say, it's hard to punch somebody, knock out somebody who's not punching. So he's trying to break him down physically on top of, you know, systematically with his punches. One minute left in the third round. Good combinations to the elbows, punching around the guard. Good combination from uh, Davis. Tiana throwing some hooks back. Good jab. Good uppercut, right hand. They both jabbing on each other. Oh, good right hand around the guard from Davis. Beautiful. You know how that jab, you, you know why you throw a jab? looping punch you throw a jab and then loop a shot because you close that guard tight and then you loop around it because because your brain works that way You're gonna hit me with the jab and then you maybe it'll be a double jab and then you hook around it good good jab and hook key key Keyshawn davis is throwing some good shots look look see you see how rough Keyshawn is getting, squeezing his body close to him, using his, his dreads in his face. Like, he's trying to break him down physically. Good left foot, Keyshawn, good left. And trying to put, and then they bump into each other. Yeah, Keyshawn's a rough kid. You got to get rough. You got to get rough. That's the only way. He, he could, Keyshawn Davis can easily just shoot the jab, swim, shoot, shoot the jab, swim. But Keyshawn Davis is trying to be a, a, a mega star. So what he's a star. So what he's doing is let me hook the elbows. Let me grab him in and wear him out, you know, break him down, squeeze his arms together, hit him with a hook. Like I'm trying to break him off because there's nothing like a knockout. No matter what people say, the sweet science, I always say a knockout is the sweet science. There's nothing like a knockout. All that he's doing is the sweet science too. Not just. Woo! That, that's not the only sweet science. Also, tying him up, twisting that arm, right? Putting your forehead in his face, pushing his arm down, hit him with uppercut, jab, loop around, break, get him, break him off, get him off kilter, and open him up for a sleeper, for a knockout. <laughs> Keyshawn's a hugger. <laughs> no, 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 not really. As much as, look, look, good right hand. As much as he's trying to be, uh, see how he's pushing him around? He's being irritating. He's being irritating. He's 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 doing what our Ar Gale was doing uh to to Carrington, to Shushu Carrington. Right? I'm I'm gonna be physical too. See, he blew a kiss at him. I'm gonna be physical too. Right? See, he blew a kiss again, blew a kiss again. Keyshawn's trying to irritate him because his guard is so tight. It's hard to knock out a guy who just guard, he's trying, it's hard to knock out a guy who's not trying to get knocked out. He's not trying to punch. So he's irritating them. He's pushing them with the jab. He's he's making them talk. He's irritating them because because boxing is also mental. So he wants him to punch. Bam! Good hooks. He dropped him. He dropped him. No, no, no. He that's that boy. He didn't want left hook to the body, and then the push happened. It was kind of like Tyson Fury uppercutting uh, Dillian White and then pushing him. That's two knockdowns, man. All right, let's go. Good right hand. And then look, see how he twists his head and what he's so he he has to get 
he has to get Tienda out of that tight guard. He can't just box with him. It can't do that because it's just going to be a point fight. Whatever happens in this fight, Keyshawn going to get love for me. See how he pushed him off with that elbow? Bam, then he hooked, did combination. And then Tienda is like, it's nothing. But see, Tienda, you're not punching. Tienda said that you're running. But Tienda has no answers now. He's shell-shocked. He's shell-shocked. And, and, and Keyshawn knows it. Now look, look what Keyshawn doing. Yeah, yeah. And, and Andre Ward just said it. He has to break the defense down. I've been saying that for three. See, Tienda went to slam Keyshawn. Now he's in his head. Now Tienda went to slam. This is all the sweet science. And then Keyshawn started taunting him and blowing kisses at him. This is all the sweet science, bro, because boxing is 90% mental. This is it, too. Bam. Punch it on in the clinch. Using his hair. This is all it. 40 seconds left in the fourth round. Good uppercut. He used the braids in his hair to create cuts. Right? Lennox Lewis kind of did that with Klitschko. Remember? It was the braids that cut Klitschko eye. And then he started punching him there. But the braid cut it first. Or maybe it opened it more. It was either a punch that cut it and the braids opened it more or the hair butt, the braid started to cut. I forgot what it was. 15 seconds left in the fourth round. That little damn horn. Oh, good right hand from Keyshawn. That horn tied up, horn dread in the front thing. That 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 shit should be illegal. It's it's right in the front. It's like a horn. Be hopping them. Yeah 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 yeah. Be hopping them. Be hopping them. Yeah. Stop hugging. No no. Um, my man who says stop hugging. Hold on. Stop hugging. You you. You need to watch Jack Johnson fight. No, you won't. You won't do it. Jack Johnson was a master boxer. But one of the things he did well was tie up his fighters. He did that very well. Bernard Hopkins is one of the greatest at being uh, aggravating with his tie-ups and twisting the arm and digging into the hip and doing little things on the opposite side of the referee, hit him kind of low a few times. He was the best at when he ties you up. Crafty guy um so no 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 this is making this very entertaining how how much he's irritating him like this right here and i'm trying and with this type of tight defense and i and i bet on the knockout bro i need Keyshawn to keep doing what he's doing bro because to just punch the guard ain't gonna be enough good good right hand good combination from tienda good left hook from from Keyshawn. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Keon shot, Ke uh, Keyshawn tries to win without getting away. He pushed the referee out the way. Oh, good right hand, then uppercut uh, from Keyshawn. It was a right hand from Tienda, and then Keyshawn answered with an uppercut. See, if Keyshawn can't just punch through the guard. He can't. He can't. So he's going to have to irritate him. Okay, now Tienda is throwing some punches now. Now Keyshawn got a punch while Tienda's punching, though. While, he, while Keyshawn is escaping, he got to put a little Tucker in his life, right? Tucker can throw good punches backing up. I'm talking about, I'm just comparing all the fighters who fought earlier today. Good head movement, footwork from Keyshawn Davis. One minute, 40 seconds left in the fifth round. Good jab from Tienda. Just overextended himself trying to get to, oh, good right hand. Bro, dropped him. Same right hand. Hey, you got to get in the corner so he can count. The ref can't count until you get in the neutral corner, Keyshawn. You got to become a professional. You got to be a professional, man. All right. That right hand dropped him. That's – oh, God, he hurt. He hurt. Oh, God, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh, God. Stop the damn fight, dumbass. It's over. The fight's over. Stopped him. Now, he did the right thing. Y'all called him a hugger and all that. He did the right thing. Give me my $100. Now I got the free $100 that I'm betting on Shakur. Yep. Thank you so much. Bet us on BetUS. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. That's where I placed my bet, my hundred dollar bet on Bet US. Here's the link. So I bet three hundred thirty dollars to win a hundred dollars. Now I'm going to use that hundred. I, I, I projected it, so I put a hundred dollars now on Shakur uh, Stevenson to knock out Council Sam. The bag. Let's go. Biz, that's so hype, wasn't it? And Sully, Sully, wasn't that a beautiful way to break down his guard? To irritate him? He he fought him, he was dirty, and he boxed him. The sweet science. Beautiful. Beautiful. Box team, dirt ball tactics, taunted him, blue kisses over and over again. That is all. He's going to be a fantastic fighter if he keeps his head. Blow kisses over and over again. And then, bam, step back. So you don't know what he's doing. Is he tussling with me? Is he being aggressive? Box. Bam. Dropped him. Boom. And right hand dropped him. That same right hand dropped him earlier. You got to get that guy's. You're right. Sean got rough with dude bro guard was tight his guard was so damn tight that i can't just flick what do you want me to do? flick the jab that ain't gonna work just flicking the jab and this guy is he's not punching bro he's not fighting it's hard to knock out a guy who's not fighting so he had to wrestle with him tangle with him break down his guard blow kisses at him get him pissed off make him want to slam Keyshawn. he wanted to slam Keyshawn push his neck down then now this guy is, then he comes out, whoop, bam. And, and let, me, let me give you one. Let me do you one better. Let me do you one better. Reminds me of Wilder. Yeah, that did. How he moved to the side and threw that right hand. But let me do you one better. Let me do you one better. Earlier that round, earlier that round, I said, Keyshawn, you got to throw punches while he's chasing you too. Keyshawn was like, I got you. Not that he did it because I said it. Right? Like he's reading my mind or something. But that he didn't throw punches on purpose to make dude feel comfortable throwing punches at him. Sometimes it's the punches you don't throw that opens up the knockout later. So he made dude feel comfortable throwing punches. He's like, nah, I'm not going to throw punches at him. I'm going to make him feel comfortable swinging. And then the next time, he did it again. Whoop, bam! Then he caught him. Then he caught him. Then he caught him. Yep. Yep. Adjustments. Finding out how to open them up. Good fighter. I'm excited about all these boys. Tucker, Carrington, Keyshawn Davis. Now let's see Shakur Stevenson. Uh, dirty fighter. Yeah. He, 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 had, he had to fight dirty with. He's not a dirty fighter, but he had to pull out some tactics for him. Good. Good. That's boxing. Everyone does it. That's why I was getting mad at uh, all the Wilder fans that were talking about, hey, Tyson Fury was pushing his head down. Have you watched boxing? Look at Keyshawn Davis. That's what you do. Right? So, yeah. Yeah, y'all got to watch more boxing. Watch more boxing. You'll find out that boxing is a fight. You don't play boxing. It's a fight. Y'all keep thinking it's a sport. What did Deontay Wilder say? It's a business. He said, we out here trying to kill each other, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all new to this. Once once you start watching more boxing, you'll get it. You'll get it. The sweet science, baby. The sweet science. Sweet science is brutal than a mug. 100. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That was smart to me. That was fantastic to me. That was fantastic to me. I was giving him props on all that shit. <laughs> y'all heard me? When he was growling, I'm like, oh, that's put the braids in his head. Y'all heard me, right? Put the forehead in his face. There you go. I, I was over here like Hercules. Her, I was happy to the mother. I'm like, oh, you about to get me to the bag. If you would have kept just punching and, and playing boxing and punching and punching at his tight guard, I would have been like, I lost my money. Everybody's excited about the results. Like, I like, hey, what did I say earlier? Keep doing it until the ref stops it. 100%. Pow. For that, for this right here. Yes, Lord. 
beautiful work. He said, what do you want next? He said, I want to heal up. I wouldn't be surprised if he fought before the year ended. He said he's going to be top 10 for sure by next year. He's moving fast. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if Keyshawn fought again by the end of the year. He said, learning from Terrence Crawford, spawn with him. He learned everything in the gym from Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford used to be a wrestler. He knows what he's doing. He said, let him come to you, set him up, hit him with the shot. You think Hansa Sauer got robbed in the Oscar Valdez fight? Well, the thing about Hansa Sauer is the, the, the thing that makes him like um, – you kind of want to root for him is because if you think he got robbed in the cons in, in the Valdez fight, but what I do believe is that Valdez should have been stripped of his title, right? I I repeatedly um asked the WBC to do that just just for um consistency. Um so Valdez failed the drug test and um was able to fight fine. But now you follow that up with his second biggest fight with it, which is secure Shakur Stevenson and Shakur Stevenson loses belts on the scale by coming in at 1.6 pounds heavy. So it's, uh, you can't help but to have some empathy towards Constantine who is nothing but an Olympian who has done things the proper way the whole time at 5'11". Right, he's 5'11 and he's making the weight with no problem. So, I mean, I can't say with no problem, but he's making the weight. Good point. Yeah, so I'm on the side of you know, whoever wins wins, of course, but you can't have imp but you can't help but to have some empathy for Council South. You can't. Um uh Davis needs to get more fights under his belt. I, I don't know what Davis doing, man. Uh, the Brick City kit. What's going on? His 5'9". Who's 5'9"? Constantine's 5'9"? I thought he was 5'10 and a half. 5'11". Keyshawn won. Yeah, Keyshawn won by knockout. TKO. I thought he was... I thought he was um 5'10 and a half. Let me look it up. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, he's 5'10 and a half, 5'11. Um, well, they got him at 5'10 and a half, dog. He's definitely not 5'11. What what do I do? That's definitely not five eleven. I mean, what what do I do with that information? I'm just asking y'all. What do I do with that information, bro? Do I say? <laughs> what do I do with that information? He's not five ten. He's five nine. We see it, bitch. Yeah, I, I'm. Then I, I don't know what to do then. I don't know if I should believe you or believe his recorded height. I don't. Re... Yeah, I don't know. If... Yeah, Ronnie Shields. I don't know what to do at that point. Everybody got to know everything's a conspiracy or everything's wrong. I don't know. Do I believe y'all because you said so or his recorded height? <laughs> yeah, basically 5'11". I, I really don't know what to do. I guess I believe you, you know, because y'all stop it, biz. He's definitely not. It's like, but believe us. Oh, okay. Y'all can't even agree. You got people saying 5'9", 5'10", 5'7", definitely not 5'11". Like, (laughs) 
there was literally just a bet us commercial on my TV. Really? I'm telling you, man, bet us is big. <laughs> bet, I, no, bet, that's when I said bigger, easier to use and safe. Bet us is huge. Bet us been around since the nineties. So that's a very prestigious, like this community is doing something real prestigious, real good, man. Sully. This community is like, so I'm sending y'all to a place that's like, you know, pretty big. 700 watching that haven't hit the like button. That's the real. All 700 of you hit the like button. And how many of you guys have subscribed to my channel? Subscribe to my channel, man. Hit the subscribe button. It's red. It says subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the hit the notification bell. Saquon Barkley uh, at the fight. Yeah, I saw that. You know, Saquon, I ain't even um, – I wanted to draft him. Now I'm happy I didn't because I got uh, Najee Harris. Well, he was drafted before it got to me. But I got Najee Harris and Joe Mixon. I'm 2-0 this week three. So we'll see. I'm 2-0. I'm not sub. Yeah, hit, hit the like. Hit the sub, man. Sub, sub to the channel. Hit the like. Thumbs up. Let's see how many likes we got. Shakur Stevenson about to fight right now. Dang, dog. My they, uh, my son lost by 21. They were 4-0. They were 4-0. They lost by 21. That's just being shitty. That's that's just not prepping and going into the game like, yeah, we undefeated and playing like playing to lose by 21. They were playing the best, they were playing the best teams in their conference. That's just, you know. That's just not being ready. Uh, yeah, they got they they got their asses whipped. They got their asses whipped, man. That's what they get. That's what they get. Hopefully, they get uh, you know, get back to practice. Uh, let me see. I'm subscribed on my wife's phone and both kids. Dang, never know. Got to have a good. There you go, boy. I love it. I love it. Uh, let me see. Hey, Biz, what you think about uh Bell versus Peterson? <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, dog. Uh, you know. Peterson was just his face was there. He, he didn't know what he was doing, bro. He didn't know he was doing. football. Football. Damn, sorry, bitch. Yeah, that that just that that was just to hear that they lost by twenty one. I would have been I, if I was there. I would have been there screaming at the top of my lung, pissed. I'm happy I was here, bro. <laughs> uh, let me see. I mean, uh, Penny Manny Pacquiao, uh, Penny Mackie out. Let me see. Uh, he puts out uh, great content daily. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. Do you feel Constant Sal beat Valdez? No, I think Valdez won. I'm 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 part of the uh minority that thinks Valdez won. Hold on real quick. The thing, the, the thing about Casa Sal to me, show bears the goals funny. The thing about Casa Sal to me, uh, you should have been subscribed. Um, Casa Sal fights. He only lost one fight, so he's a good fighter, very good fighter. Um, but Casa Sal, Casa Sal, he drained an inchworm. Casa Sal boxes well when he can maintain the distance right um when i saw how much he fell apart due to valdez's uh pressure that was that was very alarming also seeing let me let me show you let me show you let me show you let me show you just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick 
um I thought I thought Val, I thought he was winning the fight and I thought he end up he lost the fight. I thought Kansa Sal lost the fight. I really did. Biz uh be on them comments. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm always Biz, who taller, Shakur or Kansa Sal? Brother. All I know is Shakur is listed as five seven. Kansa Sal is listed as five ten and a half. Um this is my problem with Constance Sal right here. And if that's giving Mark. Oh, hurt him. Boom. Left hook right on the temple. What was Ray Woods saying to me? Die of Martina. Hook to the temple. When you get him hurt, you all the way through. That's what he was doing in the second half of that fight against Val. Round number six. Sketch. Why will you? They may not drop right. In the exchange, Constance Sal heads head stay on the line and he is vulnerable to the left hook he started to become vulnerable to the right hand over time too right so he becomes he becomes very vulnerable to left hook so um with Shakur Stevenson being southpaw I see Shakur winning those exchanges I see him winning those there's a few things that I think Costa South throw his combinations too long too so there, there's things that Constance Sal does that I think um, doesn't help him. It didn't help him in a Valdez fight, and I'm assuming it's not going to help him this fight. Dude, my, my son is a beast, though. Like, I'm looking at a picture of my son staring at his coach this close like i'm not going to show you but my the coach is looking at my son wait hold on i wonder if i can come up real quick come on real quick my son my son, my coach is looking at my son like this, and my son is in his face with his fist balled up. I don't know what he could possibly have been saying to my son. <laughs> but my son listens, even to me, when I'm telling him something, he doesn't move his eyes. And I'm like, wow, he's been like that since a baby. Uh, Shakur by decision. Yeah, I think Shakur wins by decision. I think he wins by decision. One pound, no discipline. Um, you seem to be missing a little misinformed by how, like, um, no discipline, one pound, no discipline. I think you need to know more about what happened with Shakur Stevenson missing weight. Um, it's it's partially true, but not how you say it, right? Not how it sounds like you're saying it. So the discipline was too late. So he couldn't lose that one pound, 1 1.6 pounds. So that's even more. Uh, he couldn't lose that 1.6 pounds at the time of the win. He couldn't. He couldn't. He had orange pee. He was dehydrated. It was a wrap. But he should have stayed in shape the time he was off. That's what Errol Spence is doing. Errol Spence is managing his weight. So when it's time to cut weight, it's easier to do. Shakur Stevenson hasn't been doing that. Like, like I said earlier, he's making the same mistake that Tank Davis was making earlier in his career, thinking he don't realize how early he's growing to be a man. So Tank Davis was like, yeah, I'll just get in shape. And he couldn't. He couldn't. That means you have to maintain your weight before, you know, when during the, during, during the time you're off. That was his problem. That was, that was his problem. Spell it right. <laughs> Um, it's how he's scheduled to fight and move anyways yeah 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 uh he is growing he's getting bigger and older he simply has to move up and wait well yeah he's moving up and wait mark so it is he already announced that, that he's moving up up and wait next fight but that doesn't mean he couldn't make the weight this fight it's it's 1.6 pounds so that means that he knew he was going to fight again so the problem, Mark Ambrose, and I'm going to say this for everybody who, who y'all should subscribe to my channel. I'm going to say this for everybody. 
The problem is, is what Sully was saying, right? We wanted him to defend the titles, especially his WBO title. That way he'll remain champion when he moves up to 135 and become mandatory at WBO. That's the loophole with the WBO titles. Once you are, if you move up as champion, you become mandatory, just like Usyk did for AJ as a WBO champion, just like uh, Terrence Crawford did for Jeff Horn when he moved up and, and he was WBO champion. So that was the problem. Now with him vacate, he loses that loophole. Now he has to climb the rankings, right? Even if he comes in ranked three or four, he's not immediate mandatory. That was the pro- so it's like, yo, if you would have stayed in shape and managed his weight leading up to it. We all know that he couldn't have made the 1.6 pounds. So you might as well come in healthy. It was the right thing to do. Don't do a Teofimo Lopez and ruin yourself. But what I'm saying is if he would have managed his weight leading up to it, he would have had a better cut and he would be defending his titles. And if he beats Constance he can use the loophole of the WBO and fight Devin Haney or the winner between Lomachenko and Devin Haney if Devin Haney gets past Cambosis. Whoever holds the WBO title, we could have had that immediate Shakur Stevenson-Lomachenko fight. Shakur Stevenson-Devin Haney or Cambosis fight. It would have been a big fight with Shakur immediately. That's the problem. That's the problem. Here we go. Uh Uh-huh. Shakur isn't dumb. I don't know what that is. WBO is lit for having that loophole. It's amazing. Amazing. Heavyweights are lucky. They don't have to cut. Well, that's sad. That's sad. That's sad. I, I remember a heavyweight division where they kept themselves in shape, that they actually didn't get too fat and all that stuff, you know? Uh, let me see. You were right, Biz. He's 5'10. Yeah, but that even but that's not even about me being right, though. But thank you so much, Douglas. Thank you so much, brother. Hit the there. You know, it's just they said he was 5'10. <laughs> he's listed as 5'10. So I was just like, you feel me? <laughs> I guess he's 5'10. I, 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 I don't stand next to him. I never seen him in real life. So I was just like, okay, he's 5'10. Bet. You feel me? So when everybody was like, there's no way, I was just like, I mean, he's listed as 5'10". Fact, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me, Douglas? You feel me? Uh, let us uh, know when they make in the ring entrance. Constance Howell just entered the ring. Here comes Shakur now. Um, um, this, this is where I'm at. I need Shakur Stevenson to be mature. Mature means to don't let this is that Kevin Gates to not let this situation get in his head I need him to forget about the situation and come out and I think with the crowd yelling I think he's getting ready I think he's getting ready that's maturity to me because come in dominate now you now you know the situation the situation is over with and behind you come in dominate Hit the Tyson Bell. Be that guy that said, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Be that guy that told him that in that face-off, in that stare-down. Yeah, Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates coming out with all, all the jewelry on. Tatted up. He looks about 230. <laughs> Kevin Gates over here looking 230. Just Oh, let me see. Not pay-per-view. It's on ESPN. Yeah, it's on ESPN. Uh, Stand up, New Jersey. Look, look. Who is Stevenson looking for? Who is Stevenson looking for? Oh, Kevin right there. Gave him a hug. Wow. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see the swag. Let's see the swag of Shakur. Everybody's excited. And Shakur praying. Okay. I, I just need to see that he's focused. I need to see rap is trash now. 
it's not really my bag right now, brother. But it all depends on the rap you're listening to. Mainstream rap? Yeah, I'm not really into it. I'm not really into it. But there's a lot of hip-hop that's dope. It's just that the mainstream stuff, I'm not really into it. Uh, let me see. Sh Sh Shakur looks pissed. I I've seen Shakur look like this before. New member, baby, baby, baby. I saw him look like this with Jamel Herring. I saw him. He looked He looked more uh, confident with Valdez. It looked like he was the most in his back. But I saw him like this with, with Herring. He looked like a demon with Herring. I don't get Gates. I don't dig Gates. Yeah, I don't listen to him either. I, I don't even know. I don't really know him like that. Uh, let me see. Showbiz. Side bet. For what? I made my bet. Go to Bet US. You got, you got a whole company that manages your money that you can trust. Right? There's no need to have just some dude on the side just half hustling with you. you go to Bet US. You have a whole system that is right in your bank account. You ain't got to wait. Hey, brother, where's my money? You ain't got to do all chase a brother down and other. You just, whoop, you won, bam, in your account. I, I don't even play with people like that. I ain't going to play with you. I don't play with nobody. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here's the main event. <laughs> yeah, where's my money? And I love you, brother. Love you, boy. <laughs> Biz getting to the bag tonight. You think so, Sully? Sully is the reason why I almost screwed it up. Sully was like, no, 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 no. You ain't not, you don't have the right bet. Sully, Sully fixed. And I think with Sully making that correction, I think Sully right. I think he gave me the, the good vibes, bro. If he knocks out Constantine, I don't even see it. But if he does, ain't nobody going to tell me nothing about no Shakur, bro. If he knocks out Constantine, ain't no. Because you know Constantine is a welterweight tonight. You know that. Constantine is your Dennis Ugas tonight, right? He's 5'10". He's listed as 5'10". 130? Yeah, right. Look at, look at his face now. That dude that dude's bigger than Shakur right now, bro. So as a fight go, forget forget the soap opera. The the men in the ring, if that man right there, Shakur Stevenson, knocks out the other man, Constance out, it has an asterisk because if he wasn't defending his title, he missed weight. But as the fight go, that's sensational. I would be like, that's sensational, bro. Because <laughs> of 1.6 pounds on the scale, I'm talking about fight night. I'd be like, that's sensational. I feel it, Biz. Uh huh. Represent Brick City. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody hit the like. Everybody hit the like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good, that was a very good introduction because I think if Shakur is feeling any way, that hyped him up. He needed that. Though he they got all the babies there from like elementary school, from his elementary school. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I think Keyshawn uh, did get the knockout. Yeah, it was TKO. It was TKO. No, I'm lying. Shakur Stevenson looks bigger. I'm lying. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson looks bigger. That guy got stretch marks in his shoulders. He's growing very fast. You see the stretch marks in his shoulders? He's he's growing very fast. He's a fast-growing kid. He's He, he rehydrated very – hold on, man. Constance Howell's big, too. They both big. They both big. But for a quick second, maybe it was the camera angle. Shakur looks fat. Here we go. Shakur looks soft. I don't like how. Look at Constance's body and look at Shakur's. Good jab, Constance. Look at Shakur's body. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good jab by Constance. Jab again. Look at Shakur's arms and everything. Good left from Shakur. Uh, two minutes, 30 seconds in the first round. Shakur, Shakur's boxing well. I'm wondering how he's going to look down the stretch. 
Shakur got to knock him out early or something. I'm very curious to see how Shakur looks down the stretch. See, Constance House is going to punch a lot. I told you guys, he just threw a right hand to the body right there. She, Constance Al is, is trying to step forward, but Shakur's footwork is just magnificent. Good job from Shakur. Damn, dog, Shakur punched so fast. I almost ain't see that left hand. That left hand was blocked, but it, it was that was fast, bro. God, good left from Shakur is fast. Shakur is very fast. Oh, good looping right hook from Constance Al. Ooh, Shakur is fast, man. Look how big Constance Al is. They both big, though. Constance is big, man. They both kind of patting each other and tapping their each other's glove, and they're trying to um they're trying to find get in a rhythm, figure each other out. One minute thirty seconds in the first round. A lot of data collecting right now. Hey, you see that cocked right hand from Constance? Al? But Shakur is very defensively responsible. Good left, dude. Con Oh, good left from Shakur. That right hand came over top by Constance Al, but it was faster and shorter from Shakur. They both landed the opposite hands. They're, 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 uh, oh, good left. Shakur is very fast, man. I mean, Shakur is very fast. That's the thing that has to be highlighted, his speed. I keep talking about his technique and skill. I don't bring up his speed enough because he is very fast. Hard to see fast. Shakur is throwing heat too. Good right from Constance on the elbow of Shakur. I liked it. I liked it. Hit that elbow. I liked it. Constance shooting a jab, stepping around the lead leg of, of Shakur. Beautiful. To, to throw that, to drop down that lead right hand. Constance is, is, is very skilled too. So he's somebody that you have to break down. Good right hand by Constance See, this is this is a fight. This is a fight that I knew was going to be bizarre, right? But Shakur is just stepping forward on Constance as if Constance is a chump. It's funny because Shakur is stepping forward and then jumping all the way back. Constance can't really get a bead. Look, Constance don't know exactly what to – Shakur is difficult to fight. It's difficult to fight. He is pressing you and then jump way back when you throw a punch and then pressing you and then jump all the way back. And then throw a punch from far away, counters you, and then press you, and you're waiting for him to throw a punch. And then he does nothing. So you throw a punch and he jumps all the way. It's like, it's like when somebody's doing that, I don't know when to punch. He's coming forward. I'm ready to counter. So I throw a punch. He goes all the way over there. All right. So I'm waiting for him to come in. Then he throws a punch. Then he throws a punch. He ain't doing anything. So I throw a punch. He goes all, all the way over there. It's like either you're here or you're way over there. That is hard. That's difficult to fight, bro. That's difficult as hell. Either you're here or you're all the way over there. Jeez Louise. Yeah, Shakur Stevenson won that round. All right, here we go. Good left from, from Shakur. Shakur is holding and punching real nice. Look, look, look. Constance is strong. Constance needs to throw combinations. He needs to throw combinations. But she, from, look. Throwing two right hands. Shakur jumped all the way around across the ring. Two minutes, 30 seconds, second round. Big loop and left just missed from Constance Al, which I get him. Throw a wing and shot. Let, let people know. Oh, they said Constance Al landed more punches than uh, Stevenson. I thought Stevenson won. Oh, good combination by Constance Al. So if y'all got Constance Al the first round, y'all y'all right uh, as far as numbers. Good combination from Shakur. Good right to the body from Constance Al. Good right to the body from Constance Al. Good right to the body from Constance That's what you do, Constance Al. That's what you do. That's what you do. Don't try to hit him in the face. He leans back. So the right hands to the body was, was right. Left to the body just missed from Shakur. God, God, good combination by Shakur. Shakur is, Shakur is a fantastic, fantastic talent. I like what Constance is out doing. It reminds me of Tarver versus Roy. I'm not going to lie to you. Good straight left from Shakur. Good left again from Shakur. If, if you look at the speed and aggressiveness of Shakur and you look at the timing and, and 
what Constant Style is doing. It looks like Roy versus Tar. See, good left hook from Constant Style. He just missed. He knows. He knows if he if he does this right, he can catch Shakur. He knows it. Constant Style is missing the shots, and Shakur is pushing him back. But Constant Style knows. One minute, five seconds, the second round. Bam, left to the body from Shakur. Bam, a left upstairs from Shakur. Bam, a left blocked by Constant Style though. It was blocked. Right to the body from Constantine. Jab from Shakur. Jab to the body from Shakur. Shakur's getting busier and busier. Oh, good right from Constantine. It hit behind the ear. It just, it didn't land. It was a palm hit Shakur. It just missed. Good, good left from Shakur. Shakur punches are, are shorter. They're, they're sharper. But Constantine threw a left hook. They're, they're landing on each other. Good combination from Constantine. Miss Shakur. His his slickness, double jab from Shakur. Man, Shakur is really pressing Constantin. Oh, good combination from Shakur. Constantin smiling, which that that usually doesn't mean confidence. Good right hand from Constantin. Good right hand. Constantin knows how Shakur is. is so Constantin is changing the levels of his right hand because he's noticing. That Shakur is dipping down like when Je Devin, Devin Haney throws that jab and dip, throw that jab and dip. So Shakur does that sometimes where he throws the jab and dip. So right when he throws the jab, Constantine is throwing his right hand down right where he'll dip at. And it hit him twice. He dipped right into it twice. It was like, bam. I'm, I'm not sure if it hit him clean, but it touched him. Constantine is changing the levels of his right hand. He's not an Olympian for nothing, right? He's not a fantastic amateur fighter. Beating everybody, the only one loss that he had was a questionable loss with Oscar Valdez. He's not all of that for nothing. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Robson gonna tire by the sixth round. If 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 Shakur keeps doing what he's doing, the way he's being physical with him, right? How he was doing with Jamel Herring, being physical with him and then being away from him and then pressing him. Yeah, he he could he could tire him. He could tire him. Constance Sal has that issue though. Valdez tired him. He has that issue. He's kind of a front runner a little bit. I like the where look at where Constance Sal is throwing that right to the chest of Shakur. That is where you throw it. Shakur will duck into it. He's just missing him. Right hand, good combination. Constance Sal is going to start throwing more punches. Good left hook from Constance Sal. Good right hand from Constance Sal. Constance Sal is going to start throwing more punches. That's what he does. Good hook to the body from Costa Sal. That's what he does. That's what he does. See? Costa Sal throwing his hands. Now they're swinging at each other. Now they're swinging at each other. It's 1-1. One, one. Look, look. You see You see how physical Shakur Stevenson is. You see how physical Shakur Stevenson is. So that, that can tie. Good straight left from Shakur. See? And now Costa Sal is going to throw his hands. He's going to throw his hands more. Shakur got a knot on his forehead from the headbutt. That hit that look at that knot on his forehead. It is nasty. Good uppercut from Shakur. But Shakur is a tough kid. But that knot on his forehead is nasty. It's going to get bigger and bigger. Good left to the body from yeah, yeah, yeah. Shakur is tiring him out. He's beating him up. It's, it's magnificent. Shakur is walking him down, hitting him with body shots, and he's being very oh, good uppercut from Shakur. It hurt Costa Sal. Look how Sal's feet. He got baby legs. Costal got Bambi legs. Look how much he's holding on. He's hurt. And, and Stevenson is, look, look, Costal's hurt. He's hurt. Look, Costal's throwing punches because he's a warrior. One minute, 15 seconds, and third. Can you believe that? You don't see Shakur hurting people like that. Not that often. Good right hand to the body from Costal. Costal, Shakur smiling. Good right hand from Costal. Good left. Good combination. Oh, 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 oh. Constantine swinging heavy. He's going to be broken off. He's going to be broke. He's about to get broken off. Constantine about to get broken off. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Good hook from Constantine. I cannot believe this. Not Constantine. Who knocks out Constantine? Good body shot from Stevenson. Who knocks out Constantine? He's gassing Constantine by the third? Good hook, Constantine. Good jab by Shakur. Good hooker cut. 
Good jab. Good jab again. I am I am totally impressed. I am good left. I am totally impressed by Shakur. Totally impressed, bro. Good left to the body. Costa was smiling. I am totally impressed by the the pressure, the physicality of Shakur right now. Good left to the body. Good left again from Shakur. I am I, I I'm sorry. I am more impressed by Shakur Stevenson than I was. I mean, it goes without saying because Shakur Stevenson is fighting Constance out. But I'm just talking about the physicality more so than Keyshawn Davis. Target practice. That was a good description. Because, you know, um, Constance is throwing some heat at him, but Shakur is moving a little here, a little here. It's not really – he's using his arms, right, to block and to – you know, he just – working great but i like the body yeah it's target practice i like the body shots i like the straights upstairs right and i like his physicality 2-1 shakur yeah yeah yeah. agreed biz uh-huh shakur is good man sully shakur is very good very good if the pound for pound list was a skills list shakur would be there it'd be shakur would be there lomachenko roman gonzalez you know usik those boys you know, maybe a boost Ennis, a uh, Javante Tank Davis. So good combination by Constance Al, All blocked by Shakur, though. Oh, that big right just missed from Constance Al. I love – oh, good left from Shakur. Good combination fr- from Constance Al. I like when Constance Al is swinging. I'm not sure how he can keep that going, but his he throws good heat. He throws great heat. He's known for it. Good combination. Look, Shakur is, is not bothered by it. He's walking him down. Shakur is like a bad little kid. He loves, like he loves this shit, man. Good Constance Sal. I like the way Constance Sal tied up. Go to the body, uppercut, left hook. All that but did not work well for Constance Sal. Got good left by Shakur. See, good jab. Shakur has committed to the game plan. To not let Constance Al dictate the, the distance. I told you guys, Constance Al only does well when he can dictate the distance. Good one, two from Shakur. Shakur is systematically beating the shit out of Constance Al, bro. That was a low blow from Shakur. Oh, good left. And then Shakur pushed him down, which was perfect because now Constance Al got to get up. That's exhaustion. This is all the sweet science, by the way, people. That's a low punch, man. Good jab. Bam, good combination. And then and then Shakur didn't keep pushing him. He was pushing him, but he didn't keep it going. Smart move. They're the same size. They're the same size. Shakur is not bigger than Constance Al, but Constance Al is not bigger than Shakur. Shakur is big. Constance Al is big, too. Constance Al is big, more proper to me, because look at his musculature. Like, he's big pro- in a proper way to me. Right hand just missed. But Shakur look, got the boxer's body, though. You know, it's not full of a bunch of muscle that gets tired over time. It's smooth. God, good jab by Shakur. I, I I just can't with knowing that good uppercut, two uppercuts from Shakur Stevenson. Good jab. Oh, they both landed on each other. With no with knowing that Andre Ward is commentating. Good left to the body from Shakur. That Andre Ward is commentating. He must feel like this is amazing. Good looping right hand from from Constance Al. Shakur is like walking him down and just he just brutalizing him. Good hook to the body. Constance Al is holding on. This is only the fourth. It feels like the tenth. Good hook from Shakur on the inside. Twenty seconds left. It feels like the tenth. If you look at Constance Al, it looks like the tenth round. Good jab from Shakur, brother. He can't hit Shakur. He can't hit him. He can't hit him. Constance Al just fell on his own. He fell on his own. They said it's a knockdown. Huh? They ruled it a knockdown? Oh, well, his hands said some other than his feet hit the ground after a punch. I just ain't see the punch. Uh, who is Constance when you are who is Constance when you are sparring with big guys like Jared Anderson? Oh, Shakur was preparing for the walk down. I remember wondering if that was more impressive. 
Jared Anderson trying keeping up with Shakur or Shakur box, you know, preparing for physic physicality with Jared Anderson. But you're right. You're absolutely right. So that's why he looks so strong. He's he's he yeah, because he was with I forgot that Jared Anderson sparring session. Uh Shakur is insanely skilled. He's like a well-oiled machine. It's beautiful to watch. Definitely top three in skill, pound for pound. Top three. Yeah, I mean, arguably, yes. Uh, let me see. Reminds of me, pretty boy versus oh, chop chop Corley and firefight. Yeah, it does. It does. It looks like Chop Chop versus Mayweather. That was a great comparison. It does. Wait, he said it was a knockdown. A body shot. It was a knockdown. That was a great, a great eye from the ref. It was he hit him in a body and it was a knockdown. It sure was. I thought he got pushed down. The ref is right. It was a knockdown. It was a knockdown. But once again, that ref is one of those. If if you fall following a punch, it's a knockdown. Good left from Constance Al. It was a right to the – Kyle Sal throwed a bunch of punches, but they were all arm punches. Hey, there was a uh, – oh, a body punch sh uh, shutout. I thought it was a shutout. So it's all 10-9. I, I gave the first round to uh, to uh, Shakur Stevenson too, so good combination. But the but the war room gave the first round to Shakur, so I conceded to that. Uh, they have all rounds for Shakur. The one round you can give Constance out is the first round. Good right to the body from Constance out. Did you see the footwork from Shakur right there? He took a step forward. To, I mean, the foot, I, I can't even explain it, how he cut off the ring. Good jab. Oh, good body shot from Shakur. That made Constance really hug Shakur. Constance doesn't have a smile on his face anymore. Look, look, Constance is done. He's done. It's the fifth round. Constance is done. He's done. He's done. Shakur is walking. Hey, who? How who knocks out Constance out? Who knocks out Constance out, bro? This is the, the likelihood of this is ridiculous. Oh, good left from Constance out. The likelihood of this is is no, that doesn't happen, bro. Good jab from Shakur. Bro, Constance out is about to concede. Good body shot. See, that's the difference. Shakur knows when the body shot's working. Good hit. Oh, the way Constance out missed right there. The way Constance Al missed right there, I, I would have puked. He swung. Vroom, I would have puked, bro. I would have puked. Good body shot, Constance Al. But with, oh, God, another left to the body. Then, hey, hey, dog. <laughs> oh, good left upstairs from Shakur. Hey, dog. Ouch. Hey, brother. <laughs> oh, good right hand, Constance Al. Hey, brother. Constance Al. Good jab from from from. from 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 Sugar Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> oh, good left. I would call him Sugar. He deserves the Sugar name, dog. Sugar Ray Rob. Oh, well, left to the balls. Sugar Ray Robinson. Shakur Stevenson punch punched Constance Al in the nuts. Constance Al was happy it wasn't his stomach. He was he was just happy it wasn't his stomach, brother. I'm calling Shakur Stevenson. Go right to the body from Sha from uh, Constance Al though. Constance Al. Oh, good left from Shakur. Shakur just walking him down, brother. Brother, oh, good jab, Constance Al. Constance Al's still dangerous, man. Oh, good left hook upstairs from Shakur. Brother, let me tell you something. Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Shane Mosley, and Sugar Shakur Stevenson. That's where I'm at. I don't give a damn what his nickname is. And that's the Black Two Sugars. Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Shane Mosley, and Sugar Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> now kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my ass. That is Sugar Shakur Stevenson. I'm calling him Sugar from here on out. <laughs> Sugar Shakur. Mark this day. From here on out, the war room calls him Sugar Shakur Stevenson and he's going to, his name will be changed. <laughs> Mark this day. We're going to be all over Twitter. Sugar Shakur Stevenson. That's his name. You can kiss my ass. Now, that's the Black Two Sugars. Here we go. That's his name. You can kiss my ass. 
All right, here we go. Round six. <laughs> Good jab from Sugar. <laughs> a right hand just missed from Casa Sound. Good left to the body from Sugar. Oh, good hook. Oh, right hand just missed. Good look hook to the body from Sugar. Oh, right missed again from Casa Sound. Check a uh, right hook from Sugar. Oh, look at that. Casa Sound is throwing heat. He always throw heat at the beginning of the round. But Sugar is defending it well. That's two minutes, 25 seconds in the sixth round. Good right hand, Casa Sal. Casa Sal throwing some major heat. Shakur is like, let's go. Good combination, Sugar. Good. Oh, those body shots is killing Casa Sal. It's making Casa Sal open up, too. Making him throw more punches. Good hook to the body from Casa Sal. Right hand to the body. Dog, Sugar is making him miss everything. Like, who Sugar think he is? Lights out, Tony? Good right, left. From combinate. Bam. Good jab to the body. Dude, Casa Sal is nice. One minute, 50 seconds. He's nice the first half. Good left to the body from, from Sugar. If he knocks out Casa Sal, brother. Ooh! Big right uppercut miss. Big right hand miss from Casa Sal. Dog, Sugar. Good combination. Sugar's beating the hell out of him, dog. He just wearing him the hell out. He just wearing him. I mean, Casa Sal's legs are, are just wobbly at all. Oh Lord, he's about to fall again. Casa Sal's about to fall. He said that second second low shot. He said second low blow. Second low blow. Hey, I've seen I've seen Sugar hit Casa Sal low about fourteen times though. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. That there was some low blows that was being landed by Sugar. Hey, you you kiss my ass. All right, here we go. But uh, he wasn't he wasn't complaining. So I was like, well, man, hey. Your ref didn't say anything. Oh, good left from Sugar. Very fast. Good shot to the body from Sugar. What? I, I don't know what, who's. Oh, God. That left from Sugar hurt Casa Sal. That was the fastest left hand I've seen since Ryan Garcia, brother. That was the fastest punch I've seen since Ryan Garcia, brother, against Fortuna. That left. Oh, Good left again from Sugar. The difference is I didn't even see the punch from Ryan. Hey, I told you that left hand was going to be there while Casa Sal was throwing punches. I told you that. I showed you guys the tape. Oh, God. He hurt Casa Sal with a left hook again. It's because he's so worried about the body shot. It's 14 seconds left for the sixth round. Y'all want to talk about beauty, uh, beauty, beautiful boxing. <laughs> Y'all want to talk about poetry and motion, bro. Oh, good right hook from Sugar. Brother, please. Brother, please. You want to talk about poetry and motion? Dog, quit throwing the towel. Look, 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 look. Look at Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford look 188 pounds. You can kiss my – he's standing up like – his his claps sound like the Hulk Sonic clap. Like – it's like, Yo. Uh, your com uh, commentary got me dying, Sugar. <laughs> Brother, that's that's Sugar. I don't get it. Uh, a, a couple of good left uppercuts, and he done. You ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. Let me give you a love right here, brother. So tonight, hey, brother. It's getting brutal. Yeah, it's it's also Floyd Mayweather. Gotti shit, and I, and I'm not gonna lie. You see, those punches are around the belt, belt. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, cause you don't got an ab down there. Believe you me, I've tried to create an ab down there. That ain't nothing but upper ball. That ain't nothing but upper penis. That there's that's fupa area. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna tell you, this is some of the best boxing I've seen in a minute, bro. <laughs> this is some of the best boxing I've seen in a good while. Look, I'm sound like, brother, I'm reaching so far, dog. Two minutes, 45 seconds. Seventh round. Good jab to the body. Dude, Shakur Stevenson. Sugar Shakur. Sh look at Sugar stepping on his foot. Now, Kostal trying to step back. Good laugh from Sugar. Sugar is... <laughs> Sugar, that left of the body is so hard to block because Sugar is looking at your face. He's looking right at your face, but he's hit him to the body. <laughs> he, he doesn't stop looking at your face. <laughs> and he hits you with a body. Shook. <laughs> he did it again. The left straight. Costal just throwing arm punches. Don't worry about Costal. But Sugar, 
two minutes left for the seventh. Look, 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 I used that four. Uh oh, count out, push sugar all against the rope. <laughs> hey, 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 look at the ref. He pushed Constance out on the corner for Shakur. He said, Get your ass in the corner so we can end this. Shit. Like, that dude had a date. That ref got a quick date with his wife. <laughs> he like, Look, I got a date with my wife, dog. <laughs> we, oh, good straight left from sugar. Oh, shit. look at Constance. He done almost fell. He done... <laughs> Oops, <laughs> the sugar. Damn, dog. The... That jab from Sugar intercepted so much attack from oops, looping left upstairs. Hey, why Sugar go downstairs? Why Sugar go downstairs? Good combination. Why Sugar go out? One minute, 20. Sugar just pushed him. He failed. Uh, one minute, 18 seconds. Hey, get back, Sugar. Hey, hey, check, 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 check. Why Sugar go downstairs? <laughs> oh, 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 he wanted to go downstairs. He changed it, changed the levels of it. Good straight left. Uh huh. Good straight. Hey, hey, Constance House bent over at a 90 degree angle. He's like, if you hit me on something one more again, bro, I'm farting, and it's going to be solid. Whatever I fart out is going to be solid. All right? I ain't got that kind of time. That's way too embarrassing. That fart's coming from Brazil, bro. That's Shakur walking him down. Ah, dog. Constance is just trying to live. Oh, good combination. Good uppercut. Did y'all want that uppercut? Some... Hey, man, Shakur must have moved an inch, and Shakur missed everything. I mean, Constance missed everything. I don't know when Sugar's going to put the earmuffs on or when he's going to move his head. I, I, I don't know what defense he's going to use. I don't know. Good left to the box. Oh, God. He got, he got, he got Kansas out against the ropes. Brutalize him, dog. 19 seconds left. Good jab. Oh, good head movement. Uh, bop! Upcut. <laughs> hey, man, this look like Errol Spence. <laughs> it, this is Errol Spence, dog. <laughs> you know when Errol Spence walks you down and just be chasing you around the ring and <laughs> just kill, kill, kill. <laughs> hey, dog. Hey, hey, stop, stop the damn fight. Stop the damn fight. Hey, Costa Style need to go ahead and call it. Though. Give me, give me my, give me my $200. <laughs> give me my $200. Thanks, Sully. Thanks, Sully. That's my $200, Sully. Give me, give me my $200. Give me my damn $200, dog. <sighs> give me my $200. Long, that's long-term damage. Give me my $200, dog. They're, they're, they're talking to him. They're asking him if he wants to quit because that is damaging. All right. That's Lomachenko. Remember when Lomachenko had people quitting? No Mas Chinko. Remember him? That's what this is on. You, you got you to gotta call it. You got to call it, bro. What, what, I mean, for what? This is Jamel Herring. You know what I mean? Like, brother, please. I'm crying, dog. This is here, bro. I'm not lying to you. His shorts didn't have tassels like that. That's all just just threading. That's all threading, dog. You think that's tassels how his shorts are supposed to look? He beat the thread off his shorts. Oh, Lord. He just he just muffed him. Dog, Shakur muffed him, slapped him upside his head, and then him with uppercut, dog. Just the, the disrespect. Hey, Shakur is moving like Joe Lewis. It's a half an inch here, uh, three quarters of an inch there, and he's making the miss a mile. He just like, <laughs> oh, good left to the body from Shakur. Good jab. Brother, sugar out here. Pour some sugar on me. <laughs> Grab a bottle. Shake it up. Good left to the body from Shakur. Dog, Constantine was just throwing. It's two minutes left in, in the eighth. Constantine was just throwing, dog. Good left from Shakur. Constance, dog, Constantine was done. Hey, really, though? This ain't even funny, though. I'm going to be honest. I know we're all giggling and shit, but the, ouch. This ain't funny. I, ouch. Left hook upstairs. Good head movement from Shakur. This, 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 this ain't funny. Look at the legs of Constantine. This is hospital time. This is hospital time, bro. His lungs are burning. This is hospital time. For real. All right, one. Oops. Look, he's throwing punches. At, at, everybody's starting to feel bad for him. Like, if you think about it, he didn't have to take the fight. Like, it's like, yo, brother, you didn't have to go through this shit. Good left. Oh, Lord. He hurt Casa Sal. Oh, good right, Casa Sal. He hurt Sugar. Oh, no, he didn't. He ain't hurt Sugar at all. I thought he did. Sugar, like, man, I've taken punches from Boo Boo Anderson, dog. Not Boo Boo. <laughs> Big Baby Anderson. <laughs> Boo Boo Anderson. Dog, yeah, the holding, though. The ref should should warn Constance Sal. He should warn Constance Sal that you can't. Yeah, you gotta warn him. You gotta warn him. Look, he's holding now. You gotta warn him. Yeah, you gotta warn him. You gotta warn him. 
because I mean you got to manage the fight, ref. Oh, he missed and turned around. Something's wrong. All right, hey, it's not just balance. It's his brain. It's his brain. He's dehydrated. Stop the damn fight. Stop the fight. Casa Sal is dehydrated. He's turning in circles. He doesn't know where he's at and shit. Look at this. Stop. Stop. I know. I know the signs. I know the signs. Stop it. Look at him. Stop. Okay, doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? Stop. Throw in the damn towel. Good. This ain't cool. Good left. Good. That's. No, he's just punching off of. Stop the fight, dog. Stop the fight, bro. Stop the fight, bro. 10 seconds left. Good combination from Shakur. Look at him. He's not. Look. Look at the combinations from Shakur. I'm worried. I'm worried. I am literally worried. For somebody throwing punches and looking at the crowd and throwing punches at the crowd like something, you got to stop. Now you got to stop. A uh, ref has lost some weight, so you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> let me see there was something else sugar putting hands on that boy yeah sugar is what else we got what else we got he's tired but dehydrated in the brain so sugar is hanging him out there to dry right he's he's taking him into deep waters see look at the rap. look look they're talking to him. The doctor know. He knows what I know. Sugar's making uh me hit the bag like I'm sugar. Yeah, for sure. The 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 doctor is talking to him in between every round. The doctor knows what he's looking at cuz I know I know. I'm looking at a man who is his brain <laughs> in stitches bit. It's his brain, bro. It's not his legs. It's the disconnect. Good right hand. It's not. It's the ninth round. Hey, Sugar, Sugar got to either stop him now. He got to stop playing with him. He he got he got yeah. He's 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 making it bad for Constantine. He got it. He got he got. If he has any heart at all, so he hurt him with a right right there. He hurt Constantine with a check right hook. If he has any heart, okay, not Muhammad Ali versus Terrell. Say my name, and you want to brutalize him for fifteen rounds. I'm talking about if you have any heart, knock him out. Good left from Shakur. Knock his ass out, man. Good combination. Just cut the lights out so he doesn't have to deal with this, this murdering. Two minutes left. Oh, God. Good combination from, from Sugar. Constantine, damn. Right hand just missed again. Good combination from Shakur. Dude, I'm starting to talk in a very low manner he just slammed Constance out on his face but here's the thing though the ref can't be mad he can't be mad at sugar he can't be mad at sugar because he's about to take the point from sugar yeah but you can't be mad at sugar because Constance Sal is constantly holding him i wouldn't be mad at sugar i wouldn't be mad at sugar at all because Constance Sal is constantly hugging him so I mean, we just saw that was he, he dumped him on his face, bro. I mean, he, he just did this. I wouldn't be mad at, at Sugar whatsoever. One minute, 20 seconds. I just I just would have been like, you know, like I gotta I gotta warn Constance out from holding so much. Oh, good, good hook. Oh, hook to the body from Sugar. It's a nine, it's gonna be a nine-nine round. Oh, good left to the body from Sugar. Ooh, good jab from Constantin. One, two from Constantin. Sugar's trying to wait for a, a, the perfect punch or something. Sugar could knock him out. Oh, good left. Oh, good left from Sugar. Last 40 seconds. Good left from Sugar. Look, 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 the ref, the ref got to talk to Constance Sal. The holding is, is incredible. 
last 25 seconds. Oh, good left from Sugar. Sugar's barely moving. It's like he's, it's like Sugar's only moving when, I don't know, 10 seconds left. He made Constance Sal do a lot of punching for nothing, man. Look, he's making him one, two from Constance Sal, one, two from Constance Sal. Look, Sugar ain't even moving. Sugar's like, oh, let me see. Uh, do you think uh, lathering up twice uh, hurt Constance Sal? Overworked. Remember, I'm not sure if you were here, but I was talking about earlier when Shakur was laying back on the on the couch and was getting some rest. And I remember someone, I recall someone saying, if you can get rest and chill before a fight, it's better for you than if you're warming up, you know, the whole time in the back because you get tired. So I was favoring what, uh, what Sugar was doing based on what I heard from a fighter. I forgot who said that. I think Devin Haney. I forgot who it was. Uh, he just come uh, wobbled lately. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. He's, he just come wobble <laughs> That is funny as hell. Oh, let me see. He's giving him some curious Jorge. Yeah, he's giving him that curious Jorge, bro. Now, let me get my bag, though, sugar. It's it's time to knock him out because I, I got $100 on it. I got $100 on it, sugar. I can win $200 now. You, if $200 can go a long way, I'm going out tomorrow. I'm trying to cash that out. I'm going out tomorrow, sugar. Good head movement from sugar. I'm, I'm going out tomorrow. You, you go ahead and get that. That's a full bottle service, ain't it? Right? That's $300 all together. That's bottle service right there. Oh, God, good left. That's at least great goose. Get another bottle of Ciroc on me. Oh, good left from sugar. Come on, man. Give me my great goose bottle. Good left. Give me my great goose. Good. Uh, uh, sugar walking him down two minutes, 20 seconds. There you go. Straight left. Give me my great goose, sugar. Give me my great goose, sugar. Sugar, walk his ass down now. Now that's one, two, one, two from Constance Al. Don't nibble on the barrel, sugar. Pull the trigger. Go, go hook from sugar. Right hand just, oh, good body shot from sugar. Left upstairs from sugar. Yeah, you swim without getting wet, sugar. Right hand from Constance Sal. Oh, left combination from Sugar. Oh, good counter by Sugar. Sugar's throwing fast hands. And he's screaming with every shot. He's like, ah! Oh, good combination from Sugar. Ooh, good hook from Constance Sal. Oh, good left from Sugar, looping around the guard of Constance Sal. Constance Sal's loading up. He got a little second win. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He got a second win. Good jab, right hand from Constance Sal. Come on, sugar. I know you didn't. I know you didn't hurt that hand. Tonight attendance ten thousand one hundred and seven. Ten thousand. Wow. Oh, good left from from sugar. The holding from Constance Sal. Dog. If I was sugar, I'd be like, "Hey, ref, man, what the hell?" Fifty seconds left in the tenth. Oh, good left from Sugar. Hey, the way Sugar dips, Constance Sal knows that much. He knows to throw the punch to the left shoulder of, of Sugar. He knows. No, Dad, yeah, you can't. You can't deduct a point here. You can't deduct a point here. It, you can't deduct a point here, Ref. The Ref, you gotta, you gotta talk to Constance Sal for holding last twenty seconds and tenth. The ref didn't deduct a point. Uh, Sugar slammed uh, Constance Al again. Because I got to get him off of me because you're not breaking it up. Good left. Swim without getting wet. Good jab from, from Sugar. Last five seconds. That's it. Here come the 11. Let me get my great goose. If I can get my great goose. Right? 10,000 plus 200, easy, two meters. I'm just saying, two millions at the door. Yeah. All that wrestling. Let me see. Uh, sugar needs no KO. Sugar kills you sweetly and softly 
and it's beautiful. I understand, but I got two hundred dollars on it. I ain't even talking about. I'm talking about me. I got two hundred dollars on the KO. If he KOs them, I win two hundred. So forget what you talking about. I don't care about your cool killing them sweetly and softly and all that shit. I'm talking about me getting two hundred dollars, <laughs> and he could knock him out so I can get my two hundred. Uh, boxing champion over eighty fights and the rest before uh, a fight is best. Oh, I was a boxing champion over eighty fights. Bet. And the rest before a fight is best, but also working up a sweat before the fight is needed as well. Right. So rest and then work up up a sweat. Yeah. All right, here we go. 11th round. Good jab from, from Sugar. Good left. Right hand. Oh, good uppercut, Sugar. Then Sugar swam without getting wet after the combination. Look, look, look. Yep. The ref ain't said nothing. Sugar smiling like, brother, this is ridiculous, man. Oh, good uppercut from Sugar. That hurt Constance out a little bit. I wanted the fight to be stopped after a while. Oh, God, good uppercut from Sugar. Somebody said just two uppercuts, and Sugar found it. He threw two uppercuts. He's like, that's all that needed to happen. Good body shot. Sugar's throwing some mad heat. There's two minutes left in 11. I don't I ain't even calling what Casa Sal is doing because it's all arm punches and it's just not effective. Oh, double left hand from Sugar. Up, oh, good faint, Sugar. Good faint, Sugar. Uh oh. Sugar right. <laughs> good left to the body from from Sugar. Oh, good left upstairs, Sugar. Snap the head of Casa Sal. One minute, thirty five seconds, in eleventh round. I need my great oh good left sugar. I need my great goose bottle sugar. Don't play with me now. Don't play with me. You know you could have knocked him out sugar, and I got great goose on it. I got great goose on it sugar. Don't have me go break even tonight. I can go up three hundred or break even tonight. Give me my three hundred sugar. That was a good uppercut. One minute ten seconds. Dog, Casa Sal is 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 he needs to go to the hospital. You need to take his ass to the hospital now. You know that's that you know. That's hospital time. Sugar's walking him down. I mean, just, 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 just fundamentally, just. Mm, mm, mm. Fifty seconds left in the eleventh. Oh, he hurt. He hurt him with a right hook, a checked right hook. Then uppercut. Finish his ass off, sugar. Don't nibble on the barrel. Pull the trigger. Finish his ass off, sugar. Let me get my gray goose now. Thirty-five seconds. I need my gray goose. Gray goose. Gray goose. Great goo, 30 seconds left. <laughs> Come on, man. Two Belvedere's. Got weed everywhere. What do you say? <laughs> oh, good left to the body. Two Belvedere's. 13 seconds left. Left left downstairs. Brother, 10 seconds. You know you ain't going to do nothing in the 12th, sugar. Oh, Lord. You ain't going to knock him out in the 12th, sugar. That's not how you go. You, you're going to be too safe. Constance out survived. He survived. He survived. A new member. Boy, boy, boy. Hit the Tyson Bell. I think I saw. Here we go. Uh, does SS have a chance with Loma after this fight? Has a chance to fight him or has a chance to beat, like, if they were to fight? Yeah, he definitely has a chance. Definitely has a chance. Very fast, very strong. Definitely has a chance. I'm going to tell you, though. Sugar wasn't bigger than Casa Sal. So, like, this is this was my point. When people say I wasn't hard enough on Sugar, I don't know why. Because I said that he got penalized and he should have been. But uh, with that said, I still give him love for beating Casa Sal the way he did because he's not bigger than Casa Sal. Casa Sal's huge. He's 5'10". So, Casa Sal's huge. So, it's like, as a man, man to man, I'm, I'm impressed by Sugar. Nobody... Beats the hell out of Constance out the way Sugar just did. You don't do that. Sugar's super special. You know, that, like like my man brought up Floyd Mayweather and Chop Chop Corley. Chop Chop Corley actually had Floyd hurt, but nobody was beating Chop Chop like that. Not the way Floyd did. Nobody was beating him like that. Good laugh from Sugar.
Sugar is trying to knock him out. Sugar is trying to knock him out. Sugar don't. Oh, good laugh from Sugar. Sugar's trying to knock him out. This is the 12th round. Good uppercut from Sugar. Sugar's trying to Sugar's trying to hurt him. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, let me get my Belvedere. Let me get my, my full Belvedere. It's got weed everywhere. Uh-huh. Two bottles of Chris. Four Belvedere's. It was four Belvedere's. It wasn't two. It was two bottles of Chris and four Belvedere's. Uh, two minutes, 12 seconds. Ooh, left hooker cut just missed from from Sugar. Ooh, good body shot, Sugar. And Sugar, he he's never gonna he's never gonna warn him for the holding. So leave that alone. All right, <laughs> just don't even complain, brother. He is twelfth round. It's never gonna happen. Hey, let me get my Belvedere, Sugar. There's one minute fifty seconds. Now you give me my Belvedere. Now I I feel like I feel like Ray Charles. <laughs> and now now get get give me my Belvedere. <laughs> Say that. Give me my Belvedere, dog. A one minute, 30 seconds in the 12th round. <laughs> now, 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 I, I said, give me my Belvedere. <laughs> uh, one minute, 24, dog, 12, come on, dog. All right. All right, man. He's walking him down, but Constantine knows how to survive. Good combination. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to give me my Belvedere, but he's trying to, but Constantine knows how to survive, dog. One minute, 15 seconds. He's chasing him down and swinging at him, but good right hook. Constantine knows what he's doing, dog. Good laugh from 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 Shakur. Go ahead, Sugar. Sugar Shakur. Well, I broke even. I broke even. Yes, all right. I won a hundred from uh, Keyshawn Davis. Bet that hundred on Sugar. Sugar could have knocked him out, but Constantine being crafty. Good combination from Sugar. Got Constantine on the rope. Give me my Belvedere. Give me my Belvedere. No. Good com- Good combination, Constantine. Good combination. 35 seconds left. Can I get my Belvy? Can I get my Belvy? Let me get my – oh, oh. He tripped. He he tripped. He he swept him. He swept the leg, Johnny. Constantine just swept uh, Sugar. He just swept him. 20 seconds left. The Sugar – Sugar is – oh, good left, Sugar. Yeah, that's it. That's that's it, dog. That's it, dog. Shakur is trying to knock him out for sure. He every second of the fight, he fought every second of the fight. Everybody's standing up too. He fought every second of the fight. Yeah, I gotta give Sugar his love. Sugar beat the shit out of him. All right, man. That that I mean, I broke even. He didn't give me my Belvedere. I almost had four Belvedere's <laughs> and weed everywhere. Let me see. Uh, my only thing with Sugar is I wish he jabbed more. Yeah, because he yeah he went for the. You got a point. He went for the knockout too much. That's that was the problem. Flex on him. Seep, 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 pile. King Kong ain't got hit on me. I run with him. Y'all just live here. Keep my wife's name. Yes. You know, in jabbing more, he probably would have been closer to getting the knockout thank you biz if i didn't see your live stream i would have completely forgotten this fight was happening the rum is taking over <laughs> bilbo glove <laughs> let's give my man love for that rum bro. So tonight, uh, let's hear what sugar has to say let's see what sugar had to say everybody man this was a great night this was a great night uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna go live for joe joyce versus joseph parker tomorrow uh, I'm going out tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on this here. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on this here. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the That's me tomorrow. All right? So it's going to be hard for me to call the fight and be on that there. Okay? Um, I'm Just me and Black Sun. Just Black Business going to be out tomorrow. Um, uh, More sparring. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Uh, Sugar is one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, who do you think uh, gives Sugar a problem at 135? All of them. Um, all of them. All of them except I think he's horrible for Ryan Garcia. Uh, the way he's fighting right there, I think he's horrible for Ryan Garcia. I don't think Ryan – Ryan only has a handful of punches. He does well against – and I saw him um, – yeah, it just that type of fighter, that type of slick fighter. 
um sugar would know what punches to to evade i, I so well but ryan garcia is 140 now so uh lomachenko gives him hell devin the dream haney gives him hell he beats the hell out of cambosis um tank davis he may be tank davis He may be Tank Davis, man. I think I think he's the I think the re, like I think Tank Davis beats Devin Haney. What Shakur Stevenson have? What Sugar Shakur Stevenson has? Um. See, he's different. He's different. You know, he pressures you, and he he's different. He he, he pressures you and moves slightly and make you miss. I think Sugar is one of the best fighters in the world, man. No one does that to Constance Al. Nobody. Nobody. I don't care if he's 1.6 pounds overweight and weighing in. 1.6 pounds overweight and weighing in. No one does that to Constance Al. Nobody. 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 Uh, this is the my Damon Wayans looking referee <laughs> uh, needed to take points for the holding. 100%. Because that would have that would have caused me to get my four Belvedere's for sure. But he held his way into survival. This is why we love Tank and Wilder. KOs. Stevenson. Uh, but. Uh, he don't got the killer any. Oh, you tripping? You tripping? He was a killer, like to the point where, if if the if the ref didn't allow him to hold so much, I I, I thought he could have killed him. Like I was at the jumbo, literally, I was worried for Constantine's life for a minute. Uh, Sugar should have threw uh, more left uppercuts. I agree. I agree. I agree. One seventeen, one oh nine. No, but nobody beats Constantine the way he did. You're talking about gold medalists. You're talking about no one beats him like that. Even if you bring up Wilder, Wilder don't fight guys on the level of Casasau, right? So Sugar Shakur is, and Casasau was bigger than him. That 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 was. <laughs> My man said a robbery. That was the fun. That's the funniest thing. I got that was funny as hell. Uh, let me see. Loma, Haney, then Shakur, then Tank, then Ryan. I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even mad at that. I think I would go Loma, Shakur, Tank, Haney, then Ryan. Maybe even Loma, Tank, Shakur. It's, it's one of the two. It's either, but I like what Shakur is doing. I like Shakur going from Jamel Herring to Oscar Valdez to Casa Sal. Like, I always had a thing. Like, remember when I said, Ali fought Frazier and Foreman, Ken Norton and Foreman. Here we go. I like him. I like fighting the winners and the losers. Or even the questionable losers. This this is a record crowd. You want to thank God for putting look, he shines right there. He said a long week. He killed himself to make weight. He's still worried about the weight. Yeah. He did everything he could to, to make weight. Yeah, sit that aside. Respected. I think Tank got too much power, though. Good answer. Greater to equal to Shakur than Devin to Tank to run. He said, yeah, he's going to keep going up. He said he's a dominating individual. He said, hold me the whole night, but he did everything he could. I'm going to tell you a little secret about Sugar in a minute. I'm going to tell you a little He said, as soon as he got on the inside, he did a lot of holding. Yeah, Sugar would, would have knocked him out. He said, he knows how to survive. Sugar got receding gums. I think he ate too much candy as a kid. Because I got receding gums. 
but you know i'm 42 but his his gums receding pretty good yeah yeah respect the concept say he was combative and in there he said he was trying to fight him he wanted to fight yeah i i, I like that i like that with sugar he said shout out to all my puerto rican friends fans he got his puerto rican flag in the back He said, everybody 135 got to get it. He said, anybody. I hear him. He didn't call out anybody. He called out Devin. And then Keyshawn Davis jumped up. He said, he said it. He brought up, he, he brought up Devin Haney. De Keyshawn was like, say his name. <laughs> He brought up he Keisha uh Sugar brought up Devin Haney. He mentioned Devin Haney's name. He's tough. Look, look, look. Let me tell you a little a little funny story about Sugar. Um, my daughter was like, "There's this fighter I really like," and she was describing him, and I said, "Yeah." Shakur Stevenson. She was like, no, that's not his name. And she kept describing how he looked. And I'm like, Shakur Stevenson. Like, Shakur Stevenson was, like, coming out the Olympics or something like that. She said, no. And she, and it was Javante Tank Davis. My daughter was on Tank when I was on Shakur. And it's so funny. I'm still on Shakur. She's still on Tank. Well, we both, she loves Shakur, too, and I love Tank, too. But she was on Tank immediately i was on shakur immediately so i i would love for them to fight each other because me and my daughter we're going we'll be right here just focus bro so thank you guys thank you guys so much for showing up and showing out enjoy your friday night like this enjoy the rest of your night enjoy your saturday enjoy your weekend um i'll let you guys know if i'm gonna do the joe joyce and joe sparkle thing but let's go with no for now and let it be a surprise if I do, but I'm definitely going out Saturday night. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. Show biz or no? I'm out. Huh? Oh, Eastside Cruz is another one. Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez. At 135? Teofimo Lopez. I thought he was. I thought he was 140. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> 